Welcome back to another live stream. Play by play with the hockey coach guru. Coach French is directly from the well, Sunshine State in Florida. Tonight, uh, we go for game number 70. Montreal Canadian owes the Ottawa Senator. The Ottawa Senator are 25-37-6. Are at the seventh position in the Atlantic Division. Again, the Montreal Canadian, they are 19-39 and 11. They are at the bottom of the division number 8 at 31 and NHL with Seattle number 32, whatever you're thinking. And then we're also, Forsberg is going to be between the pipes for the Ottawa. Montreal, uh, Montreal is going to get the veteran goaltender, the 32-year-old Jake Allen. Again, a couple of chance for the Montreal Canadiens, only one is going to be the veteran, the 29 years old, 30 years old now, Brendan Gallagher. Galley, number 11, is going to be back in the lineup for the Montreal. And uh, Martin St. Louis uh, remove uh, the number 24, Tyler Pitlick, out of the lineup. Uh, so we know that Ottawa play without the captain, Thomas Shabbat, but Drake uh, Patterson is returning inside the lineup for the Ottawa Senator. Both teams, well, more for Ottawa, have a really young uh, players um, on the on the formation like the Montreal used tonight Jordan Harris and uh, Justin Barron is going to be back also in the lineup with Jesse Allen is going to be on the four line um, beside of um, Rand Pullen and Paul Biron. We welcome everybody to join us tonight another great uh, show tonight uh, for the Hockey Me Nation live show. Uh, don't forget, please, to click on the like. That'd be great. A lot of people joining us all the way. We have Mr. Danny T, Terry T. Oh, we have a, a double T right now. Terry T and uh, Mr. Danny T in the house. Oh, sorry about that, uh, my keyboard. <laughs> Luciano Graziano back in the house tonight, Mr. Luciano. Following by Mr. Kevin. Christian and Kitty, DB in the house. Welcome aboard. Paul Filo. Paul Filo is in the house tonight. Welcome aboard. Alan Voyancourt, directly from Kentucky. Welcome aboard. Following by Mr. Rod Jerry Jean, another member of the Hockey National Show with Ellen. Ellen back in the house tonight. Raleigh Holiday, welcome aboard, Raleigh. Thanks to be a part of the Hockey Nation Live Show tonight. <laughs> Blackhawk fan in 97 with Joshua and Hopper. Welcome aboard. Thanks to be us, of course, Nick Alexandre Mayer. Welcome back. Alan Key, she's back in the house. Ross Trumpington, uh, Mr. Boston Bruins, uh, is in the house tonight. <laughs> TTN, uh, welcome back, TTN. He is back in the house. Uh, welcome. <laughs> Michel Cloutier Timmons, uh, welcome aboard. Thank you to be a part of the show. And Monica Mazur, welcome, Monica. The puck is dropped in Montreal. Go all the way back on the defensive zone of Ottawa. Chasing right now by uh, Zezer. Bring your puck all the way back on the defensive of Montreal for the first icing of the period at 1945. Same situation at the Florida Panthers and uh, Tampa, uh, Toronto Maple Leaf. The game is on. I'm going to follow both games at the same time, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, I can fill up about that one over there. The puck is dropped exactly about that one over there. Here we go! Let's go, Montreal! Charge! Here we go, the puck get out zone, run up Ottawa. They are coming out the left side, try to get up on. It's Matthew Joseph. We know Joseph scored three goals. Last game, uh, they play now. Catch you, shoot the puck right there. They go back outside the zone, recovery right there. Put the defenseman of the. Ottawa Senator, you go all the way back on the defensive zone. They're going to reset right there. Pass the puck in the neutral zone. They are going to come back. It's uh, the, uh, I don't know. <laughs> It's uh, White, I believe. Uh, but anyway, uh, Montreal go D -D back to Paul Biron. Paul Biron's coming to the red line. Had to blind. Paul Biron tried to get around. Paul Biron go around the corner. Bring the puck in the corner. Hold by uh, Olden. 
propre ce qui met que Big Say, by the way, and then uh, Ottawa, uh, dans le parc de Montreal, Canadien, they're going to regroup on the defensive zone. They're going to reset DDD back there. Go back again in front of Jake Allen. They're going to get out of the zone. Long stretch pass right now. Intercept by Ottawa Senator. Dumping the puck behind Jake Allen. Recovery right now by uh, Justin Barron. Chasing by Connor Brown. They pass the puck to the left side. Tip by the puck by Edmondson all the way outside the zone. Reset right now to the defensive zone. To Ottawa Senator on the defensive side. They're going to reset now. Pass to Olden, uh, not it's the Zev. I apologize. The puck go turn around, stop by change the direction. But there was another. Uh, the puck go outside the zone. But the Montreal Canadian, they reset right there. Zab dumping the puck behind Jake Allen. Intercept by Jake Allen. Play the puck right now. Use the board. The stop intercept by Ottawa. Bring the puck to the blue line. Zab shoot the puck. Miss the net completely. The puck to the left side. Chasing one up by Fremonton. Bring the puck to uh, Batterson. Bring the puck to Didi. Now that Ottawa controlling the puck on the defensive zone. Montreal Canadian bring the puck behind the net. Uh, Intercept by Barron. Barron lose the puck by Fremonton. Fremonton get the puck behind the net to Patterson. Patterson, we know he's solid again in Montreal Canadian for many years now. The turnaround by Justin Barron lose the board. Bring it by D. Reverse by Shenaman. Shenaman use the board to the blue line to Mike Hoffman. Finally, Hoffman to the neutral zone. Pass the puck to the back end zone. Montreal's coming now. Try to get a puck around Forrest Burn. Intercept and then for the net. Not missing by Hoffman. Josh Anderson create the puck deep zone. Intercept up by Hoffman. Hoffman in front of the net. Tip the puck again, missing the net by the defenseman, by Pitlick, I believe. The turn around again. Jake Evans, fire! Forsberg is three. Hit it! The Montreal right is in, take the lead. Is it Brendan Gallagher? I believe it's Gallagher! Brendan Gallagher! Score for the Montreal right again at the end, we take the lead! Brendan Gallagher score. We have a review challenge, I believe, by Ottawa Senator. We're going to call Toronto to see what's happening. <coughs> yep, what's going on? We have a pushing by Zab on Alfman on the goaltender. How we call this an interference or not? So uh, we need to know, can you verify this and let us know at the Hockey Nation Live show what's going on after the shot of Jake Evans. So we'll see what's happening there. So possible we don't have a call, a goal. We're going to wait for the call for the Ottawa Senate, uh, for the referee. Coach Charlie and Ottawa Senator at the beginning of the game. Uh, I hate, I can see the game. Can I see the game? Please, it's a goal, Roger. A real deal, Brim. Prim, welcome aboard. Go Senator Michel. Go Florida Panthers, Michel. <laughs> Coach and family in the room. Nooner back in the house tonight. Uh, a possible Super Mario Ben. I think it will be a tie game tonight. Very hard about that one over there. Now we know. Yeah, but pushing. Is it? Zab push off men. Is it off men? Go straight to the goaltender. That's all the question about it. We are going to get the call right now and see what happening about that one over there. <laughs> what did it do? It's a good goal. The Montreal Canadiens take the lead. One zero. We're going to be on power play. And the Montreal Canadiens score. Power play now for the Montreal Canadiens, the first of the night. Uh, Charge. Fire.
Power play Montreux Canadien, six of the season for Brendan Kennegan. Halfman drives the pipe behind. It's a step out of West Canada. Drop pass by Halfman. Fire! Check a uh, black shot by Zizki. Great bad play by, Z by Hoffman. The puck goes on to Zizki. He's coming to the red line. Going to the blue line. Try to get a puck deep. Intercept by Ottawa Senator. The puck goes all the way back on the defensive zone again. The Montreal have a really difficult time to go entrance the zone. And that's going happening right now. Mike Hoffman to the blue line. Kick out the puck to Caulfield. Uh, Zizki. Uh, Caulfield turn around. Change the puck right there. Back to Hoffman at the blue line. Back to Caulfield. On the, back to Hoffman. Hoffman right now. Pass the puck. Back up score. And the flurry. Panthers take the lead. The puck turned around right there. Pauta was an attack. Down the puck all the way. Intercept by Caulfield. Caulfield to Halfman. Fire! Over the husband. Kick the puck by Dvorak. Fosman make it side. The puck go behind the net. The on people now. Pauta was an attack. The puck go all the way behind the Jake Allen. Another good shot by the Montreal Canadian. And the puck go all the way behind it. And the Toronto Maple Leafs losing right now. Already 1-0. Again, the Florida Panthers. The Barkov just score. The puck go now by Pitlick. Pitlick go around. Can he keep the puck for himself? Keep Pitlick bring the puck behind the net. Intercept by Montreal. Fire! Almia! Ottawa saw! Back to Pitlick on the blue line. All the way back to five. Fire! Bonesburg making a new save. Ottawa trying to get a pass on the zone. Intercept by Anderson. Almia. Finally, puck go outside the zone. Go to reset on the defensive zone. Montreal Canadian with 25 seconds to go. Remaining on the power play the first of the night. Montreal looking better. Justin Barron pass the puck to the left side. Enter seven up on the Montreal. Try to get back. Rim the puck all the way back to the side. All the way back to Pit Lake. Pit Lake to Ash Mart. Pit Lake control the park. Keep the control around the board. Change the direction. Bring the puck to the blue line. All the way back to Barron. Barron pass the puck to the left side. Coming back right now. Illinois. Illinois fire! Rebound! Rebound! Mr. Montreal Canadian! This is the by Armia! Bad guard again. Armia, get the puck in the corner. Recovery now by Ottawa Senator. The goal is well, five versus five right now. We are even strength. The power play is over. But Montreal Consider attacking finally. The puck all the way back on the defensive zone. Roman have recovered the puck. All the way back to corner Brown. But all in the neutral zone by Josh Anderson. They go all the way up. They are coming back right there. Brown control the puck. Finally go back to Edmondson. Turn around right now by the Montreal Canadian. They were He's coming back. Pass up on the left side. All the way back to Roman F. Roman F. Trying to get it by deep zone. He's just showing up by the defenseman. Of the Ottawa, they go did it. It was Tim Sauzo. The pair around right now are by Brotherson. Shoot the puck right now. Adam make it say no rebound. We have a whistle at 14 52. After this, the Montreal Canadian won. And the Ottawa Senator Zero. We love what we saw on power play. We have a couple great at great play by Montreal Canadian. Harmia, Pit Lake, Fire off, men. Rebound, they will rack. The Montreal are active. The Montreal looking good tonight. We like what we saw. Face over the right side of Jake Allen. The Ottawa winning the puck right now. He's coming. Fire the puck. Missed the net completely. Puck to the right side. Fires up. He missed the puck. He missed the net again. The puck out all the way on the defensive zone. Zone six off on the Montreal. One for Ottawa Senator. That's where we are. The puck go behind the net. Reset right now for Ottawa Senator. Now intercept by Jake Evan. But Ottawa recovery puck. But again, intercept again by Montreal Canadian to the blue line. Fire! Forsberg make a big save in the rebound. OMG, I love what I see so far. I agree with you, Alexa. I'm sorry about the third period. I apologize. Sorry about that. I just wish we are on the third. Just kidding. Uh, the puck right now, the left side of Forsberg. Uh, Danny, please respect the goalfather in a tap. Uh, Dan Bunny almost scored. Can I show my score in a tap? Uh, <laughs> you lose half a point. <laughs> the puck right now, battle again, again the, uh, in the middle. Finally, Ottawa get out of the zone and turn around right there. But Montreal Canadian tried to get a puck around the board. I think it was uh, it's a seven out. But finally, Montreal pick up the puck to the left side. They are coming outside. Long stretch pass. It's a seven out. But Ottawa, they are coming back again. They go to it around. Lou shouldn't find the net. Missed the net completely. Just keep trying to get a puck outside the zone. They did it again. Back to the pit leg. Give the puck all the way back to another side. It's a by uh, Aris, Aris dumping the puck deep zone for the Montreal Canadiens. Ski try to get the puck. Finally, they go by Ottawa. The puck hit uh, the Montreal Canadiens, hit the net, and they go to reset right away there. And we have a whistle at the right side of the Forsberg. I do respect an attack for and on the time. And back, uh, welcome back, everybody. Thank you uh, about this. Uh, and that's where we are. We have a team timeout, and uh, that's where we are.
S3, welcome back. I am a little bit the way they, they use him. I like what I saw so far, uh, honestly. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I, I really like what I saw from him for sure. Uh, Del Zado and Amonik play for the for tonight for the Ottawa Senator, by the way. That's what we at at that moment. Thanks you went us tonight. Uh, don't forget to click on the like if you don't mind. Uh, we're going to make possible. We're going to see uh, who scored Gallagher six of the season. Uh, Mr. In our tap. Uh, I'm good to put the, the goal right there. Thank you, RJ. Welcome back, Mr. RJ. Here we go. And Columbus 1, Philadelphia 0. Month, uh, one, 1 already. Color, color, the wow, that action. Oh, wow. Usually take a leave 1 0. That action already. A lot of gold. Hi, Mr. Richard Marlin. Let's show you know, I actually picked Fled over the, 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 the Toronto. The Pago outside is on the defense season. Montreal Canadian chasing one out by Montreal Canadian. Recovery by Paul Biron. Paul Biron control the puck around the board. Kick out the puck to the side. Intercept went out behind the net. And the Montreal going to reset right away right there. The puck go to the left side of Jake Allen. Now a gentleman winning right now to have new players coming and uh, helping him. Uh, Shunemir right now set up the breakout. Skate with the puck right there. All the way back to the blue line. Kick out the puck to the left side. Don't pin right now. Intercept by Ottawa Senator. The puck go all the way back on defense season. Shunemir right now get pressure. Rim the puck. Let the puck all the way back. All the way back on defense season. Montreal recover the puck. They are coming to the left side. Turn around by Dave Rack. Dave Rack try to get the puck. Intercept right now by... Uh, Austin, Austin Watson dumping the puck all the way. They are coming back to the bench. Romanov recovered the puck. He go D to D and he go to reset right away back behind the net. Enter so now, part of what? But the gap outside zone, I believe, is Armia Arma to Romanov. Romanov to Hoffman dumping the puck behind the net. Justin and Jones. Well, Forsberg, Forsberg intercept the puck with the glove. He go have a whistle on his left side, on his right side face circle. We are going to put another uh, face off right there. Kimberly, welcome in the house. Henderson fire. Miss the net again. Battle right now in the corner. He's going to see right now. Hoffman recovery the puck. Hoffman kill the puck to Ashman. Change the direction. Fire. Black shot. Palota was in the turn around. Palota was. They tried to get the puck outside the zone. They finally they did. They are coming on offense season. Matthew Joseph get hit by Romanov. Uh, recovery by Romanov. Try to get the puck. Did they use the board to get the puck outside the zone? And the puck all the way back on the defensive zone. It's going to be a nice thing for the Montreal Canadian. Wow, what a play. Go abs, go Richard. Black Ox, uh, Kim. Uh, can I call you Kim or Kimberly? Black Ox. Uh, Black Ox, uh, everything. And I uh, know now go for the go. Thank you, everybody, to join us. Thanks to uh, stop by. Uh, we want to wish also to uh, Natalie, Nat Lafont. She's at the game right now. Hopefully, she enjoyed the game. I'm sure she sent me some pictures, but I cannot check in about that one over there. So, uh, we'll see. First on the right side, Jake Allen winning right now. Panama 12, can easily try to get a puck outside the zone. Finally, go back to Hoffman. Hoffman's coming at three versus two. Kick out the puck on the left side. Pit leg, I believe. Try to get a puck. It was Josh Anderson. Turn around, went up out of what's another. He tried to get a puck outside the zone. Patterson's coming to the neutral zone. He's coming to the offensive zone. Looking behind, and no chance. Bring the puck to Farmington. Recovery right now by Zozol. Dumping right now. Keep the puck for himself. Zozol, turn around. Coming now. And Fire and reach stop at the defensive. Montreal Canadian and the central get a puck. Finally, he get it. Yeah, coming to the blue line, kick out the puck all the way back to Hoffman. Hoffman skate with the puck, waiting, drive the puck behind, recovering out by Shunneman. Now, Iris fire the puck. Forsberg make a save, no rebound. Great play by the Montreal Canadian. Great uh, awareness of the Mike Hoffman to pass the puck behind uh, to Jordan Iris. He uh, uh, joined the rush and shot, and Forsberg make a save. That's what we at. Uh. 
They saw the right side of uh, Ottawa winning right there. They are coming out in the zone. Tom Pina pack all the way. Connor Brown is intercepting up by Montreal Canadian Jordan Harris. Rim the pack all the way back to the side. Kick out, intercepted by Ottawa. Shoot the pack. Allen control the pack. Bound the pack in the corner. Bring back by White. White tried to get packed by Sabal. Intercept uh, behind the net. Zuski tried to get a pack. Change the direction. Bring the pack all the way out to opposite side. Rest up by the defenseman. Ottawa bring pack around the board. Intercepting up by Montreal Canadian. Zuski battle for the pack. Finally, Ottawa win the pack. Fire! Jake. Allen rebound, make a save twice, and no rebound after that. We have a whistle on the right side, and that's what we had at that moment. But a good opportunity right now for Ottawa uh, to have uh, two chance on Jake Allen. Uh, but Allen stays strong in front of net. Uh, Mr. Luke, uh, welcome aboard. Uh, I have a big news, uh, guys. There you go. Uh, Blackout can all uh, Kimberly. If you think I, Danny, I mean the likes. Uh, don't forget to click on the likes. That'd be awesome. Uh, And we have a whistle, a whistle at the uh, face up at the right side. Jake Allen, Allen have a good year so far with the Montreal. Pulling in front of Norris. Ottawa win the face up. Bucket, bucket, bring the puck to the left side. Keep the puck all the way back. The puck all the way on the uh, all the way on the air. Inter seven out by Katsuk behind the net. And Montreal try to get a puck. Inter seven out by Norris. Katsuk win the battle. Turn around in front of Edmondson. Katsuk control the puck. Put the puck. Shoot the puck at the back end. Miss the net completely. Norris try to get a puck. Uh, from Gallagher. And the puck will pull in. And the puck go outside. And they're going to get a step out. And now Gallagher's coming. Fire the puck. Missing the net completely. Forsberg um, leave the puck behind him. Uh, Zab recovered the puck. Battle ran up. And the Montreal Canadian Gallagher is on the ice. Keep the puck outside. And I was coming to outside zone. By Matthew Joseph. Joseph turned the direction. Pass the puck to Zab. Zab's coming now. Dumping the puck a little bit for himself. Chasing by Romanov. Romanov win the battle. Pass the puck right now to Armia. Armia to the board. But intercept went up. Ottawa Senator. They continue attacking right there. Great play by Ottawa Senator. Armia makes some pressure behind. Romanov tried to get a puck. We now battle for four players behind the net. Nobody won the puck. The puck ran all the way back to the blue line for Ottawa Senator. Uh, dumping the puck on the left side all the way back by uh, Brent Strom. Intercept by Montreal Canadian. What Del Zato. Now the Montreal go deep, deep. The puck stays on deep zone for the Montreal. They have a difficult time to get a puck outside the zone. Emerson finally back the puck to Joel Armia. Skating with puck. Use the board. Pass the puck right now to Devarek. Drop to Armia. Armia's coming now in offensive zone. Try to get a puck out. Round it is seven out by the Ottawa Senator to by Watson. The puck on the defensive zone, Montreal Canadian. They go to regroup. Uh, Shannon can with the puck. Shannon for himself. Turn around. Keep the puck for himself. Turn around right there. Chasing one out by Batterson. Both D to D. Pass the one in the zone by the Montreal Canadian. And, and recovery there by two Shannon at the red lines coming out to the blind. Dumping the puck. Chasing one out. Montreal is going to recovery. Jake Evan bring the puck around the board. It is seven out by uh, Josh Anderson. Anderson bring the puck again, again for and uh, and uh, for. Uh, Evans, and just up by Shuneman. Shuneman to Evans. Evans back to the blue line right there. Justin Barron, I believe, pass again to Evans. And no chance. It's just up by the Ottawa Senator. Pressure by, uh, again, by Barron. The puck stuck in the zone. Finally, Montreal recovering. It was on. Recovered by Jake Evans. Pushed the puck for himself in the corner. Chasing went out by uh, Armonic. It was just up in the corner. Keep the puck for himself. Bring the puck to Jake Evans. Battle went out with Armonic. The puck on the blue line. All the way back to Shuneman. Shoot the puck. Missed the net barely. Back again at the blue line. Fire, Shuneman. Miss the net again. The puck door out. Pinch went out by Justin Barron. It just went up Ottawa Senator. Some pressure from Montreal Canadian. Finally, love the puck all the way back on the defensive zone on Montreal. The puck go deep zone from in the territory of Montreal. Recovery by Shoneman. Shoneman should be on the bench right now, I believe. But maybe it's Jordan Harris. No, it's still Shoneman. Shoneman skating with the puck. Shoneman control the puck. Pass the puck to the right side. Coming out by Ziski. Ziski change the direction. Drop the puck behind uh, to Carfield. Drop the puck to the left side to Pit Lake. To Ziski. Game intercept by Ottawa Senator. They're going to go on the left side. They go back on Alden. Try to get a puck. Turn around by Ottawa Senator. And finally, they get out of the zone. They go around of the... Uh, Jordan Harris. Jordan Harris, a great cap control, controlled by Petlick. Petlick pass the puck to Carfield. Carfield for himself. Go behind the net around that fourth bird. Pass the puck to Petlick. They finally uh, hit the board and he's going to recover right now by. Uh, Connor Brown, Brown bring the puck around the board. Oh, I risk recovery right now behind by uh, Savar. Savar ran the puck, intercepted up by Ottawa Senator. Turn around right there, looking for the back door. Missed the net completely. But Zab recovery puck deep zone. Zab battle for the puck in front of the uh, pit lake. Uh, Carl Field, the puck behind the net. Savar clear the front of the net. We have a penalty for David Savar for interference, I believe. And the uh, Ottawa Senator is going to be on the power play, the first of the night for them. And uh, David Savar take a uh, two minute uh, penalty box for. 
interference. That's what we had at that moment. We have a TV timeout. Thanks for joining us again tonight for the Hockey Nation Live Show. We thanks each one of you. Cannabis take the lead 2 0 over the Philadelphia Flyers. That's what we see at that moment. A couple of updates around the league. Let's jump in about that one over there. Uh, 1 0 still, Mon uh, Florida Panthers around the. Um, uh, Toronto Maple Leaf, seven shots for both teams. The Hurricane take the lead 1 0. Uh, Jerry, uh, a fast score for them. Canadian 1 0. Panthers 1 0. Uh, Reynard score for them. Rangers Devil 1 1. Strom and Sharinkovich uh, score for them. Jackets take 2 0 over the Flowers. Avalanche 1 and uh, Penguins around. McKinnon and Ross score. That's all the game we have. We have game start 7 30 between the Boston and the Red Wings. And uh, that's where we are. Uh, so that's it. A 9 3 for the shot there. Hey, Mike Zuck. I don't know why the, the screen of the, the game between Montreal on the ESPN Plus, the, the screen is black. So I don't know what's going on. Oh, you go. We are back. Which one you like more, Nuno? I win last, last uh, Michael. Uh, uh, honestly, Montreal win and uh, good luck for the Leafs. First, uh, Ottawa, nice player so far for the abs. Nicholas, I agree with you. Thanks, Nicholas, to join us tonight. Uh, glad to see you aboard of the Hockey Nation Live Show. I uh, got my money. Here we go. The puck right now on the right side, Jake Allen, 744, 744 uh, 40 to go. Remember, win the, back, uh, win the face off, recovery by Romana. Romana's coming now. Don't pin the puck. All the way chasing the puck. All the way deep zone. And you're going to have some pressure by Backstrom. Turn around. He will recover the puck. Uh, Backstrom set up. Backstrom turn around again behind Forsberg for the second time. Matwell, 28 on power play uh, this season. The turn around. Backstrom drive the puck to the left side. After what's coming, Norris now. At the blue, uh, it was Zozol. Pin the puck behind Romana. From enough, keep the puck, lose the puck in front behind the net, and recovered by Norris. Norris jungle with the puck, keep the puck at the blue, inside the blue line, pass to Backstrom, Backstrom to the left side, back to catch your belly. Back to Norris, fire the puck, and miss the net completely. Are uh, stopped by uh, Tim Sozo at the, uh, the, uh, the Ash Mike, back to Backstrom. All the way back over there, back to Sozo. Sozo's coming on the goal line uh, behind uh, to Patterson. Patterson control the puck right now in front of the net of the uh, catch hook. Intercept by Pystrom, back to Sozo. Sozo's coming, shoot the puck to Indian Patterson. Intercept right now, shoot the puck, miss the net, or cold blade. And now risk recovery puck to the blue line all the way back, but uh, to... Backstrom, Backstrom, pass the puck to Sozo. Sozo bring the puck back to Backstrom, back to Norris. Fire the puck uh, over the right shoulder. Turn around, and the puck go deep zone for the Montreal Canadiens. Less of 50 seconds to go. Good save by Jake Allen with a blocker. And that's what we add at that moment. The puck go behind the net, chasing by the Montreal Canadiens. New unit number two. Now, Connor Brown's coming into the red line, to the blue line. Pass the puck to White. White drive the puck behind it. Except by the Montreal Canadiens. Battle with Nuski. Back to Armia. Lose the puck right there. Back again to uh, Del Zado. Del Zado back to White, to Connor. Brown back to Del Zado. Del Zado on the back door. Go back to right side. Intercept right now by Ottawa Senator. Control the puck the goal line. Looking right now. It's coming down. Look again. Checking it back, 20 seconds to go remaining. Ottawa Senator on the right side, pass the ball, goal line's coming, shoot the puck, Allen make a save, look behind, he make a save and no rebound, and that's what we had at that moment uh, with 6-0-3 to go. I forgot to start the clock, but um, we have a 16 second remaining on the power play for Ottawa Senator, and that's what we had at that moment. Thank you very much for being part of the Hockey Nation Show. Mr. Roger Delaney is in the house. And Florida right now is 13 8 the shot uh, for the Florida Panthers, still 1 0. Renard, Sam Renard, take the gold for them. Uh, face out the left, right side, Jake. Uh uh, Jake Allen winning Palo Tawa. Pack you got the Del Zero. Del Zero control the puck right now. Pass the puck to uh, Norris. Norris looking right now. Pass the goal line. Looking again back there. They were looking back to Norris. Norris again coming on the goal line. Try the puck between legs by Kachuk. Intercepted up by Zab. Zab bringing the puck to Norris. Norris coming now. It's coming from the net over the Jake Allen. Make a rebound. Montreal Canadiens finally dab the puck uh, down the puck over there. And it's going to be 
all the way back on the defensive zone and we're going to reset all the way behind the net of Jake Allen. Now, Montreal tried to get a puck outside the zone by Jake Allen. It's seven now in front of the net. Oh, it was a bad play by Montreal. Finally, Allen passed the puck to Jake Allen. Uh, Jake Evans, even dumped the puck all the way behind of Holden. Uh, Holden passed the puck to the, I think it was Amonix, uh, intercepted out by the Montreal Canadian chasing the puck in the corner by Gallagher, pass to Ilanen. Ilanen passed the puck right side to Savas. Savas coming on the back door. Forsberg make a save, no rebound. He stopped with the puck with the glove, and we go to restart at the left side, uh, and then uh, Forsberg. Uh, this is the 10 go- shot for the Montreal Canadian tonight, uh, and that's what we at. We won't be possibly have another. We have some pushing right now for uh, Toronto and Florida. It was uh, Lipushkin with Arvis, and you can see some pressure step up between Ottawa and uh, and on between the Toronto and the Florida. Go Abs, go go Abs, Steve G. Here we go, RG. Some uh, one zero Carolina. Thank you. Uh, two zero Columbus. Uh, uh, one zero Florida. One one uh, Colorado Pittsburgh. One uh, one Rangers. Thank you so much, RG, for that uh, new game start at seven thirty in Detroit. Uh, that's where we are at that moment. I agree with you, Danny. I look the game right now. I'm watching this game. It's pretty pretty fun to watch for sure. Um, at that moment. Uh, 5.08 to go, 5 minutes or 8 to go. Uh, and the first period between Ottawa Senator and the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, the momentum shifts a little bit after the penalty for David Savard. Montreal play well on even strength. And we're going to see how they're going to turn around. But uh, alive so far, the first period for the Montreal Canadiens uh, right there. Savard got that offensive and strength and that move is just perfectly always work. Is that most speed? It would be awesome. I agree with you. I like to see the jumping about that. Uh, Daryl H, so welcome aboard. Thank you for joining us tonight. You have a good period, Daryl. For what I saw, Daryl, first of all, thanks for being part of the show. Alexi Zubik, welcome aboard. Thanks for being with us. Hopefully, you feel better, Alexi. Uh, Come on, slave, you're only giving too many rebounds. Uh, Daryl, I, I apologize, I didn't answer you back. Um, for what I saw, because I watched the game behind, um, a lot of shots, and uh, right now, I think they are a little bit better period so far. Feel good to be back, uh, Blackout. Welcome back. And uh, Nick, uh, Alexi, hopefully you feel better. And uh, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget, guys, to click on the like before you leave uh, tonight. Uh, the puck go around under the Tower Senator. Don't be back behind Jake Allen. It's a set of puck. Run the puck all the way back to the blue line. Chasing one out by Carfield. Lead the puck all the way back on the defensive zone. Intercept one out by Olden. Drop the puck to the left side. Recovery one out by uh, Austin Watson, I think. And they dump in the puck all the way behind the net of the Montreal Canadian. Had him play a puck. Back to Shoneman. Shoneman intercept. Fire the puck. and score. Austin, a uh, turn around by Shoneman. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I'm speechless. Watson score. Jake Allen could not come back in the net. A uh, turnover. Allen bring the puck to Shoneman. Shoneman bring the puck right there. And Allen was not set up properly. And Shoneman just gave a Santa Claus puck to Watson. Wow. Wow, this is the one, the worst, worst play in Montreal Canadian this season by Corey Shoneman. Wow, 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 wow. Welcome, Mr. Tommy. Tommy, thanks to join us tonight. All right, we're back now, Montreal Canadian. You talk about moment, mon, uh, momentum, right? You talk about uh, change the momentum, it drop all the mistake, and uh, this is like, it's unacceptable to be honest with you. Whatever you're 26 years old, 20 years old, uh, this is awareness. It's not about skill or talent. You have to be better if you want to stay in the NHL, uh, unfortunately. Uh, Jordan Harris recovery power went out, turn around, try to get it by Sava, battle went out, the four check of Ottawa is got it solid. Then finally, Pack got outside the zone by Mike Hoffman, looking at Pack, dumping the puck, when I just see Pack Anderson, Fosberg recovery, Pack Montreal, only two shots, send the begin, uh, send the middle of the 
period at that moment. And uh, Toronto tied the game 1 1. And Nylander just scored with Matthews. And that's what we had. The puck intercepted out by Ottawa Senator. The puck got all the way behind. Uh, Biron intercepted out by uh, the Montreal Canadian in the corner. Hamia lose the puck. Ottawa continue attacking right now. The puck go all the way back. The blue line shoot the puck. Uh, Jake Allen makes a rebound behind the net. Palo right now. Ottawa controlling the puck right there. Turn around by Tim Sozel. Throw the puck behind. They are coming. Wrap up. Shoot the puck. Allen make a save. A great. Great play by Tim Zozol, but no chance. Allen was there. They were right bringing the puck behind the net to Ramana. Ramana leave the puck all the way back. Outside zone by the Montreal Canadien. Finally, the puck all the way to Zab. Zab don't put the puck right there. Perry Hunt, Jake Allen. And the puck go all the way back to uh, Edmondson. Battle for the puck with Farmington around the board. Nate Zozol lose the control of the, the puck with Ramana. The puck will change the direction to Edmund, Edmondson. Edmondson in the back door on the back uh, of the stick. Bring the puck all the way back on the territory of the Ottawa Senator. They're coming down. They don't pin the puck all the way back. They're going to go all the way behind Ramanov, control the puck behind Jake Allen. Chasing one out by a catch up. Ramanov pays the puck to run out to Jordan Harris. Great stick out by a stick out by the Jordan Harris. Back to Gallagher. Gallagher to the blue line. Drive the puck behind to Jordan Harris. Coming now at the goal line. Shoot the puck. Rebound. Forsberg make a big save. Again, Ryan Pullen at 2.31 to go. Again, I forgot to stop the clock. Uh, Jesus. This is the first shot of Montreal Canadiens since like uh, half of the game. Toronto just tied the game. And then it's going to score. Jake, yep. Go as go. Lee Florida 1-1. One, one. Uh, hello, Mr. Tommy. Thank you. Uh, Ron Kings, welcome aboard. Uh, you will come, Michael. Uh, Angela Fiesta 2-1 to come on the abs. Uh, the puck went out winning by the Ottawa Senator on the defensive zone of fourth at the right for Forsberg. Zezab drive the puck all the way back on the defensive zone. It's going to be an icing for the for the well for the Ottawa Senator going to restart at the right side of Anton Forsberg. Uh, 319 to go in Florida. Still 1-1. 13 shots versus 9 advantage of the uh, Florida Panthers. Here, the shot our 11-9 advantage. Ottawa Gallagher scored the first goal of the game at the beginning of the game, honestly, after a rebound of Jake Evans. That's what we had. Uh, face off right now between Gallagher and um, I don't know who he was. The puck go behind the net. Alden recovered the puck. Intercepted by David Savao. Shoot the puck. Tip up in front of the net. Broken stick by the Montreal Canadian. Gallagher intercepted the puck and a part of the defenseman. But now Ottawa try to get the puck outside the zone. Great play by Helenon. Helenon bring the puck uh, behind the net and chase him out by. Um, Pulling, I believe, I'm not sure, the pinch by the Montreal Canadian, by David Savard, the puck all the way back to the blue line, Gallagher all the way back to uh, uh, Iris or Shenemann, and the puck turned around, back away by the Montreal Canadian, control the puck, pulling back to the Shenemann or Iris, all the way back to David Savard, David Savard control the puck at the blue line, Savard try to get a puck back to the left side, intercepted by Poland, pulling back to Savard, Savard try to get a one-timer miss, uh, completely back to Elonen, bring the puck to the left side. Ottawa try to get a puck outside the zone. Finally, they did. They ball all the way back on the defensive zone. A Montreal Canadian, they're going to regroup on the defensive zone. It was uh, Iris and that Shuneman. By the way, Shuneman did not come back on the ice and make a mistake. Uh, Iris passed the puck to Savar. Savar went out, try to get a puck, intercept out. Ottawa was another bad play by David Savar. The puck go around behind, coming out the back door. Fire! How to make a big save against Jordan? Fire the blue line, it's a 7-9 for the net. Montreal trying to get the puck in zone. And then the third time, Paramena finally the puck go outside. Montreal is coming now in the neutral zone. Bring the puck to the left side. It's coming to the right side. This is looking on the back door. Too far for Carfield. And turn around by Josh Norris coming back. They are coming to the neutral zone. Norris control the puck. Try to get the cup. Try the puck behind. Fire! Over the right shoulder of Allen. Turn around by the Montreal Canadian. No chance for. Zuzki, drop the puck again. The puck down deep, but out was another Allen intercepted the puck, pass to Iris, uh, Edmonton, Edmondson, go D to D to Ramanaf. Uh, back with 41 seconds remaining on the first period. That's what we had at that moment. No Ramanaf waiting for the new players coming behind the net. Uh, and now they're going to set up one, two, two for Ottawa. So another break out for the Montreal Canadian. Less of 30 seconds. Ramanov winning right now. But keep the puck right there. Colin White looking for Ramanov. Ramanov bring the puck to the right side. It's coming to the neutral zone. The Montreal attacking right now. Turn the puck to the right side. It's chasing by Anderson. Go to the back door. It's just Montreal. Shoot by Montreal Canadian. Turn around right there by Alfman. Keep the puck deep in the zone. Battle to the board. Right now to Alfman. Alfman at the back door. Missed completely the defenseman. Montreal Canadian. They go to go to Byron. Byron right now on defensive zone. Pass the puck to Shoneman. Lab the puck all the way on the defensive zone. This is going to be the end of the period because my clock was back. Uh, all the way back over there. And that's what we had at that moment. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
This is the end of the first period of the Montreal. The score is 1 1. It's Gallagher at 231. Take the lead to the Montreal Canadiens 1 0, as stood by Jake Evans. But at 15 20, after a giveaway puck by Corey Shunneman, Watson, no assisted, tied the game at 15 20. And that's the two goal only in this third period. Both teams have one power play. Uh, and no goal, and both teams have 11 shots on the net, and that's what we have, pretty square. Uh, the first prayer was dominate, the first half of the first prayer was dominated by the Montreal Canadiens, the second half uh, started with a penalty to Savard, and then after that, it was uh, all the rest, it was all about Ottawa Senator, but again, a turnover by the Montreal Canadiens uh, gave that game one-to-one, -one, unfortunately. And that is going to be like this for many more months uh, with the young players, honestly. Uh, no, no, you get right last night. Uh, and at that, go, Michael, then go. Uh, Jeffy Korn, welcome aboard. <laughs> Nicolas de Gobi Bono. Salut, mon homme. Thanks, you went us tonight, Nicolas. Biron set the pace of the world team with his first shift. That showed the rest of it should be later on the ice with that. Uh, I agree with you. He get right away over there. The Montreal follow-up. Then a turnover uh, gave a chance for the, obviously, a turnaround for the Ottawa for the rest of the period. I believe they dominate more. But overall, Montreal have a good period. Like you said, Richard, about that one over there. Please hit the like button. The blade, and thank you so much. No, no. Hey, coach, can't be in the house. Thank you, uh, Kat. B, a very kind of you. I appreciate a lot. Uh, Steve G, 27 gold. Don't listen to Danny. Uh, it should have been better than Savard, Renault. Uh, it's hard to say that. You talk about a veteran, 13, 15 years. Compared to men only play a couple of games in NHL. So uh, two different players. Um, Savard is really more physical. Home, house. Uh, Shunneman tried to control the puck both ways. Um, so, you know, you, I don't see both of them like a one over or better or better. It's just he make a bad, uh, uh, he, he did a bad uh, play about that one over there. Uh, Mr. Oze, welcome aboard. Uh, is, which one can make the main point of the cup this year? Is it not uh, Ottawa All? It's pretty good. Uh, Renault. Uh, so Nicola, the Gobi, uh, both seconds gone. Uh, yes, sorry, love the sound effect. Uh, thank you so much, Kala Prashala. We're going to have Mr. Uh, Andrew join us in the next couple of seconds. We're going to see where we can bring him. Uh, about that one there, where we can put him somewhere, somehow. And uh, let's bring him here. If we can, uh, Mr. Andrew Lapage. Uh, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us tonight. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. What about you? Not bad, not bad. Thanks for joining us tonight. Just give us your impression about the first game, the first period for the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, what do you think about what happening, everything? I love the way they came out. Uh, we came out flying, and it was nice to see Galley finally get one, and it was nice to see us finally get a judgment our way. So they came out great. Uh, it was only uh, you started to see uh, Ottawa start to get their wheels back. And what a shame because Su Suneman was having a good game until he made that pass, and I think it was kind of a combination. Sometimes I think the goalies should let the defenseman handle the puck, and then you, maybe you don't get into that situation. But it was more on Schooneman, but I think the combination a bit. But uh, overall, the kids seem to be playing well, but we just got to watch. We got to watch because right now, that, especially that, that first line is really coming on for Ottawa. So they seem to be getting their legs. We just got to get back in the groove. Yeah, I agree with you about that one. Again. I think, first of all, the Montreal dominate the first 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh, until Saval get a penalty. Yep. <laughs> and then a momentum shift. And then Allen play a good puck, gave to Shoneman, and Shoneman yeah. just gave to Watson, and, and Allen was not ready for the shot. Like, he, can, he had no chance to recover perfectly at the right position. Uh, then yeah. he got, uh, you know, and Austin but Watson is a four-line, a four-liner. Exactly. Then I score like 50 goals in line, you know. So uh, <laughs> that play completely uh, no excuse for Karim Shoneman. I have no reason no. to drop the puck over there. Uh, he was trying to turn around like a break out, but he had no players for there. He had nobody, no 
Mont Truckin is well, in there at all. He, he didn't put enough on for for to get to pit like that's for darn sure. I know who he was trying to get to, but he his his pass wasn't anywhere as close enough to get going that direction. Yep. So um, we we'll be interested to see how they go to wreck for the second period. I think Montreal will be you know overall. I think they have more uh, opportunities. Uh, at yep. one moment oh, yeah. at the beginning, that they they got like three four shots back to out during the power play. Uh, the first power exactly. play. Uh, they did not entrance the first minute, right? But the second half of the power play, uh, a couple of saved uh, by Forsberg. I think they were Rack Anderson. Um, they were so close. The work yeah, was it very was close, close over there. Uh, got yeah. a good shot for the blue line. Uh, I like uh, the young man, uh, Baron Aris, have a good period. Jesse London have a good period on my eyes. Oh, yes, most definitely. He's I think Jesse well. should play more minute on the ice. Unfortunately, he's on the, the ladder. is hard over there, but uh, I like what I saw. Oh, he's going to fit in. I mean, I, I, I can't see him not having a role next season. He's, he's probably going to be a third, fourth liner, but he's going to have a role. There's no doubt in my mind. He, he looks good out there. I agree with you about that one. Yep. Uh, bonne nuit, mon Alexi. Good night, buddy. Uh, see you tomorrow. Her Sava was offensive defender and junior. I don't wonder if got the chance to work on the back. But please said 10 games could be pass of the road just at that. Um, Sava, you know, like the speed, he don't have the speed, right? But he's, he's huh. really smart. Like he's aware yeah. of what's going on around him. If you see he have a possibility to go a little bit deep and the offensive zone, he would take that chance. So uh, I think he's really good with no puck. Yes. And Very. when the puck go to him, he can gather it now. He's not like a, a Pietrangelo, everything like that. But when you see an, an opportunity, like Nicholas said, I think he can jump on it about that one. He knows, he knows how to anticipate the play, no doubt about it. Really bad news for the New Jersey Devils, Mr. In, uh, Mr. Andrew. Uh, Jack uh -oh. Hughes out for the rest of the season. No. When did this happen? Uh, remember last weekend he got hit by um, Wild Strom for the Islanders? Oh, no way. Wow. And um, it was the sight of the, of the legs. We thought it was wow. not major, so I don't know exactly what he got, but it looked like he's done for the rest of the year. So, uh, what a shame. You know, he had not many games, but still, uh, we don't want was, to have yeah, those kind like, of no, a player no, out, don't want that right? Money. And, uh, you know, that, uh, I agree. Jesse Ellenon is look really improved. Good to see Prospect going out of the pipeline. I agree with you about that one over there for sure. Uh, Yamu yeah. said big news. Uh, Jack Hill will be out of the game action for the rest of the season with a low grade MCL sprain his knee. Here we wow. go. That's what yeah. comes from uh, Joseph and now well, confirmed by Yamu. Thankfully, it's not the ACL. Let's, he, he could be thankful of that. Yeah, it's a, it's a sprain, so we can think about that yeah. one there. Yeah. Um, he can pass like a good a time. He got like, enough news playmaker. Yeah. Just the. It's just the, the speed that David Savard does not have. No, uh, all my fantasy like... players are getting injury. Kadri, use uh, Yamo. Yeah, it's, it's, it's that time of year. You're going to see a lot of people getting uh, knocked off here and there. People are fighting for playoff spots. It's, uh, and then you got some of the teams wanting to play the the uh, spoiler, you know? So you are you got wild games happening right now. Yeah, absolutely about that. Uh, uh, let's talk a bit more. You know, we know what's going on with Montreal Canadiens, but let's talk it. Um, and I'll tell ask you, uh, which team did you pick, Ottawa or Montreal? Oh, I picked Ottawa. Okay. Yeah, I, de I definitely did. They were hot, so I kind of stuck with them. And one plus, one in Florida I Panthers. I don't know if you follow the game, but my point, what do you expect about that game or what do you think, like, um, what do you, you, you believe Toronto. could happen tonight? I'm picking Toronto, but I probably, you know, it's probably not the wisest thing to do where it's a back-to-back, -back, but I'm still picking them because I think they're a little hungrier, wanting the points a little more where Florida can kind of coast a little bit where they've already got their spot for sure, sealed up, right? So I think Tor I'm picking Toronto, but it's going to be close. I agree with you about that one. The reason why I go with Florida, I would say where I believe it's maybe whatsoever – they have the same number, the number of the game, right? Right. But they have only seven points. Wow. So Toronto win tonight. They are only five points. Exactly. And I said Toronto finished first. But I believe right now that Penta have to show up. Both of them are uh, Florida. They win the last four games. Toronto win the last five games. And Boston win the last three games. Right. So, They're coming on. 
they're coming on. So I I believe Florida tonight it will pull up that game. I believe because they they cannot lose. But again, Toronto are so much confidence right now. They believe they can oh, yeah. beat anybody in the league, and so that would be something. The second game I want to talk about to you. What do you think? Um, it's really the the Minnesota again Nashville. Um, I, I really I really like Minnesota's game. I don't know. I'm picking. I kind of went with Minnesota. I just think they're. I love the additions they've got, and I just think they got the tad bit of an edge there, talent wise. Just a tad hunger. There's, there's a hunger there, you know. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, Florida, Yamo, uh, Pitt, uh, Toronto, Yamo are number one power play in initial. Uh, Tommy picked the leave tonight. Uh, uh, Renault, do you think Alanon can score more Kelly Cunning and Susan? Well, I, I'm not going to, I can, can't make that judgment yet. Um, is it possible? He definitely is showing some nice signs, but you know, there's a lot that has to go on before you can even. I've been honest with you, I would say yes. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. I, I believe, I would say, I don't know yen, uh, yet uh, next year, but Alanon, he can score 20 goals in initial. I hope so. The yeah. reason why okay. I'll be I'll be honest with you why he he play power play, right? And he right. Can, he was never play power play, exactly. And he that, had an that, amazing great you know, shot. So my, if my you compare only, my only... to him, that's my point behind that one over there. That's yeah. the reason why I believe I'll be uh, important about that for that. Sport fan, welcome aboard. Thanks you want us tonight. Don't forget to ask some questions if you want to. Uh, next game, uh, Islanders, Islanders star. You know what? I I, I kind of just think this, the the Islanders are. I'm pick. I picked the Islanders. They seem to have it in their head that they're not out, and they're they're coming on at a good time. They're not going to make it. Don't don't kid yourself. They're not going to make it. I don't know why they have it in their head, but hey, maybe that's just something they want to get on the right track to as a message for next season. I don't know, but I, I'm I'm picking them over Dallas. Dallas to me has been. I love Dallas, but they've been a little inconsistent. I I took Dallas because they play home, yeah. right? Yeah. My heart want Islanders. Yeah, I see the Islanders doing it. They've been hot lately. They've been upsetting a lot of bigger teams because they they are still a good team. People forget that they had yeah. a lot of injury. You know, this game I was like, oh my god, do I go with my heart or I go with the right team? Because <laughs> Dallas need that W. They would make me more hungry, and they play home better, like any the other only, team. The problem. The only with, pro. The problem, uh, honestly, and Drew is this yeah. part. I cannot read Dallas. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. That's I, I don't know I who they going. are. They, it, they know. don't know who they. They can show up like the best team in NHL. <laughs> the next day, they they're worse in NHL. You never and know right. how they show up over there. And you've been like that's this for problem. the last three years. Yeah, you don't know their identity at whatsoever. I don't know what team's going to show up which night. So that's why I kind of went with you know the Islanders were rolling a bit. And I know they've got a good uh, nucleus there. And I, I have to see more consistency from Dallas. I expect a lot of change in Dallas this summer. I do too. Start I with do Rick Bonus. Yeah. I don't think he's going to burst there. No. No, he'll be gone. And you know what? Uh, don't be surprised if, uh, you know, Radula is out of there as well. A couple of big names go. Absolutely right. right about that one over there. So it'll be interesting about what's going to happen about this. So what do you expect for the second period before we go? Well, it's going to be interesting. Like I say, we're going to have to sit back and watch because we got to get it. We got to turn the table a bit here because it was starting to go in Ottawa's favor. They were coming on a bit. But, you know, I, I'm expecting the Habs to be able to settle down. It's going to be a fight to the end. It's going to be a close game, in my opinion. This is a one-goal game. I, I, I would have given the edge to Ottawa. But this is going to be a, a, a dogfight game type of game, you know, for two teams that are pretty evenly matched. You know what I mean? I agree with you about that one over there. And uh, the good news for me, what I see Montreal never give up. Like, they can come back That's at any like. time. So for me, uh, the next goal is important, yes, but not the end of the world. Uh, right. That. They need to step up more, I think, right now, because they don't finish yeah. strong the, the, the end of the second, the first period. I, so, uh, I would like to see them, I'd like to see them close the gap there, uh, you know, when the, the, the puck's in their end uh, on the defenseman. They're giving the defenseman a, a, a little bit too much time to set up, and I'd like to see them close that little, that space up, just because, take the time away, and then you'll see a little more panic in Ottawa's game. 
We definitely look forward to see you uh, at the second intermission, Mr. Andrew. Thanks again to stop by. And uh, we'll right see on. if Montreal can take the lead for the, ne the next 20 minutes. After 40 minutes, maybe they can lead by one or two goals. So uh, look forward to see you, I Mr. Andrew. Enjoy your second period, my friend. You too. Right, All right on. thanks again. Good it was day, Andrew Lepage, a direct clip from Nova Scotia, another insider of the Nation Live show for the Montreal Canadiens. Always glad to see you, Mr. Andrew, and always great to have him aboard with the Montreal Canadian uh, talking about the Montreal. So it's glad to see this. The Buffalo Sabres just tied the game at, at the beginning of the second period. Jeff Skinner scored his 29 of the season. Uh, wow. The Buffalo keep constantly to make some trouble to other team. I'm going to put the goal, guys. I forgot to put the goal of the Watson is fifth of the season of the season. So let me get that one over there. We welcome Mr. Dan Asham uh, directly from Manitoba. Dan, I apologize. I saw you show up, but um, I was busy a little bit earlier, so I will want to say hi to you. And Colette, hopefully an amazing, great day, Mr. Uh, Dan. Thanks to be a part of the Hockey Nation live show. And uh, we are right where we are right now. Uh, I think we have two good games going on uh, tonight. Yes, Michael, I agree with you about that one there. Oh, Sabre score, uh, down, Tommy, yeah. And not that every team get out at time. I'm only as a power playoff series seven game. I don't see them going far. Uh, the problem with them is like you cannot lose against Seattle like they did the last game. They're going to hurt them for sure. But I agree with you about in Ottawa. They, they did better on the road, the road trip. They dropped the last game. That's what hurt them a lot. Uh, Mr. Sport Fan, welcome aboard. Hopefully you're doing well, Mr. Sport Fan. Thanks, stop that. Habs Fan and the house. Ça va très bien et toi? And then we have uh, like the 10 about that. Thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight. Uh, don't forget to click on the like. If you don't mind, that'd be great. That'd be awesome that we're helping us. That's the only thing we ask of you. Uh, if you can do that, uh, click on the like. So it'll be good uh, about that one over there. Uh, 222, 23, uh, Brand, Brandstrom at 26. Uh, Uh, Gabriel. We have a TV timeout. We have to wait. Uh, the game restart. Second period where we at uh, tomorrow. Uh, and I thought they have a chance for sure. Uh, evening, Mr. Coach. It's trapped. Uh, John Lowry. Welcome aboard. Uh, one, je, tu nous as dit ça la semaine passée, mais sur Asphen, hopefully, euh, tout va bien quand même. La santé reste quand même bonne. C'est que c'est bon. Uh, and go from there. Uh, yeah, uh, Butterbean uh, will be tomorrow his birthday, so we're going to wish, wish him a happy birthday tomorrow. Bonne deuxième, mon Nicolas. Merci, mon Nicolas, de nous rappeler ça là. La deuxième période, j'ai... J'ai quelque chose, la deuxième période. J'ai jamais mis là, monsieur, uh, monsieur Nicolas. Let me check if I can get it. Mr. Nicola, I always forget to do that, Mr. Inna, uh, Mr. Um, I don't get it. Uh, here we go, Danny. If it was Canadian, my friend's please. Yeah, I agree with you about that one. There, the park drop in uh, Ottawa, and we're going to start right away. The park go have an offside at the beginning of the period, at the blue line of the Montreal Canadian, and we're going to have a new uh, defenseman for the Montreal's coming on the ice with 13, 19, 34, I believe, to go. And that's what we had. I apologize. I was watching the, the monitor. First off, right now, on the left side of the neutral zone, the park go outside the zone. Wayne, welcome aboard. <laughs> Peter Gaziello. 
Uh, welcome aboard. Yeah, a great night. Recovery Park from Minton. Drop the puck. Uh, block shot by David Saval. Coffee to recover the puck. Puck all the way back to uh, Pit Lake. Pit Lake played the puck. Right now, ran the puck a lot. All the way back to another side. Nobody was on the right side. Now, the Ottawa the, uh, Dele offside. Uh, the puck goes D to D. Back by Saval. Bring the puck right now to, um, is it Aris? Or, I don't know. The puck goes outside the zone. But if Saval don't play the puck behind uh, Forsberg. Now, Forsberg play the puck around the board. It is now now uh, by nobody. The puck goes all the way back on the defensive zone by Montreal Canadian. Jordan Aris recover the puck behind the goaltender, Jake Allen. Uh, and that's what we add about that one over there. Thanks, uh, everybody. Uh, you are computer. Battle of the basement. Uh, battle for the prospect. Uh, Jordan Harris went out, pass the puck to the left side. Montreal don't pick the puck by Jake Evans. Finally, the puck go behind the Zab. Zab go D to D, chasing by Hoffman. The stop by by the Montreal Canadiens, by Byron. No chance. The puck go all the way back uh, on the territory for the Montreal Canadiens. Jake Allen play a puck, drive the puck all the way back on the defensive zone. Now it's going to be a nice thing by Jake Allen all the way back on the de- behind Austin Mas- uh, Forsberg. And we'll go to the south on the left side of the Jake Allen. Uh, welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, and uh, that's what we are. Fire. Uh, Ab, je fais la même chose, mais j'écoute la part- les deux parties en même temps. <laughs> the puck will come to Ottawa, bring the puck to the left side, intercept on the other side, but Ottawa win the battle, bring the puck to the blue line. Fire! By, uh, by stop by by uh, Anderson in front of uh, Backstrom. The puck go all the way back behind the net of the Forsberg. Jake Evans try to get the puck, uh, winning by the Ottawa Senator. They're going to use the board to get out, out the zone. They are coming in the neutral zone, all the way back on the blue line. Carly White bring the puck to the left side. Ottawa try to get by in front of the net, no chance. A great play by Josh Anderson. The puck go outside the zone by Mike Hoffman. Hoffman skating with the puck. Get the puck deep zone. They turn around to Jake Evans. Bad play by Mike Hoffman. The puck go outside the zone. Intercept by, the, by Saval. Dumb the puck to the opposite side. Intercept right now by Hamanik. Uh, Hamanik from the Vancouver Canucks got trade uh, to the Ottawa at the trade deadline. Uh, pass no, uh, too far for Ottawa. The puck go back to a defensive zone. Saval pass the puck to uh, back again to Savas uh, by Ellen and drop the puck back to Iris. Iris on the defensive zone, bring the puck to Savas. Savas set up uh, and lob the puck away in the neutral zone. It's a now by Gallagher. I have a delay offside at the blue line. We have a whistle right away there. And we're going to reset. Nobody have a score. And the Toronto take the lead. Manor score. And the Toronto Maple Leaf take the lead 2 1. Wow. 30 seconds in the game, a Toronto on fire, and I'll show to Team Florida what they look like, a turnover by the Manor, and nobody follow and beat Wegar, and Wegar sleep on the, on the switch right there, and Manor beat uh, Wegar. I think it was on PK, on short and dead. I could beat this one there, but Broboski made completely look like a uh, Bullish about that one over there. Face seven and out for the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, je vais devoir jouer ce match ces années. Oui, lundi prochain, je crois. Wow. The Toronto Maple Leafs take the lead. Unbelievable. Uh, the puck went out at the neutral zone. Winning went out by Ottawa. They're going to reset on the defensive zone. They go D to D. And they're going to come back right there. Pass the puck to the board. In front of Emerson. Chasing went out by Norris. Bring the puck around the board in front of Ramanov. The puck stopped by to the blue, uh, in the corner. Ramanov trying to get the puck. Intercept went out by uh, Joseph. Joseph control the puck. Coming to the goal line behind jo- uh, Allen. Change his direction. Bring the puck in front of the net. Great play by Paul Biron. To put the puck outside the zone. To Joel Armia. Joel Armia control the puck. Dump the puck behind uh, Joseph. The puck go there. The Florida Panthers get the penalty. Ben Chariot to the penalty. And now the... Toronto on power play. Now Kachuk's coming. Kachuk's turning around. Kill the puck for himself. Kachuk control the puck. Bring the puck back to Honoris. Now rest to Kachuk. One timer. Miss the puck. All the way back. Recovery by Backstrom behind the goaltender. Jake Allen. Backstrom control. Back to Norris. Now to control the puck right away to the blue line. Back to Backstrom. Backstrom control. Bring the puck to the board. Intercept now by Kachuk. Back to Backstrom. Intercept. Montreal play a good solid def- D to D. The puck go outside the zone and the Montreal's going to have new players coming. Joseph draw the puck right there to Batterson. Turn around by the Montreal Canadian, but the puck intercept went up Ottawa. Good check by Sava on front of Go behind DD back to, to the left side and to turn around again. A bad play right there. Fire the puck. Jake Allen make a save. Turn around to the left side. Allen make another save. The puck go on the blue line. Chasing went out by Cole Caulfield. Cole Caulfield is coming on the right side. Caulfield shoot the puck 
and miss the net of ball Forsberg make a save the turn around right there Formenter Formenter with the puck get out the puck the right side it's accepted by uh by the Montreal Canadiens, turn around by Zuzuki. They up and down when right our both teams struggle, uh, make some offensive side. Then they turn around by Del Soto. Del Soto behind Forsberg. Reset, break out. Bring the puck to the blue line. Now it's Ottawa's coming to the right side. It's coming in face of Aris. Great play by Jordan Aris or Shenaman. I think it's Aris. Great play by Jordan Aris. Control the puck right now. Aris down the puck. Away to neutral zone for the Anderson. And finally, intercept by Amanik. Amanik and Anderson battle for the puck. Tim Zozo bring the puck to uh to Almanik, Almanik showing the direction behind the net of the Forsberg. 15 minutes to go remaining on the second player, still 1-1. There's a little kick out the puck back to Tim Sazon. Tim Sazon intercepts by Montreal Canadiens. Hoffman's coming, a breakaway, back end, shoot the puck, miss the net again. On the back end, on the left side of the Forsberg, Hoffman cannot hit the board, he cannot score. Hoffman have a terrible, a terrible a season with the Montreal Canadiens. Now the puck go behind the net to Gabriel. Got the puck around in front of the net. All the way back to the blue line. Zazel set up right now. Shoot the puck in front of the net. Allen looking for the puck. And finally, the puck on the corner. Recovery by Ottawa Senator. At the blue line. Lose the puck right there. Chasing right now. We have a battle. Turn around by Zazel. Hoffman go to the bench. Zazel regroup on the defensive zone. Pass the puck to Holden. Holden pass the puck right now to Connor Brown. Connor Brown in front of Anderson. Try to check the direction. Pass the puck behind. And the Toronto Maple Leaf score. Take the lead 3 1 over the Flurry Panthers. The Flurry Panthers, right now, they are struggle, struggle, struggle. Now the puck turn around right now by Halen and Halen and right now lose the battle, but finally they get the puck to the board. It just went right out by the Montreal Canadian Divarek or Poland. Poland turn the puck to Baron. Baron to Halen and down the puck to Gallagher to corner. Gallagher battle for the puck with Backstrom. Turn around by Austin Mast uh, Watson, I believe. They are coming to the neutral zone. Dumping the puck behind Jake Allen. Chasing by Romanov. Romanov and oh, go that right there for the battle for the puck. Now Watson try to get a puck. Edmondson battle for the Romanov. Romanov win the puck. Get out of the zone. Great play by Romanov. Face. Sick and clean the puck to red lines. Coming to the red line. Dumping the puck behind Forsberg. They pull all the way back over there. And 4 to 1. And Boboski is out. Wow. What a shocking. And Florida Sunrise building. Wow. Boboski is out at $10 million. Boboski is out. The Toronto on fire. The puck go back to Romanov. Romanov right now control the puck. Pass the puck to Devarek. Devarek on the offensive zone. Lose the puck right there. Too far for Montreal. They recover right there. Army are lose the puck. And the puck go in the stand. We have a whistle. But the shocking news now is completely in Florida. It's 4-1 for the Toronto Maple Leaf. And the... Uh, Toronto on fire tonight. They continue since this for the last five games. They can possibly win the sixth game over there. And they have no answer at the Florida Panthers right now. It's all about the Toronto Maple Leaf tonight. Wow. I'm in shock. On va pour Montréal. McBelil, welcome aboard. Uh, Fred Staff, uh, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, the dependent sign, Bob, the please, the Russian fans, the uh, so called, are you going to blame it or that now? Um, yep, that's the reason, right? C'est pas Boboski, c'est Boboski. Uh, as fan, uh, uh, Boboski is out anyway. Uh, imagine Florida come back, uh, morning wood. Uh, yeah, but uh, I don't see. Three goals in the first, what, two minutes? At the second period? Wow. Please hit the Laban. Uh, shock, some coach, we are not that bad. No, looking good right there. Fred Staff, welcome back, buddy. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, you're correct, Kelly. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, Bobrowski, right? Abs. <laughs> oh, wow. Mazen is back. Uh, yeah, Jake Mazen. The color do take the lead 2 1. RG, thank you so much for information. We have a TV timeout, by the way. Florida weakness show again, Golden Ding. I agree with you. <laughs> Marc, uh, d'accord avec toi. Euh, il joue très bien depuis sa, sa blessure. Il fait une très belle, euh, très, très belle euh, apparent, euh, 
apparence. Ottawa is coming now in front of Jake Allen. Try to get around. Come and have a great stick. And turn around, put him on Trois Canadian. And they pass the puck to the neutral zone. Cast the puck all the way back to Suzuki. Suzuki ran the puck around the board. We have a, uh, a whistle at that moment. And we have someone's going to the penalty box uh, uh, for two minutes. I don't know what's the call. Montreal for interference. Carfield. Wow. Cole Carfield, two minutes for interference. Why? Cole Carfield never moved. Oh my God. Did you see the call there? As if we beat for that thing, can we say call? We made strong enough to make out the first round. Oh, yeah. Right now, they make the first round. They beat Tampa, Florida Panthers. They beat everybody. Hey, I didn't make a save. Rebound is score. Ottawa score. Power play goal. And that way, Tim Sozol gave the lead 2 1 over the Montreal Canadian. And Cole Coffee was on the penalty box. And the Ottawa Senator take the lead on Power play goal. Um, right away at the beginning, the power, the, the, the short end of the Montreal guys, is struggle a lot. And you can see right now, nobody in front of the net, be it all, um, Jake Evan, the defensive Montreal, Edmondson was there. And we're looking for the next one over there, but, uh, that way, like this, such a weak call is called. I cannot believe it. He never moved, Gallagher. He never make any move. That guy come on, on him straight right there. Wow. Here we go. The Ottawa Senator score and get the lead. Um, merci, mon Mac, de nous joindre ce soir et être un nouveau membre du Hockey Nation Live Show. A uh, really weak call, I think so too. The puck went out behind the net. Montreal tried to make some uh, push, but uh, tried to can turn around. And now it's Baron, drive the puck behind the corner. Anderson tried to get the puck. Anderson green the puck all the way back to Biron. Biron looking fire. Forsberg make a save, rebound, back to Baron. Justin Barron control at the back ends, looking back, he's coming down, fire again, he score! Justin Barron score! He score! Justin Barron score! Score by number 52, Justin Barron. NHL goal, Montreal Canadian, first in NHL career, number 52, Justin Barron. We tie the game 2 2. It's a new game, tie game in Montreal versus Ottawa Senator. The puck goes out of the zone, intercepted by the Montreal Canadian, down the park behind the net, intercepted out, battle between Ottawa and Montreal, kill control right now by uh, Tim Sazot, bring the puck in front of the net, you go back to back, then Ottawa use the board to get the puck outside the zone, they are coming back now, bring the puck behind Jake Allen, Allen cannot intercept the puck, the ball all the way to Jordan Harris, recover by Ottawa, Tim Sazot control the puck, Sazot control again, Sazot turn around, Sazot right now is sm sm smashed by a uh, slash by uh, Brandon Gallagher. The puck always by the blue line. Fires is there. Black shot by the Montreal Canadian. And the puck go, try to get the puck outside the zone by Poland. No chance. Gallagher lab the puck. And he's going to go all the way back on the defensive zone of the Ottawa Senator. And Anderson, uh, Forsberg intercept the puck. That's what we are at that moment. Great play by um, Poland. The puck go now. It's coming back by the Ottawa Senator. Don't pin the puck right now by Godet. The puck is go by Jake Allen. Bring the puck to Shunerman. Go D reverse right there to Justin Barron. We use the board to get a puck outside the zone. Intercept by Carfield. Long stretch pass right now to Pitlick. The puck go to Forsberg. Intercept. Bring the puck back to Holden. Uh, back. No, it was uh, 
Del Zado. Del Zado, to Ottawa, uh, Ottawa trying to get it back in the third zone, turn around by Godet. They're going to regroup on the defensive zone. Go DD to Del Zado. Del Zado go back to Amanik. Amanik's coming. I think it's Joseph. Joseph kick out the park to the left side. All the way back by Matthew Joseph. Joseph control the park, turn around. Joseph pressure by the Montreal Guinean. Show the park. Intercept by corner by the, the Ottawa Senator. Turn around right there. Go there, bring the park. Intercept right now by. by uh, Shenemin, long stretch pass, another bad play by the Montreal Canadian, and it's going to be an, no icing. Wow, go there, recover the puck right now, don't pay enough by Joseph. Joseph uses speed, down the puck to the left side, to Norris. Uh, coming up right now, battle for the puck with Joseph, great play by the Montreal Canadian, the puck is still in the corner, the puck all the way back to Cacho, Cacho went out to the blue line, Bernie Cacho looking, fire the puck, had an Kenneth to the puck, all the way back, uh, gone, around, and no risk control the puck right now. Use the ball to the left side to Holden. Recovery went up by Bad Biron. Bad Biron, pack the puck to Romanov. Romanov on defensive zone. Tom the puck for the Montreal Canadian behind Jouet. Forsberg. Recovery went out by uh, Zezev. Zezev bring the puck to the left side. DDD went out. Battled in the corner with Holden. They were right, joined the party. Pass the puck to Biron. Biron went out, control the puck. Fire! Stop by in front of the net. Go back to Romanov. Fire again! He missed the net completely. The puck goes to the round by Oet. By the number 22, as Zezab bring the puck Ottawa Senator at the blue line, kick the puck all the way back on the defensive of the Montreal Canadiens. Less of 10 minutes to go at the second period, still 2 2. Ramena, long stretch by Notre Dame. Tip a puck right now, intercept by Caulfield, but no chairman now. The puck go back now by Caulfield Brown. Connor Brown around the net, bring the puck in front of the net for. Um, Turn around right now by Josh Anderson. And finally go back to Hoffman. Hoffman's coming now with Jake Evans. Don't pin the puck to the left side. Evans makes some pressure on Zab. Now chasing right now with Hoffman and Colin White. Win the back to Brown. It's just about Montreal Canadian. At the blue line. Bring the puck behind the net. All the way back to Hoffman. Shoot the puck to another side. Anderson recovery puck. Bring the back to the blue line. Fire! Savard rebound uh, by uh, Forsberg. Montreal tried to get a puck. Finally, Ottawa will control the puck by Cabril. Bring the puck to the left side. Now it's coming by uh, Connor White, I believe. Drop the puck behind. Support. And and Jake and make a save. Recovery went up at Ottawa behind the net. Colin White find a way to get the puck. Bring the puck in front of the net. No chance. The puck battle right now. And finally, the puck go to the left side. All the way back to the blue line. Holden. And there's a fire up at Ottawa. And the Montreal uh, trying to get a puck. Broken his stick again by running uh, Rand Poland. Poland play like a soccer player right now. Turn around up at Ottawa. Center. They are coming from and turn in front of the net. And Rick, great stick for the Montreal Canadian. Anderson pass the puck to the left side to Altman. Altman's kidding. Don't pick the puck right away. Intercept out Ottawa. Center. The turn around right there, but Montreal control the puck, don't pay by Harris. And Forsberg intercept, no chance to stop the puck. Ball back to Gallagher. Gallagher in the corner, in front of Amonic. Turn around by the Montreal Canadian to ski at the blue line, I believe. Bring the puck to the blue line, go back to um, by Ramanov. Shoot the puck again, no chance. Blocks twice by Ottawa, they are coming now. Ottawa's coming back over there. Three versus two. Puck kick out by Chazon. Chazon to the old uh, Del Zado. Intercept by the Montreal Canadian. Turn around by Gallagher. A possible 2 2 right now. Gallagher with Ellenen. Ellenen lose the puck right now. Recovered by Olden. Olden pass the puck to Godet. Godet's coming to the blue line. They constantly attack him now. Tim Sazel with the puck right now. Shoot the puck. Missed the net completely. Go recovery by Brent Pitlick. Pitlick now pass to Ellenen. Ellenen dumping the puck right now. Chase by the scheme behind the net. Our force break intercept. Bring the puck to. Uh, to Olden and now Ottawa try to get a puck intercept by Carfield. Carfield just hit pit lick, but the puck goes stuck by Ottawa Senator. Finally, they find a way to get a puck in neutral zone and Justin Byron recovery. Byron just scores first goal in the NHL and tie the game 2 2. Now Carfield keep control, pass to Suzuki. Suzuki's coming off in season. Suzuki for himself, draw the puck to pit lick, pit lick to Byron. No, intercept now by. Um, by Shoneman. Shoneman control by behind the net. Shoneman control. Pass again to Suzuki. Suzuki right now behind the net. Bring the puck all the way back to the blue line. It's a separate Baron. Baron draw the puck behind the net to Suzuki. Now finally is go back to Zezev. Zezev to Olden. Bring the puck to the blue line. And it's a seven out by Austin Matthew, uh, Austin uh, Watson. The puck all the way on the defensive zone. But the Montreal Canadian going to reset. It's Justin Baron waiting for the new players. Baron right now. Pass the puck right now. All the way back on the turn zone. Too, too far from Suzuki. Turn around. Part of another. They are coming. Catch up. Back to the uh, to Joseph, missed the puck, turn around by the Montreal Canadiens, Caulfield to the red line, cutting to the blue line, They're one versus one, Caulfield try to get it back, Caulfield on the back end, no chance right there, Inter seven up, Ottawa Senator, and go by outside the zone, and Ottawa's coming back, catch a little bit, lose the puck, we're now battle for the puck with Ramanov, catch and Ramanov win the puck, Ramanov win the battle, but now Emerson watching the puck, go to the uh, corner, and catch go back to Bay, uh, Armia, long stretch pass right now, no chance for Devarek, bring the puck in front of the net, Forsberg down the puck behind the corner, Zab recover the puck, battle for the puck with Armia, the Puck stuck with the Armia and uh, 
They were racked, and the pug turned around by Zab. Zab used the ball to get a Joseph. Joseph to catch her. Catch her's coming now, waiting for a new player. On the back door, intercepted by Munson. Turn around. The puck stay in the zone right now by Desaldo. Desaldo on the back door. It catch her. Tic tac toe. And the Montreal Canadian gave a goal after a turnover by Joel and Munson by Desaldo. Cut the lead, cut the line of the puck, and tic tac toe. The Ottawa Senator take the lead 3 2. Another turnover for the Montreal Canadian by the defense, uh, by, by the defense, um, uh, by the defense, uh, Joel and Manson, and that way the Ottawa take the lead at uh, 3 2. And unfortunately, that's happening. Wow. Le but, Ali, not just send a call, she text about the picture. Uh, what's up, uh, Ren? Uh, younger, those uh, guys, side win. Awesome. Quel beau jeu, so far, the Canadian. And. Uh, That's why we add Kachuk score again. The Montreal Canadian, we know the Montreal never draft Kachuk. They took it with Kokanemi. But that's another story. That's a beautiful goal, but they got stopped. Those turnover. I agree with you about that one over there. Let's go, Mathieu Luciano. And that's why we add at that moment. Kachuk is 24 of the season. And as stood by Del Zado and Joseph, the shot of 16 18. But again, The Montreal Canadian turnover cost them the reason they're losing right now. And you cannot create those kind of turnover on the defensive zone. And that's the reason right now they're losing by one. The puck right now in the corner of Forsberg with five minutes, a little bit over at the end of the second period. The puck go all the way back to Jake Evans. Even control the puck right now. Try to get a puck around the Montreal deep. The puck right now by Mike Hoffman. Hoffman round the puck behind to Jake Evans. Control the puck in front of Amonic. Evans turn around. Try to get a puck. Control the puck again. Evans looking right now for the defenseman. Pass the puck right now to Shoneman. Shoneman fire! Missed the net completely. The puck turn around by Hoffman. Hoffman right now. Try the puck to uh, Baron. Baron right now shoot the puck. Tip in front of Montreal. Go back to the round. Ottawa dumping the puck all the way back on the neutral zone. It's going to be a nice thing with 4.41 to go at the second period. And 19 shot for the Montreal Canadian and only 16 for Ottawa. And that's what we have. Uh, Mr. Julien, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us, sir. Uh, Randy, that was a great defense by the Avs. I agree with you about that one over there. I did think we have a, another goal for Ottawa, uh, Toronto, I believe. Yep. Wow. Mazen scored his first goal back in the lineup. That Toronto right now completely destroy the Florida Panthers. That's what we had at that moment. 3-2 here in Ottawa. And now we have a battle between Gallagher and the puck go to the blue line. But outside his own chase right now by Ottawa Senator. And the winner of this is Jordan Harris. Great play by Jordan Harris. How about from the puck all the way? A 2-1. Helen is coming. Fire. He shoot a puck. Rebound. A uh, great opposite for Jason Ellenen. But we have an uh, ice stick on the face uh, and, uh, for Jordan Harris. And uh, wow. Great opposite for Jason Ellenen. We tell you right now, Jason Ellenen is a great hockey player for the Montreal Canadian. We have a TV timeout. Power play. Second power play for the Montreal Canadiens. Can't they find a way to tie the game? That's something we have to figure out. And Nashville take the lead 1 0 again, Minnesota. Thank you, everybody. Who scored his fifth lead goal is uh, Marzen. About that, uh, I believe it was Marzen. RG Toronto 5, Flutter 1. Toronto is having a blast right now. They enjoyed their game tonight. They had too many old in this defense the whole season. Yeah, Nashville don't want to rest. Uh, Michel Cloutier, no. And the Toronto right now, they are maybe the best team in the Atlantic right now. Greater number 47 in our top. Thank you so much for information. Thank you. A fresh story around them. But wow, when Mikasian released a new album, Leo Matthews called again. Here we go. I have no clue who they are, but you look like you know better than me. I think Marzin got credit. Uh, Fred, uh, yep. Matthews did not score, Danny. Fred, a power play right now. Well, upset again, Richard Mullen. I agree with you. Rally, Ali Day, welcome aboard. Rally. I don't understand why even Hoffman is set to try to struggle game. That's not the Hoffman string at all. Use right now for use as a grinder along the out there. Yeah, that line is strange, Nicholas. Anderson, Hoffman, and Evans. Evans work hard, uh, but like you said,
We see right now what's happening. Come on, coach, make some pressure here. Here we go. Let's go, Montreal. Tie the game on power play. Let's go. Suzuki score. I call it. I call it. Suzuki is going to score. I feel Suzuki is looking good right there. The puck go around the net uh, ready, right there by the Montreal, but no chance for Gallagher trying to get a puck. And we were, they were right battle right now with Gallagher. Finally, the puck go by Ottawa. Don't pin the puck all the way back on the defensive zone on Montreal. Uh, get her out. It's not looking good over there for sure. Uh, I don't know. I did not watch all the game, but uh, just by the score, it's not looking good. I've been controlling the puck. Drive the puck to the skis. The skis coming to the red line. It's coming to the blue line. Kick out the puck to the left side. Control the puck right there. Bring the puck to the right. All the way. Back to Gallagher. Gallagher right now. Back to the blue line. Right away. Back to Hoffman. Caulfield. Kick the puck right now. Fire! In the middle! Cole Caulfield! Cole Caulfield score! Caulfield, 16 of the season on power play. Tie the game, 3-3. Savoy went out, pass the puck on the right side. Don't pick the puck right now. Recovery went out, put him on the right Pass to Armia, losing the puck. Recovery went out on the back end for the net. No chance right there. The puck go back to Edmondson. Bring the puck right now. Edmondson calls the puck. Dump the puck behind the net. Force by intercept the puck. Fire! Fire by Armia. Turn around right there. The battle for that constant right there. Puck to Biron. Biron right now at the behind the net for Poland. Poland trying to get Armia. Poland. Byron. Fire, Edmondson! Force by Make it say no rebound. Whoa, 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 whoa. I love it why I saw. Here we go. Wow, Montreal can is in. Tie the game again. The number <laughs> Cole Carfield, guys. Unbelievable. We have a sniper since when? Steve Shots. I don't know. Guy Lafleur. Who knows? But Cole Carfield score for the Montreal Canadian. Oops. Uh, I tried to get a goal up. I apologize for the delay. We have a TV timeout, so we have time to put his goal up for the Montreal. And, uh, wow, yes, in our top, uh, Sanja, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us tonight. Gallagher, another point at that. Wow. Rivers, save the cap. Gallagher, 16 gold. Gallagher, Tommy, Coley Pitsy. Five two, uh, Renard score again. Same play they did the first period by Renard and Barkov. Five two over there. We eight minutes to go. Um, the dernier sniper was Pasuretti. I was almost to said that Francois. <laughs> sniper tira a d'élite ou a tira a garage. A tira a poubelle. <laughs> Right now we have uh, some pushing right now. Face up at the right side. And of the Jake, uh, the force bird recovered by Zab. Zab used the board. It's a seven up on the Montreal Canadian. Keep the puck right there. Looking right there. Control the puck. Coming back on the left side. Don't pin the puck behind force bird. Intercept the puck. And now he decides to put a whistle right there. And reset on the right side of Anton Forsberg. 
And that's what we had at that moment. Great play by Jordan Harris to intercept the puck at the red line. I love the little Harris. RM Ornett, uh, welcome aboard. Thanks, Miss uh, Sanja. And thanks, everybody, to be part of the Hockey Nation show. Don't forget to click on the like. That'd be great. Uh, Yeah, let us score about that. I don't know why uh, Andy Gas. Uh, I don't know why Andy Gas. Uh, let us score. Uh, yeah, Renat score on that one over there. Gold Caulfield. Uh, is gold is a goal, Zef. Uh, now, face off the right side, uh, Jake Evan. Battle. Now he's going to get out. Go, Abs. Go. Not, uh, Kevin said. How about that? Uh, went out. Mike Hoffman went out. Battle for the face off. Uh, in front of Colin White now is White get out there. Uh, right now it's Colin Brown with Mike Hoffman and winning right now. Winning right now by uh, Anderson bringing back to blue line. They go deep D back to Byron. Byron right now used the ball to bring it back in front of the net. Oh no, a long rebound over there. Nobody was there for the Montreal Canadian. Finally, Ottawa's coming. It's Colin White kick out the puck right there to Brown and the back door fire and a rebound. A back door over there by Montreal. Ottawa was close to win the, the score again. Great play. Oh my God, the Ottawa another. Jake and make a big save. Then a rebound and the. Ottawa put the puck over the net. The oh, wall was so close. Zab right now go Diddy. Back again now by Colin White. White control the puck right now. Use the board. It was backstrom. Loud the puck all the way back behind of the defensive Montreal Canadian battle right now. But the Montreal Canadian Baron leave the puck to the left side. Right now, uh, lose the puck by Hoffman. The puck go back to Matthew Joseph on the back door. Go back to Castro. Castro looking at the back door. Matt Joseph lose the puck right there. Almost score. Now Montreal struggle on defensive zone with less than two minutes remaining on the second period. The puck goes to Justin Barron. Use the board behind the net. Go DD. And the Montreal to get the puck to Pitlick. Pitlick control. Really quiet night so far for Rin Pitlick. Pitlick went out battle for the puck with the... Uh, uh, Zezé, bring the puck right now to Zuski. Zuski's coming. Zuski looking. Bring the puck back to uh, Edmondson. Fire! Tip the puck. Miss the net completely. The puck goes out. Olden. Bring the puck. You're going to get a puck outside his own. The match is Jose. Jose's coming right now. Hit by Manson. Great play by Manson. Pit league recovered the puck. Goose the puck right now behind Jake Allen. Skating with the puck. Pass the puck to Zuski. Zuski to red lines. Coming to the blue line. And now Vince is on. Zuski drive the puck back to um, Ramanov. The puck go behind the net. I don't know what's going on with the play. Uh, the TV a stream for the ESPN go backwards. Now <laughs> we see again Zuski going through the puck right now. Back again to Ramana. Ramana fire. No block shot by Tim Zazo. The puck go behind the net. Recovery right there. Great check by the Montreal Canadiens. Right now we're hitting right there. We have Zuski again to Amanik. And right now it's uh, right there. It's uh, Amanik right now jumping right there. Way right there. Catch up on the Amanik. And everybody party is behind that. And Zazel got hit by, um, by Zuzuki behind the net. And we have a couple of players pushing everything like that. There. Wow. 5-3. Wow. Could have scored. The Flair Panther are back. Uh, Crash checking of Amanik. Pushing right now. Do we have a call there? Majesty of Charles. Charles Vitalien, welcome aboard. Merci d'être arrêté voir uh, the Hockey Nation show. Ni, no call after that. What a match, yes. Only one penalty. So after the penalty, after the hit of Zuski, I get it. He had two minutes right there. Not a problem right there, right? But what Amonik did after that, they all jumped on the Montreal Canadian players. Now, Zuzel is back on the lineup. He's back on the ice. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. The Panthers score another goal over there. It's 5-3. 6.48 to go at, uh, in Florida right now. Uh, Toronto power play, by the way. So let's call Flugi from uh, Sander Ice, uh, Jake. Uh, face off right now, uh, Jake Evans. 
winning went up Ottawa, uh, same scenario, back to back scrum, back scrum set up, pass again to um, Sozol, Sozol right there to the goal line, back again to the left side, back to back scrum, Lockheed went out, back to Sozol, Sozol is coming right now, fire back, black shot of Montreal Canadian, kick went out by Norris, recovery by Edmondson, and in the, in the Montreal Canadian change the direction, don't pick the puck all the way back, and they're going to go all the way back on the defenses of the, of the Ottawa Senator, that's what we had at that moment the puck all the way back to the left side. Now Ottawa's coming now. Ottawa control the puck. Come to the, uh, the blue line. Kick out to catch your catch your the back door. All the way back to Norris. Norris right now in front of Armia. Back to back strong. Now back strong control the puck on the Norris right there to Ashmark. Back to back strong. 30 seconds to go. All the way back to them. Sozo. Sozo's coming now down to back catch. Shook right now by Patterson. The puck go in the corner. He kicked the puck to Sozo. Sozo still control the puck of the back strong. Back to the Norris. Norris to back strong. Back strong right now, looking for again. Back strong back to Dame Sozol. One more time for Ottawa. Back to Patterson. Patterson to Ash Mike. Back to Norris. Norris coming now. Fire the puck. Allen make a save. Recovery by Romanoff. Intercept the blue line. Bad play by Romanoff. Back again one more time to Sozol. Sozol recalling the golden line. Don't get a reach. Face off right now. It's going to be the end of the period. <laughs> Here we go, end of the second period in Montreal. A lot of action during that period, honestly. Uh, we have, uh, what, four goals, two for both teams, first of all. Uh, but, wow, what a period, to be honest with you. A lot of action for both ways. Uh, and uh, it start with a second goal of the Ottawa Senator. It's uh, Tim Zuzzo, score a 7-18 on power play goal. Uh, this 15 of the season, I uh, gave the Ottawa Senator 2 1, take the lead by one. Then, uh, Justin Barron scored his first goal in NHL, uh, with also with a Montreal Canadian at 749. And then we have again another goal for Ottawa Senator to take the lead back again by one goal. This time was by Brady Katschuk. It's 24 of the season at 1420. And during the power play this time, Cole Caulfield uh, score again. The Cole Caulfield is 16 of the season. At 16-25, it tied the game 2-2 uh, and assisted by Gallagher and Mike Hoffman. And uh, during the second period, we have nine shots for Ottawa Senator. Montreal also have 11 shots. And um, it's 3-3. Three, three. And we have a, a fun game. I'm very excited. And um, I think you enjoy so far what's going on in uh, the Bell Center. Uh, both teams have a good period so far. And I'm sure Andrew... Lapage is going to join us the next couple of minutes. I'm going to uh, fix the situation here and wait for the setup here. Third period. Thanks again, everybody, to join us. Uh, can't wait to have your comments. If you have any questions you want to ask uh, Mr. Um, Andrew Lapage and everybody, you can ask us. Uh, that would be great. And let's go right here. And see Mr. Andrew. Here we go. Hey. Welcome back, Mr. Andrew. Hey, how's it going, Coach? How's everybody doing? Great period. <laughs> yep. Very good period overall. 3-3. Three, three. We have a lot of action left and right. Um, the game in Flutter Panthers is amazing. I'm watching the game live at the same time. 5-3. Wow, After they take wow. the lead, 5-1. Flutter come back with two goals, but uh, pretty uh, physical over there. But the Montreal came back twice. Tied the game yep. twice. Another turnover by the defenseman, by the Edmondson. But um, what yeah. do you think at first about the first period, uh, the second period? Second period, I think it was uh, Ottawa who j jumped out of the gate a little bit more so. Uh, we, we seemed to come on as the period went on. But uh, it just goes to show we can't take penalties because look how fast that goal went in when Caulfield got that penalty. I mean, boom, boom, it was in so quickly. But, yes, you know, our defense – I've been noticing that's one area they're a little bit slack on tonight. They're not getting the puck out. They're putting it in the wrong places, and they got to settle themselves. And this is the veterans as well, like like you just said, Edmondston. It seems to be kind of more so in our veterans as well. So we got to settle down in our own end, get the puck out. You know, take a look before you fire it. And but great, great fight back. I mean. Exactly what I was saying to you uh, when we got to Baron. That's the exact type of goal. Exact. That's his uh, signature. 
He's a beautiful skater that way, and he's got a beautiful cannon. Beautiful goal by the kid. The kids are actually playing really well. Even Schooneman, I mean, he's hit, he's hit two posts in this game. So, you know, let's give him credit as well. And Harris jumping into the play left, right, and center. And I'm absolutely right about that one. First of all, if you can drop your phone higher, because right now oh, you okay. look like uh, <laughs> you are inside a, a, a telephonic uh, a telephonic uh, box. Is that better? Yep. Um, I'll be honest with you. I don't see any rookies defensemen right now for the Montreal Canadiens. I don't want to be too much excited, but they look like they are not rookies. They play well. Iris play solid. Yeah. Um, Baron, you can see what look like. The Baron we saw junior, the backwards, yeah. crossover, yeah. looking, watching, go down, constant skating, and the rip shot. Jake Evan make a big, big, big screen in front of the goaltender. But we have to give credit for Justin Baron. First goal in the NHL. And Beautiful. with a Montreal Canadian, uh, Byron won the Canon Zero, just kidding. But um, <laughs> I think we have to give credit for that goal over there. And then we have the other the rookie, whatever is a rookie, honestly, Cole Caulfield, 16th of the season. Imagine, Can you imagine if he start that way over there. I don't know. You have 16 uh, goals the last, what, 27 games, 16, 26 games, yeah. maybe? I don't know, but exactly. it's unbelievable right now. Like Renu said, um, um, like he said, you know, he said, Carfield un unstable on the men on the event on power play. So, um, really interesting about that one over there. Alan Villaco said, now we are excited to watch the game. Uh, yes. given that song, Much interesting fun. about that, but it's good. It's fun to watch. I think the kids step up and Jake Allen make Very a couple of good save, I believe. Uh, but oh, yeah. we have to get, be sure we get out the penalty box because our power play is not strong enough and their no. power play is pretty good. Uh, Deadly. Hey, that's is a great strong. play. Uh, now, They're strong there. Yeah. yeah. One thing I would say to you, I'm not, I don't blame a lot of the referee. First of all, Coffee, I have no interference right there. That, that, no, the guy ran into him. He never moved. What is he supposed he to do? He didn't that's move right. anything, Coffee. He didn't make, make any movement to start to block him or to cut this. And he, he was there. He, he stopped he was standing on the blue line he, to be sure he didn't have no offside. That's he only was standing he in did. his own space. Yeah, he Only stood in his own did. space. Yeah. yeah then totally after right. that, this kid got a two-minute penalty. I, I'll I agree with that one there. Now you have Edmonds, uh, um, Amonik jumping on the Zuzki twice. Then you have yeah. another plus coming behind that also. And he don't and give anything to Ottawa on, 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 on that one over there. I agree. I agree. At least gave a 2-2 two -two right there. You have a someone investigator like Amonik try to come back to ski. Where I'm agree with that, Amonik did his job. You protect your young yep. kid. Like Emerson come back in the back after that. But please yep. go get that two minute square right there. Um, exactly. How many shots did he have to take in the face? You know, really. Yep. So I think so. that would be you know uh, something. Thank Lucas Desjardins, you. welcome aboard. Welcome, uh, Lucas. Thank you so much. Uh, Renault Dumchin look worse by the day after him and said that all the ship around so fast. It's not looking good for him for sure. Uh, Pray was for a challenge. A part of the We wait too long to change the culture. Um, yeah. You know, we gave him a three years, right? So it was a yeah. problem with that one of them. That was that's uh, it. That was for the team. Uh, that is tough job, Kevin. Uh, can, is that a lot of people, but impaired people don't because they're jumping out of people's life. Uh, Nicholas uh, also must mention Rem Pit Lake for check is above average, good offensive instinct, oh, can score right. some, maybe the biggest surprise of the team. No, most definitely. We've been saying that since we picked him up, that that's been our best pickup, you know, out of nowhere. And that's even before Gordon got there. Or not Gordon, sorry, Hughes got there because Gordon picked him up, you know, beforehand. Yeah. So that was a great pickup. Absolutely, I agree with you about that. He fit well in the play, in Montreal play. I think Very. speed is there. And right. he works, works, works. Yeah. You know, he can work on any line because he's just a hard worker, you know. Uh, at, this, at the same time, I would say to you, um, that's maybe the reason they opened the door to trade Lickanen. Yes. Yes, most definitely. I agree 100%. I think if he wasn't there, they probably wouldn't have done it. But because yep. he is there, he's going to going to probably be molded into that position. I just want to stop the uh, the game right now here, guys. Uh, Calgary left the building. 
left the pipe. He got a puck in the neck area face. Uh, Jack Campbell now back in the for the Toronto Maple Leaf for the last two, two minutes 44. I don't know if it's more possible a, a protocol concussion. Uh, I oh, don't know man. yet. But uh, Jack Campbell right now is in the game for the uh, Toronto Maple Leaf about that. Uh, Danny, I'll be in a, a, a Renault. I don't know. It's too hard to tell you who's going to finish next year. We're not done yet. Um, whatever I say, yes or no, it's not changed anything right now. Um, right. About those kind of questions, because you never know. Uh, Dan, welcome back. About that, one of the coach, Danny. If the lead pass the first round, can I move to Gab Fan Live? <laughs> well, that you're, one you're of gonna... them will happen. I'm going to talk Toronto. Another one, ouch, Francois Petre. I hope nothing sorry for Carl Green. Yeah, he's not looking bad, but he was in the neck area. He left by himself. It's just like uh, you don't like to see a uh, goaltender get no, the puck right there. Uh, it's just concussion protocol. Preferred set. Thank you. MSU. Well, welcome aboard, Mr. MSU. Always a welcome pleasure to have you aboard. Welcome. And that's what we had at that moment. Um, what do you expect now before you leave for the third period? This is going to be a, a dogfight. And we got to, first and foremost, we got to kill this penalty. We got to finish killing oh, this penalty. Oh, the score! The Fleury Drop score again! <laughs> OMG is 5 4. Claude who I believe, scored his first goal as a member of the. It's 5 4. <laughs> <laughs> OMG with two minutes to go. You never know. This is not over. You never know. Oh they got first the shot against Jack Campbell. Yeah, exactly. Wow. But that's the thing we gotta focus on. We gotta make sure we kill this penalty, then go from there. Yeah. You know, and, and really come on. We only gotta do it for twenty minutes and they gotta think that, you know, um, uh, Ottawa's been had a few more games. Let's take advantage of their tiredness, right? Yeah. Let's take advantage of them. Let's make uh, them work. I don't know if you know this, but uh, but yeah, uh, not you know though, you know you know the player. But Emil Eneman will come from Sweden at the end of the week. Yep. Join the Laval Rocket. What's your expectation for Eneman? Oh, um, I think he's going to stay down on Laval. They may give him a chance. I doubt it. Uh, we we may see him next year. Um, I think they're going to give him some time to develop a bit more in Laval. He's going to go for this little run for the Calder, I think, try to give them a good push. And we'll see where it goes from there. But I have great expectations for him. I think he's going to be a – he's the type of winger we're going to need, somebody who, who mucks it up. I think he could be he could be that missing piece for uh, Suzuki and Caulfield, for all we know, right? Yeah. Francois, I think it's 5-4. I don't know you saw 6-4 Toronto, but – my score is 5-4 right now with 118. So I'm excited. I'm excited with for, for that kid. I think he's going to be half decent. Yeah. Uh, Dixon, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us. Uh, um, no, Danny, it was a shot in the head. It was not like uh, try to hurt him. How can the team adjust the PK to slow down Gold Caulfield there? But I would be honest with you. What do you think about Caulfield? It was not a one-timer. He, he was no, going to do a one-timer, he reset, he moved from the inside, and then he got a wrist shot. And exactly. that's what he is. So, and he um, still had that much. He still found the hole, you know? Those kind of players, my, uh, um, Andrew, is like not, they don't come around the often. Skin, the skin, the calls, those kind of sniper, whatever you put, you try, they find a way yeah. to make that goal, uh, to make yeah, that, exactly. that one over there. Uh, yeah. and then I said, I told you they would come back. I mean, he needs to be trained in the off season, Zev like I've said. Uh, uh, feeling as emotion so funny. Love, thanks to you, too. And I hope you come back after the game about that one. Over there. That win, Bruins 2 2 tie up MSU. Ooh, wow, Giroux score. We saw that. Uh, and the Bruins are the one is currently blue a 2 0 lead. Wow, uh, Jake M's a 5 4. Wow, one. Wow. Nashville three one over the Minnesota. Oh, that's something. That's a shocker. Yeah, the Canadian Montreal, Montmartre. Uh, I thought you get it. Uh, come the red wing, red wing could be beat the red wing in the abs. Andrew, you smoke the toy battery is dying. Moi, je vote pour le Canadien Montreal. Félicitations, merci Mike d'être un nouveau subscriber de Hockey Nation Show. Merci d'être avec nous. Um, 
So uh, we're going to let you go. Possible see you at the end of the game. If you can chance to stop by for a okay. couple more minutes, that'd be great. And we'll right see on. how the Montreal. We we saw you at the end of the first period was tied, one one. We saw you after yeah. the second period. It's tied three three. Now possible this game go on OT. I would not be surprised and uh, wouldn't shock me. I would be shocked to see that. So uh, we thank you so much, Mister and uh, Andrew. I will see you yeah. after the the end of the game. Enjoy the game. Thank you. It was another great um, intermission with Mr. Uh, Andrew Lapage. Always a pleasure having him with us and stop by and say hi and talk about the game. So it would be interesting to so that. Uh, uh, Coffee never does one-timer. He likes to snap wrist shot. Yep, it's rare he does a one-timer. I know I agree with you about that one over there. Uh, Blue Mountain Kid, welcome aboard. It should be back uh, Monday, uh, Monday one, uh, Monday uh, again with Peg. Stick is too short to make a one-timer. Um, but he is able to make a one-timer. Uh, I know he did so many in Wisconsin. Dallas Star take the lead 1-0. Be nice, Danny, guys. And so Caulfield could be a franchise goal scorer. So happy they got him. Uh, yep, I was there when they trade, uh, when they trade him, when they pick him up. Uh, And the end of the second period, guys, 5-4 uh, for the Toronto Maple Leaf. The Florida Benters come back with three goals about that one of them. Let's go. Abs and Dula Page is the best. Reno, uh, smash the like, Dixon. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, Luciano Mahir, here. I'll block it. I cannot hear them, uh, uh, Danny. And uh, come on, people, hit the likes tonight. That'd be great if you can click on the likes. It don't ask you a lot. That will helping us to grow, to get better. That's the only thing we, it take about five seconds. And I always say to you guys, every time you watch a YouTube channel, whatever who they are, and, and hockey, sport, or traveling, or news, whatever they are, take a time to click on the likes. That's the one responsibility you should do. That helping the people doing those, you know, guys, like the people like me, many others, we don't make a lot of ton of money here. We love what we do here is the passion. The only way you can help them is to click on the likes. So if you have a time to do it, that we really, really appreciate it. And we are already grateful and thankful for your uh, support of the Hockey Nation Live show. And uh, thanks again. I predict the Fleur can tie the game and then Matthew score 55 and the third to win in dramatic fashion. Sorry, book. Uh, ending a uh, free stop. But uh, uh, Red Wing take the lead. Uh, back to back game for the Boston Bruins. You can feel it. It could happen if the Flowers come back and tie the game also 2-2. That's where we at at that moment. Come, people, become a member of Base Hockey Show YouTube. But thank you so much, Luciano. About that, uh, guys, I'm going to take a quick, a quick, quick, quick um, uh, break here, about one or two minutes, just to come back and with you guys. So don't go nowhere. And uh, I will give you um, the music. Uh, you made my day. Right now. You made my day. You made my day. Oh, day. Oh. You made my day. You made my day. You made my day. Oh, day. Just me, my
We are back for the third period. Thanks to everybody to be a part of the show tonight. We really appreciate to be a part of the show. Uh, thanks again. And we are going to start the third period right away and uh, power play again for the Ottawa Senator. And the puck going in the corner right there, all the way back to the blue line. It's a seven out by Backstrom. Back to Norris. Norris now to Ash Mike. Back to Backstrom right there. 25 seconds. Go the way to Sozo. Look about. Drive the puck to Backstrom. To Norris. Fire! A score! Ottawa catch hook. Tip the, tip the puck, I believe. And the Ottawa Senator right away. Score. And uh, they gave that goal again the Montreal Canadian. This is a what? And it's already 4-1, uh, 4-3 for the Ottawa Senator. Catch up again, score. And that's what we had at that moment for the Ottawa Senator. Um, Patterson score is 14 of the season. Wow. Montreal does not like to start that game that way with there. His third period. Another bad power play for the And that's what we had at that moment, 4-3. But we're now in front of Jake Allen, make a save. Ottawa attack, two time, three time. Allen make a big save, the puck go behind the net. Montreal out full hands right now. Ottawa constantly attacking right there. Drive the puck into seven up by Montreal Canadian. Use the board. All the way back right now to Caulfield. Caulfield bring the puck right now to Justin Barron. Lose the, his edge, recovery by Montreal. Caulfield's coming at 2-1. On the back door, no chance right now to just keep drop the puck right there and just separate the Ottawa Senator. But Shoneman tried to get a puck and so right now Pitlick keep the puck. But finally, Ottawa's coming down. Don't be the puck by uh, Connor Brown all the way behind the net and going to reset right away uh, by um, Jordan Iris right now. Set up right there, 23 22 the shot. Iris right now, control the puck. As an intro zone, Tom Department of Montreal Canadian and uh, Forsberg try to intercept by Osb uh, Anderson. Anderson right now, pass the puck, intercept right now by the uh, catch up. Catch is looking now, pass the puck to the left side. Go uh, Joseph, Joseph's coming now, turn around right there, control the puck right there, looking for in front of the net. Pass through the puck, Allen make a save, almost hit. Allen looking right now, Allen looked like shaky a little bit, he looked like he had a problem with the shoulder. The puck all the way back to Savas, Savas control the puck, dumping the puck right there behind the net. Oh, Jake Evans at the turnaround right there, bring the puck to Anderson, no chance. Upman tried to get a puck, finally, Ottawa's coming out. They are coming right now, Brady catch up, I believe, with Norris, run the puck around the board. The puck go all the way back behind Jake Allen. We'll see after the whistle if Allen can stay in the net. Uh, he looked like shaky right now, he's looking on the right shoulder. The puck went up a Sava, Sava back to uh, Iris, Iris to the other side, great pass to the right side to uh, Armia. Armia battle for the puck behind the net uh, with Dave Arrack, turn around right now by the Ottawa Senator, they are coming, and it was on Cabriel with a puck, pass the puck, intercept by jo uh, Romanov, ramping the puck behind Joseph, the puck all the way back to Backstrom, pinch the puck, Montreal, keep the puck deep zone, all the way back by Zab, Zab recovered the puck, right now, pass the puck, intercept by Montreal, Canadian, and now Ick right there, Romanov lose the puck, they come in now, Austin Matthew, uh, Austin, um, Watson shoot the puck right now, intercepting up by Montreal Canadian. The Rocks coming to the blue line, to red line, kick out the puck left side. Miscommunication between the Montreal Canadian and Munson and uh, someone else. The puck turn around right now by Romanov. They let offside, finally they wave and come back to regroup for the Ottawa Center on the defensive zone. They go D to D. Zab, long stretch pass right now. Dumping the puck behind Jake Allen, uh, recovery by the Montreal Canadian, reuse the board and they go all the way back to Gallagher, I believe. Gallagher skating with the puck. Gallagher kick, kick out the puck right now, recovery by himself. Bring the puck behind, in, behind to Shoneman. Shoneman kick out the puck right there. Dumping right now by Poland, I believe. Together, go leave the puck to Jordan uh, Helen and Ellen. Ellen and bring the puck behind the net. Uh, Holden try to get a puck. Montreal to get a puck. Finally, Holden battle for the puck with Gallagher. Holden recover the puck. Lob the puck all the way back. And it was on. Montreal get the puck. And they're going to recover right there. Finally, the puck go back to. Uh, I don't know, but anyway, Montreal's coming now. It's Poland. Poland try to back right there. Lose the puck, recovery by Holden. Holden use the board in the neutral zone. The puck go all the way back on defensive zone by Montreal Canadian. They go D to D back to Justin Barron. Barron in the neutral zone right now. Reco recovery right now by Ottawa. They are coming there. Colden Brown's coming. Almost at like two versus one. Try to get the puck, you know, lose the puck. When the puck go to the opening side, recovery went out by the Ottawa Senator and behind the net of Jake Allen. The puck go back to Carfield, uh, who pit a little bit low far from 
a bit late turn around went out by the Matawa Canadian but finally great stick by Ottawa Senador to turn around they are coming back on the defensive zone now the puck go all the way back by Iris ran the puck to the board now recovery by the Montreal Canadian gave the puck back to Connor Brown. The Ottawa Senator put some pressure. Montreal, they cannot f execute great play right now. The Ottawa brings some pressure. Colin White, finally, Montreal still the puck by Nick Zuski. Don't pin the puck. They're going to be to the bench. Uh, Colin by Martin saying, we knew plus coming for the Montreal Canadian with a little bit more over 15 minutes to play. Amonik went out with the puck, passed the puck to the D. Long stretch pass in the third zone. It just went out by Matthew Joseph coming now in the back door. We have an offside. We're going to reset with 15, 12 to go remaining on the third period. David Arthur, welcome aboard. Yep, Jake Allen was looked like shaky on that shot over there. Another bad play between the Jake Allen and Edmondson. Bad communication. And now uh, back to Alfman. Alfman should have back on Forsberg. No rebound. And we're going to have a, a whistle right there. 14.55 to go. Remaining on the third period. That's what we had at that moment. Uh, I want to show to you guys. Um, we have a TV, a TV timeout. Uh, uh, our friend, a member of the Hockey Nation Live Show. Uh, not a member, but someone is always here. Nat, uh, she's at the game tonight. Um, Nathalie Lafont. She's at the game tonight. Uh, just want to say hi to her. So glad to see Nathalie at the game uh, right now live between Ottawa and the Montreal Canadiens. The, the bring back puck went out by Jake Allen. Pass the puck to Romanoff. Romanoff to Hoffman. Saving by Anderson. Anderson contre the puck. Get the puck right down at the back ends. Missed the net completely. The puck go all the way to the blue line. Reset right now by the Montreal Canadiens. Behind the net, Jake Evans. Battle for the puck with Anderson and Olden. Jake Evans right now at the goal line. Bring the puck in front of the Hoffman. Shoot the puck. Rebound. and missed the net. The ball to Olden. Olden get out. Great play by the Montreal Canadiens. Jake Evans. Fire! Forsberg make a save with the block. The puck again to Evans in front of Anderson. Anderson finally, and the puck go outside his own part of Ottawa Senator, and the puck go all the way back, and the puck go dead, don't play the puck in front of Jake Allen, Allen play the puck right there, bring the puck back to Jake Evan, you're going to run the puck, being a net to Edmondson, I believe, and turn around by Romanoff, Romanoff control the puck right now, Romanoff use the puck to a neutral zone, pass again to Hoffman, Hoffman lob the puck right there, she's hit by Jake Allen, Evans, uh, battle right now with uh, the defenseman, turn around, and Ottawa get out of the zone by go dead, go dead, drop the puck behind uh, to Gabriel, uh, Gabriel uh, the puck go all the way back to uh, Baron, Baron back to Shenemann. Shenemann skating with the puck went out to the blue lines, coming to the red line. Don't pin the puck all the way back uh, over the fourth bird. Chasing it up on the Montreal Canadian. Stop by Baron. Baron control the puck right now. Try to get the puck behind the net to Dave Rack. Dave Rack trying to run for the net. Fire! Missed the net right there. Oh, he was a good play. Justin Baron bring the puck again to Dave Rack. Leave the puck all the way back to Shenemann. Shenemann right now. All the way back to the blue line to uh, Armia. Armia to Baron. Shoot a point for the net. And no chance right there. The puck stopped by Armia uh, by Forsberg. We have a whistle. We're going to reset right there, but good play by the Montreal Canadian. Not good enough to skate the school to put a goal. And that's what we're at. Uh, let's show up another picture of the of uh, Natalie at the game. And uh, that's why she, she sat right now fully for the, the claim, but she's right there at the red seat at the Montreal Canadian. This is the game right now for Natalie. So we thanks her for uh, the picture tonight. Uh, 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 from directly for the Bell Center from Nat. All right, David. I've been buying doubt. Uh, okay, Charlie. Good night. Of Matralu. See you tonight, tomorrow. Thanks. Thank you, Kevin. I appreciate a lot. Uh, two more, Nooner. Don't forget to click on the like. We appreciate each one of you. Thank you so much, everybody. Don't forget, tomorrow at 12 o'clock p.m., we are back live stream with the show's called The Power uh, the morning skate show with Coach Frenchie. Tonight, tomorrow, we have a guest, a special guest, uh, 
Marco D'Amico is going to join us talking about all the prospect NHL. So if you want to join us tomorrow, uh, that'll be great. And ask a question to uh, Marco, 12 o'clock tomorrow, and uh, he's going to get that one over there uh, talking about all the prospect and NHL. And uh, we have to have TV time out right now, so we have to wait the game to restart. And thanks again, Noner, and everybody. <laughs>
Ballon for the puck at the blue line. Get out of the zone. Turn around. He going to regroup. Pass the puck left side. Great play by uh, Evan. Uh, Evan back to Anderson to Biron. Biron back at the blue line. Intercept by Ottawa Senator. Turn around. Great stick by uh, Jordan Harris to steal the puck to Batterson. And finally, Ottawa recovered the puck with uh, 11 minutes. 11 minutes. 11 minutes remaining on this third period. Ottawa regroup right now. Pass the puck to the left side. Del Zado with the puck. Pass the neutral zone. Call around right now by Connor Brown. Connor at Del zone. Tim Sazo bring the puck behind the net. Uh, and then recovery for the Montreal Canadian to Devarak. Devarak right now at the blue line. Skating to the red line. Devarak dumping the puck all the way back behind Forsberg. Intercept right now. 10 minutes, 35 seconds remaining on the third period. The puck get out of the zone. The Montreal Canadian all the way back behind Jake Allen. Players, new players coming for both teams, and uh, the puck is going to be get by Ramanov, prepare the breakout, uh, and that's what we had at that moment. The puck going into zone, recovery right now by Zuski. Zuski's coming now, face to Braxtrom. Now Zuski bring the puck all the way back to Coffin, intercept out Ottawa Senator, defenseman. They get out of the zone, they are coming now in the zone. Now it's coming back all the way back to uh, Connor Brown, draw the puck to White, shoot the puck, miss the net, uh, recovery by Zuski. All the way stretch pass right there to Carfield. The go the puck go and is back. Recovery by Ottawa. Down the puck behind Jake Allen. But Emerson recovery the puck. He used the board to the neutral zone. Recovery by Ren Pitlick. Set up right now. Pitlick skating with the blue lines. Coming to the red line. Stick and glick. Control the puck. Keep the puck for himself. Pitlick tried to get around Forsberg. Down the puck right away back to uh, Ottawa. They're going to get us out. Uh, get out by catch up. Catch up. Turn around. Pass the puck to Zezev. Zezev kick out the puck to Norris. Norris coming now. Looking for catch up. Shoot the puck. Allen. Make a save, rebound on the left side, turn around for the Montreal Canadiens, sealed by Ottawa Senator. Norris coming to the left side, is Mathieu Joseph, ran the puck to Katschuk on the corner, Katschuk in front of the Norris, and still the puck to Katschuk, another great play, uh, Joseph hit Poland, Poland pass the puck to Savard, Savard, that pass right away right there to Elon. Elon is coming, control the puck right now to the blue Elon shoot the puck, tip in front of the net, force by make a save, great play right now, but I'm not talking, is Elon is still the puck, how to back to Gallagher, fire, block shot by uh, Zab, not, uh, by Zezab, turn around and up, but I'm not talking, is in, back to Gallagher, Gallagher to the hash mark, the puck behind the net, battle for Poland, Poland in the corner, control the puck right there, maybe it's Elon, but finally Tim Sosa still the puck in front of Gallagher, to change the direction, and we have a call for get for Gallagher for hooking the referee tonight. It's all about the, again Montreal Canadiens. Bad play by Gallagher uh, to have hooking right there behind the net. That's what we at uh, at that moment and and the late penalty for the Montreal Canadiens. Ottawa's coming now. Patterson's coming to the zone. Patterson's coming. Move the puck to the right side. Fire a score and the Ottawa take the lead five to three. Wow. Romanov, uh, bad play. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Oof, this one hurt. Colin White. Uh, yeah, Jake Allen was not good on that one over there. Wow. Uh, Harry, welcome back. Uh, uh, yep. The puck will now get out by the Toronto, uh, by the Ottawa, bring the puck behind the net uh, with uh, eight minutes at uh, 20 seconds to go. We have another whistle. Toronto are on the, they got a penalty, two minutes for Clem, Clem Ford. And Buffalo for Carolina too. Wow. Allen out, um, Harry. Good evening, everyone. Adam, nice to see everybody. Thank you, Adam, to join us tonight. Go Abs, go Harry. No problem, Kelly. The park went out. Um, can the... Coach, how is running for Montreal was seen? Uh, he only play. Uh, he's still in Sweden. He's coming back. And the Florida Panthers tie the game. You be. You be. Do, 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 It's five to five. Wow. Uh, and the man was, is not going to play for the Montreal Canadian. Um, Adam is going to play for Laval Rocket and American Hockey League. 
the contract Genev gave him a chance to play for the Montreal. And uh, no power play there. Wow. That. I mean, I just walked in the room. You are already so mad. I would take you and girl management course, sir. Vegas got big help last night. Yeah, Adam, I agree with you. And the bad news for them right now is that Dallas was winning earlier and also um, uh, someone else. Uh, Nashville, I don't know the score. Told you, Florida would come back. No, no. Yep, you're absolutely right about that. Five, five, five Gators. <laughs> Unbelievable. Jake, the Flair Panthers tie, five, five. Wow. Maxime Lacroix, okay, but can you see the Canadian goal? Canadian goal, go, go, go. Uh, all right. I thought it's not a win, Fred F3. Uh, go leave, uh, Bryce Garrett. Where are you, where are you? I don't know what's going on, but you have a TV timeout on the TV forever. Can Spencer Knight find a way to get that W? Patrice Lafayre, a long time did I hear from him, Adam. Honestly, I have no clue. Um, not at all. I think he was still in Montreal area. The puck went out uh, in the corner. Power play for the Montreal Canadian uh, with 7 minutes 50 seconds to go. Uh, Amonique, 2 minutes for tripping. Uh, Montreal for the third time. Can Montreal... Score on power play that were helping them maybe to catch up. How about that one? They are coming. Zuski is coming out to the blank. Zuski control the puck. Kick out the puck to Devarak. Uh, control by Zuski with Devarak right now. Uh, control right now by Caulfield. Caulfield right the way to Gallagher. Gallagher to Ash Mark. Gallagher drive the puck to get Caulfield. Battle right there. Uh, Gallagher bring the puck to the blue line. Go the way back over there. Go back to Gall Gall Caulfield to Gallagher. Caulfield to Zuski. Zuski missed the puck right there. Control the puck to Ashmark. Chasing right up Ottawa. Bring the puck all the way back to the blue line to Hoffman. Hoffman back to Caulfield. Caulfield's coming. Back to turn around right there. I don't know what Caulfield was trying to do, but uh, accent Lulu. Le Combien de pension canadien? Yes, I do. Uh, Maxime, uh, je vais donner une dernière chance. Là. Si tu veux rester avec nous autres, tu vas parler très bien à part pro du hockey. Sinon, euh, tu pourrais aller jouer ailleurs. Euh, ça ne nous fera pas du mal. Euh, on n'accepte pas des gens qui font des choses comme ça. Donc, euh, je te donne un dernier avertissement. C'est la dernière. Donc, euh, je te dis là, encore une fois. Donc, euh, tu parles de hockey. Tu respectes les gens dans la, dans la, dans le, ici. Sinon, euh, va jouer avec tes petits autos dans ta, dans ta cour. C'est correct, ça? The puck went out, recovery from the Montreal Canadian to the blue line, go D to D, go back all the way back to the left side, shoot by the Montreal Canadian, Pitlick went out to Ashmack, Pitlick looking, bring puck to all the way back to the blue line, back again to Bar Baron, Baron to Pitlick, Pitlick in front of the net to Anderson, go back to Pitlick, Pitlick to the goal line, turn around right there, intercept by Armia, Armia bring the puck all the way back to uh, uh, fire, and sub again Armia, back to Baron, uh, Baron, Baron to Armia. Amir right now control the puck. Amir change the direction. Amir control. Amir rim the puck all the way back to Baron. And it's a seven out. The power plate of Montreal is over. And attacking right now by Amir. Turn around in front of the net. It's a step out towards the dark. Get the puck outside the zone. Finally to get out. And Mathieu Joseph coming in one versus one. Control the puck in front of the net. Shoot the puck. Oh, he missed the, the, the shot. But the puck slide. Slippery behind him. The Montreal get out of the zone. Long stretch pass right there. Intercept by Drake Batterson. Coming now, looking right there. Fire the puck. Jake Allen make a save with a glove and no rebound. That's what we have there. And we have to another whistle on the left side. Um, and Mr. Igor, welcome back.
We have another TV timeout. Uh, go abs, go, Jake. Uh, and after I kick him out in front of the other swimmer, I need to set up person again. Okay, another this baby. Uh, there have been some very nice goals in the game. Well, um, it's all good right now. Everything is fine right now. It's all good. Don't worry about anything. It's good to see you, man. Igor, glad to see you, buddy. Hopefully, you're doing well. Uh, Bryce, a grilled salmon and green bean look look good. Uh, who scored a fifth? Uh, is a great question. I forgot. Colin White. Sorry about that. Oui, mon homme, tu as bien raison. Bien d'accord avec toi. Here we go. The goal is up. It's happened sometime then as part of hockey, right? Recovery by Ramana. Ramana bring the puck to the left side and try to get it all the way back to the Montreal Canadian dumping the puck. Uh, salut, mon Alex, uh, mon Maxime. The puck go all the way back, intercept by Ramana. Shoot the puck and you can find the net for a block shot by the Montreal Canadian. Finally, the puck go outside his own catch, dump the puck behind Jake Allen. 31 29 the shot, and that's where five minutes to go remaining on the third period. Uh, the puck try to run by Ramana. Ramana bring the puck to Biron. Biron kick out the puck to the left side to Ryan Pollen, I believe. Contre the puck right now, the neutral zone. Dump the puck, intercept right now by. Um, Zezev, Rangers 3-1 at your age, Denari. It's all good. The puck go back all the way by there. Shoot the puck right now. Intercept by the Montreal Canadiens. Great play by Colin White. Battle back for the corner. And they go all the way back by Suzuki. Suzuki right now battle for the puck. And they go all the way back to um, Aris. Aris try to get the puck out. Uh, and they go all the way back. And the puck, we have a whistle right there at the neutrals, at the blue line. You're going to whistle right there. When I'm on 12, can I just try to get a puck in the corner? Carfield try to get a puck to let, uh, the left side. Finally, the puck goes to the, the all the way back. Matt Joseph loses the puck in the neutral zone, recovery right now. And an empty net, and that way, the Ottawa score. An empty net, and a 4 0 9. Six goal. Justin Barron just got hurt, by the way. Barron just squeezed his, his foot and his knee. And that's it for Montreal Canadiens tonight. Uh, yep, he's still on the bench right now, but uh, yep, Adam. 
I agree. Not a problem, Stefano. Part of the game. Not a problem, Tommy. Have a good night. Thanks again, Tommy. Uh, yeah, but it's an empty net, Ian. You have nothing to do. Too many turnovers. I don't have nothing to do with that part of the Ian. Ça pourrait arriver, Henry. Ok, le gars, on contrôle pas un de corner, recover un out par. Chelsea, on a un autre try to get a puck all the way out. Uh, uh, mon uh, Monday uh, Blue. The puck turned around par Zawa, long stretch pass. Uh, Monday, he played again at Winnipeg Jets. Uh, they can throw the second, and again, he's looking like a mal genius. It's been a long time since the league score is too many and is up. Yes, Nicholas, about that. Uh, price is wrong, but too, too much inflation. And I believe, guys, the Florida Panthers score. They score. The Panthers take the lead. 6-5. Again, the Toronto Maple Leaf, Barkov, the captain. Are you killing me? Wow. Oh, my God. Wow. The Flurry Panthers. Now Toronto attacking. At uh, 1 minute 25 seconds to go. And the game between Ottawa and Montreal. And uh, it's going to conclude. I'm going to follow. Unbelievable, Daryl. Uh, Paul is a classic leaf. Let's get in ready for the playoff. And it's quoi bonjour, ça va c'est qui qui va gagner? Ottawa, Maxime. We have some pushing left and right right now. Uh, this is great for the league. Now we get to see it again. Respond. Uh, anybody who's thinking Toronto will win this cup is the Chanel Francois. And our tap as uh, so is out. Gallagher is out. Uh, um, C'est correct, uh, Henri. Uh, ce que je veux dire, mon Henri, là, uh, si tu veux parler de hockey, là, parle de hockey, OK? Donc, uh, que tu ne parles pas de Just pass the hockey. Okay. Okay. So, the dernière fois, je t'annonce. So, okay. So, we're très bien comme ça. Hello, Alan Barnes. Welcome aboard. Uh, no, you just fight. Try to fight with Tim Sozo. So, uh, Zuski is out. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it was Baron who was hurt. Uh, Gators tomorrow. I visit Vancouver. Now, this case is fine. It's right there on the ice. Uh, that's my Facebook. Now, I'm back on, Honest. Alan, glad to see you, buddy. 
I leave shall not have to I leave just so we can get the respondent. Um about that one over there. Evans a été ouvert, François. Uh, go Florida, go, Noner. 45 seconds remaining on the game. And uh, now, uh, Harry, uh, he's coming back only Monday, Harry, uh, Carey Price. The puck went out, recovered by Ottawa, so another less of 25 seconds, power play for Ottawa. And that way, the Ottawa Senator is going to be the Montreal Canadian tonight by a score 6 3. Um, that's what we had at that moment. Unbelievable. Um, that's it, is what it is. Uh, three goal and the third period gave the Ottawa to be the Montreal Canadian. And that way, a uh, congratulations for all the Ottawa fans tonight. Uh, Montreal did not play enough to win that game, they don't deserve it. And uh, that's everything happening to them and the Montreal Canadian. Firstly, you can show um, not good enough. So it is what it is. Uh, really bad performance overall for the Montreal Canadian. Uh, too many turnover, and that's what happened. It was a fun game. I don't mind to lose the rest of the game. To be honest, I won right. Uh, yep. The three star Justin Barron, first goal of the NHL. I don't know why, but it is what it is. Trey Patterson, one goal, one assist. And Pretty Kachuk, uh, the man was supposed to be drafted for the Montreal Canadian, but he preferred Cook Enemy with one goal, two assists, continues to perform in against the Montreal Canadian, and that's what happened. Um, Uh, the channel they beat Tampa Boston a uh, uh, high scoring game with Florida. What do you mean? Monday Price play match, uh, please. Yep, it will start there. Bad game by Hoffman. Look, uh, I agree with you about that. Josh Anderson did not do well, and I can go all the way like that, right? The Buffalo Saber beat the Car uh, Carolina. Another team struggle. The Rangers beat the Devils. The Blue Jacket beat the Flowers. The Avalanche 6-4. Wow. The Detroit Red Wings beat the Boston Bruins. Uh, the Nashville beat the Minnesota. The Star beat the Islanders. Wow. Here we go, Mr. Andrew Lepage. Welcome back. Thanks to for going, the, this one over there. What do you think about what happening? Well, unfortunately, they didn't kill the penalty, and it was just all downhill. Uh, we got outplayed. Um, I, I just found our third period was actually our weakest period, to tell you the truth. We kind of just uh, lost the direction we were headed in, if you know what I mean. Nice to see a little bit of fight back, though, from Gallagher at the end. There. A few yeah. bad calls in that game. Um, you know, the first game, the first, um, the goal at the beginning of the third period probably killed really the momentum for the Montreal. Yeah. Uh, they tried to come back, but not good enough. Um, you can see it was not very good overall about that. Uh, so, uh, uh, very that's what I was worried about. Bad yeah. third period, honestly, too many penalties, everything. But uh, you have to give credit for the team. I thought it was, I thought it was going to be good for the next couple of years. Oh. Are uh, they, they ever a right? really dangerous team for sure about that Forsberg one? Forsberg was solid. Forsberg was very solid tonight. So that was yep. the other thing for them. They got they got a lot of uh, a lot of good coming for them as well. Their future it's looking pretty bright in Ottawa. Yep, I bought that one over there. Um, I'm watching Florida six five Florida right now. I talk wow. about thinking a lot. Uh, and Andrew <laughs> will ask you this question. Did you follow Drake Patterson? Uh, he was raised in Adikonish, Nova Scotia. I got to see a little bit of him. He's quite a hockey player. I, I always liked him. Good kid. Yeah, good kid. Yeah. And, Very talented. Uh, 
It's funny because talented. the people want to trade Carey Price uh, and that chap, you know, Zav, it, Renault. It, everybody wants to trade him. But we uh, suffer you know, I, all year long with no goaltender. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I don't understand. We have Carey Price, but people want to trade him. They want I one tempo that... and the net. Oh no, no. That we don't have anybody, <laughs> no. but they want to no, trade Carey Price. So I, I don't mean, know personally, who is going to be the goaltender? Jake Allen is going to become UF free after that. Right. I mean, though, let's hope they sign Allen, but who knows? We don't know. But at the same token, I'd rather rather come back with Price and Allen. That's my thoughts. But I do see the other side of the coin. Montreal is probably looking at how trying to free up the money. So it's a hard one because I love Carey Price myself. It's just he's at he's been so banged up, and it's the dollar sign. Yeah. Right for the years. Right. It's a hard one. Uh, at the end of the game, we saw Justin Barron leave the building uh, with an injury. We'll see what is going happening. Renu talk about this. Uh, Roger, talk about this. I hope Barron does not have a ligament injury. Uh, what do you think yeah, about the performance of Barron and uh, Iris tonight? I thought they were great. I really thought they performed well for the kids. The kids impressed me tonight. Um, I would, I just didn't like our play in our own end. And uh, we knew going into this, the one strength Ottawa has, they're deadly on the power play. And when a team's that good on the power play, and we're, we're kind of so-so area on our PK, not, it's nothing to play with. You can't keep playing with fire, you know? If you think about that, like we talk about Ottawa's be good, but Nicholas bring another point. Detroit's going to be good also. Oh, they're going to even be better. And Buffalo's <laughs> they're going to be, be good better. also. Yeah. If you look about this, what we said at Edmonton, yeah, no goaltender. If You, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, if you go to Toronto, they don't have no goaltender. How many times exactly. we said they don't have no goaltender? And now us, we said, you know what? We gave gave away carry Price and gave away goaltender. I, I don't understand why they want to give give away carry Price. It's like I say. I think it comes down to, and and I I stand by that. I, I love Carey personally. If he wants to stay, let him stay. If he wants to, that's my thing. If he wants to stay, I, I know the contract was too long. That's the big problem, and it's the injuries. If he wouldn't have got so banged up, Price would probably still be one of the leaders in the league. I'm he was convinced. the only players last season in the playoff winning $10.5 million. Yeah, yeah. But that's just it. We just haven't been able to get the season play out of him because he's been so banged up. Right. And it all seems to have started right from the Kreider hit. He has not been the same. You know? Yeah. But who is the goaltender if you don't have we, Carey Price? Well, all we've got is Allen because we've got nothing in the pipeline that's but ready. Allen if cannot be 60 games. No. No, definitely not. Definitely so now not. Now he's going he, to be what? 45 game example. So who's going to the backup? Montembo? Well, that's what you're stuck with right now. Unless we go looking for another backup, but I don't know about that. You know, I, I almost think if you're, uh, you got two choices, it, and it's, it's probably going to come down to what Kerry wants, to be honest. I think it's going to come down to that. I think um, Hughes is classy enough to say, Kerry, what do you want? Here's how it's going to be. You know, we'd like to free cash up, but if you want to stay put, we'll let you stay put, but we need to know that. We need to know that going ahead. What's your desire? So, and then you got to go from there. Right? Now, if we want to tank, like we want for one more year, now you can trade Carey Price, but um, Montembo and Primo are goaltender because Jake Allen has too many, too much asset to trade yeah. him because he gave you a first round pick or something like that at the trade deadline. But Montreal That's is going true. to suffer after that for many years with no goaltender. Oh yes, yes. I know. I agree. I mean, if they lose both of them, they're in real big trouble. Yeah. That they can do. One of them has to stay. <laughs> you know what I mean? There has to be one of them. Toronto tied the game. Wow. John Tavares, 6-6. Six, six. That's a dog fight. That's the thing I find with Florida. They still haven't found their whole gelling process yet. They're still feeling it out. 
I probably go to... again. Yeah. I'm telling oh. you, there's certain teams you can't give. Teams that have that much offensive power, you cannot allow them to have that many power plays. You know, you have to try to avoid it at all costs. Uh, it's a business coach. A price making too much now for any Zurich Prowner. All right. Let's trade Carey Price. Let's go with Montana Bow with Carey Kid and Primo. That's it's it's hard. It's hard. And I know, because like I say, I mean, out of uh, the players we've had in the last 15 years, Carey's been my guy. I really do like the guy. I've liked, I like, I'm glad we drafted him. Yeah. Uh, it's just, I just think Bergevin screwed that contract up. That's where it went sour. Because, like I say, one thing we have to realize, and the only point I was making, in order to win a Stanley Cup, the guy's got to be willing to take a little bit less. That's what Boston did, and it worked for them. Each of those top three guys were willing to take a little less because they wanted the Cup more, right? Uh, so Coach, we cannot do anything with price contract in the way. But like I said, that's no. fine. <laughs> I don't think we can get rid of it anyway. To be honest, that's my opinion. I, again, I don't think anybody. Who will. is going to be the goaltender? That's my question. We don't have that. anybody. We don't have anybody right now. We don't. You know, there's nobody in the pipeline that's ready. And Caden Primo is definitely not our guy. We've seen enough of him by now that it's going to even have to be farther down the road, our future guy. You know, so yeah. it's too far away. It's too far away. You need somebody to jump in. So I don't know. Uh, yeah, who is your favorite team? Stephanie Medvedeva, kind of bet out possible, but I don't think so. I think Curry won out uh, for his family, possible. He's very private. He's very private, and that's the one thing I I can't get a, a bead on him. What you know, he keeps it so to his chest that you really don't know. Does he want to be there? He's he says the right things. He's well, well. Uh, He's so calm, cool, and collective that he knows exactly how to handle the situation. He's not going to tell us until he's ready to tell us. Until it comes down, he'll tell us then, you know? Yeah. He's still missing at 10.5, uh, Mike. Uh, Mike. I suppose you should have finished in Montreal. He went out to how many good years in an uh, uh Yeah. 10.5. Uh, What happening to Zach Fricol? Uh, carry 2.0. Uh, free color right now is a uh, Urshi about that one yeah, over there. Yeah. Uh, uh, if you want to keep price, uh, fine. Restriction is contract to play in big and the playoff only. Uh, coach, uh, too many turnover. Are uh, you agree with that? There was tonight. Yeah, yeah, we had a lot of turnovers tonight. There's no doubt about it. I found this a bit of a weaker response tonight than I expected. Um, but like I say, the third period, I really didn't find we had enough pushback. That was something I was, I was expecting a bit more fight. I agree with you about that one there. The Shunerman, the Edmondson, that's two right there to give two goals. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, uh, you cannot blame too much everybody. But uh, and, and, you know, the, here's sad. The sad part of it, Coach, is like we got a couple of big wingers like Anderson and Armia. What the heck the have they done tonight? Uh, we did not see him in Hoffman, too. Yeah, exactly. The three of them, they did nothing. Yeah, Nothing. Just, just they, caught, they were more detrimental to us than they were any response. I thought here, uh, Gallagher had a fantastic game. Uh, did you heard. hear about Barron's situation? Well, no, I don't know what's happened to him. So. Not yet. Not yet. I hope he's okay. But we don't need that right now. <laughs> uh, but his salary is 7.5. Yes, Uh, yes, but salary cap is going to be 10.5. Uh, about if price yeah. take 50% of the cap space, do you think he has to go 50%? He has to do 50% of the work. Uh, for me, the only way you can let price go, like again, he has to agree to it. That's the first and foremost. We cannot absorb 50% of it, it's not worth our time. As, as coach has made that point, and I agree with him, I've agreed with that. You Somehow, it would be different if we were paying 25% of it, but not 50%. We, well, there's no sense of switching your goalie at that point because what you're going to have to bring somebody in. By that point, you're going to be paying the same thing you were paying 
when you were paying the 10.5, right? Yeah. So, uh, so it's, back, uh, it, fucking dream. So the buyout is going to be 33% after that. So um, that will apply on the salary cap for the Montreal Canadiens. It, it would be for X year. And they will drop, what, three, four million dollars possible per year for the next three, four years, I believe. Right. Uh, Jacques Lamar, our friends are welcome. They said no, they will, each other don't take any seriously. Uh, Foucault is not very good, not really. About that, go there. I'll just game manager. You can find them some uh, scrap head. 10.5 for five years, yeah. Right, I know. I heard through the gambling that I use a price on the sea eye to eye, and I thought not sorry. Uh, what's the final score? KPL a six three Ottawa. Yeah, but I mean, I, I don't really count the empty netters. To me, the, those don't. So count I know said the goalie are the less important position in hockey. Not a chance. That's your most most important position in the game. Sorry to say that, but I don't know uh, why that's he why said that because honestly, Montreal has. Most the of Stanley the, Cup, the Stanley Cup is because of goaltender. That's right. Ken Dryden. I mean, Jacques Plant, um, Patrick Waugh, and, you know, now we have Martin Carey. Brother, you, know? you can go all the way like yeah. that. Corey Crawford, yeah. Jonathan Quick, uh, Jordan right. White Bennington. You can flurry at some point. You met Matt Murray over Always there. Always rolling. And, He's uh, you know, Vesilisky. And, and, and uh, I don't know. It's like. Every year, to, yeah, the goaltender box. carry on the team all the way to the end. Super Rask, yeah, uh, all those guys. Yeah, Lundqvist. Exactly. And that's called become only 20 goals for before the season end. Uh, you know what? I would not be shocked if he gets 20. I would not be. He's going at a great pace. He's, he's pumped. He's playing well. He's one of the guys that at least, because, I, I, again, tonight I, I was more – impressed by him than I was Suzuki. Suzuki, Suzuki. is right now at the, at the 18 at that moment. Yeah. And yeah, then but you he didn't Anderson, uh, he died at, off of it tonight. Seven, uh, it, you have Anderson at uh, 17, I believe, about that one over there. So um, that's what we But Caulfield at least put his, a full effort out tonight, if you know what I mean. He really put a full effort out, whereas I found as the game went on, we stopped noticing Suzuki. Yeah. We hey, stopped. Go, hey, just, hey uh, how's it going? <laughs> hey, guys. So, you know, I've been looking at the bio rules and I'm just reading this. And there, I don't know if you've yeah. seen this. So, I think you know the way this guy's contract is structured. Yes, the cap it is 10.5. However, the base is, is 1 million, for example, next year. And the bonus is 6.75. So if you read mm -hmm. this, it says the buyout is spread out over a period of twice the remaining contract. So we know that two thirds of the remaining value to play is 26 or older. So we know that, but then listen yeah. to these points. And this is why I'm really curious if this is actually why Bergevin was comfortable doing this. You multiply the remaining salary, excluding signing bonuses. Yeah. So now I don't know if there's a difference between signing bonus and in season bonus by the buyout amount. And then you spread the total buyout cost. So we know that right. over twice the remaining contract years. So we get that determine yeah. the savings by subtracting the annual buyout, excluding signing bonuses. So I'm trying right. to understand if there's a difference between bonus and signing bonus, because it's heavily weighted on bonus in his contract. Right. Right. It would be nice to find that out, but uh, yeah. If, I, if you want to compare, go get Ren Sutter or uh, Zach Parisi. Michael, you're going to see that. Um, yeah, that's, that's a good question. That's a good point. So let's take a look at that. Right. But So were those heavily bonused? I, I don't know in front of me right now, but... Um, okay, let's look. Let's take a look. Because it's really interesting when you start reading that and you look at how Bergeron structured the contract. Because, yes, we know the cap hits 10.5. The actual salary is much less. Right. So you can conceivably even do a two-team deal, right? Like, one, you know, if someone's... That's what I think. Yeah. You know, and they pick up some some hit. They get assets. So there's, there's a... You know, it's not impossible to move him if he wants to move. At, right. Let's see. All right. So let's take a look at Ryan Suter. 
Uh, by Sorry. the way, uh, just looking about this, Lekkonen score and the Colorado win tonight. And oh, wow. um, my damn son to Montreal, I don't know, uh, Mr. Uh, Jackson, what yeah. are you talking about? Uh, maybe an autocorrect or something like that, but I don't know about that. Mike Danson? Not Mike Danton. I think that's what he said. That's Mike Damston. Well, Mike Danton was the the guy that you know threatened to kill David Frost, right? And he was he was like with Sheldon Keefe, Mike Danton, Ryan Barnes. They were all part of that Frost crew. That was really wow. weird. There's some really crazy stuff. And Danton went to prison. So, but he's so I don't know. He's the same age as Sheldon Keefe. So how old is that? Thirty four. Yeah. Yeah, he'd be up there. He's got to be up there, right? Maybe it's old. Yeah, he'd be up there. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm just looking at Minnesota, right? 13-year, $98 million contract. <laughs> wow. But it's not – he doesn't – the way it was structured, it was really heavy in the beginning years, like $12 million, $12 million, $11 million, nine, which is similar to Kerry. Um, but the difference is he doesn't have – signing bonuses each year after the first three years. So like, you know, the last one, when did he get bought out? 2021? There's no bonuses. I can show you guys this, but his base salary was 8 million, 6 million, 2 million, 1 million, 1 million. So yes, the cap hits big, but the difference between this and Carey Price's contract is Carey Price next year is a $1 million salary and a right. six. Seven five million dollar bonus, so they've already paid out this year. They paid eleven million in bonus this year and a two million dollar base salary. So they paid him thirteen million bucks not to play this year. Wow. Yeah. But nice so year. <laughs> it, it is. It's you know I'm sure that's covered by insurance though. Yeah. Just because he was physically hurt and then we know he went into the substance abuse program. Right. So then you look at next year. It's 2022-23. He has 6.75 in bonuses the year after, 6.5 in bonuses, 5.5 and 5.5. So the base salary never goes above $2 million. So I, I'm really curious, like if you buy that player out, the way I'm reading it is that the bonuses don't count. Right. That's true. That's what it sounds like. But the, the, the cap, I, I don't, the question is, let me read it again. Does it, do the bonuses count? Steve said uh, sleep bonus is fine for a season bonus, yeah. Sorry, what did he say? Uh, he was talking about sleep bonus is fine as the bonus uh, performance, yeah. Is that what he's saying? So, because I, all I see is S bonus, and I don't know whether that's signing bonus or season bonus. Yeah. And Uberdo score and overtime. And no the way. game is over. The Florida Panthers <laughs> come back for gold. And the building is on fire over there. The Toronto last 7-6. Not a goal. Marner had a good game, right? He had two goals or three? Yeah, he did well from what I understand. Yeah. Nothing for Matthew. Did, well. wow. did Matthew score, Coach? I don't think so. What? Matthews did Matthews didn't get a goal? No. 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 Wow, quiet night for Matthews. Um, there's an, what, what's going on in the Islanders Dallas game? Uh, they just scored three two. Dallas four for Dallas. Okay. Yep. Four two okay. Nashville. Four two Detroit against Boston. So, <laughs> so just you know, going back to Kerry, if you buy him out, then wow, Uber though. The the buyout amount isn't the issue; it's the cap hit. That's the issue, exactly. So but the go, cap is still the same way anyway. Because the cap is 10-5, but the, the the buyout is, he's basically got... No, but the, the point, Michael, is like, whatever you buy, um, you, you're going to, your salary cap is going to be on the 10.5 anyway. Yeah, yeah. But you're going uh, to give him less money, but you still believe, so... Yeah, ten point five never changed. It's just what you own him. Now you give him less money. I, I don't know. Oh yeah, because all right. So again, I'll read. That's that, salary, right? salary is seven million dollars, Michael, per year. 
Yeah, but he's that's all salary. That's why there's no bonus for him. So if you look at what's remaining on his contract, it's thirty million dollars over five years or four years. It's four years, thirty million. And what they're saying is, it's you have to pay out two thirds of that. Mm-hmm. So he gets two thirds of thirty million, whatever that works out to be, right? So it's one twenty. It's like, yeah, okay. So they save they save quite a bit of money, but then that amount is what goes over eight years. Wow. Gator said that time to buy Danny a bunny. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. That's for darn sure. But I, well, to me, it, it's I, worth looking at understanding, not that I want him to be bought out or anything, but yeah. you know, if you're Kent Hughes, you're looking at your team right now and you're thinking of your options, right? Now the, the other yeah. one, yeah, maybe. I think that's. I think he's trying to unload it from the looks of it. He Probably. wants to unload it, but Probably. that's going to be hard to do. He's got to have a second team in there involved. I think that's probably it. part of the answer, right? Like you find a team yeah. like Seattle that is saying, listen, we're, you know, we're, we're not going to be competitive for a while. And maybe they're not right. saying that because they have some older players, right, from the expansion draft. They screwed up their opportunity, I think. But, yeah. Like, so who would be? I mean, Arizona is not is going to play in a five thousand seat building next year, <laughs> right? Like it's crazy. crazy. So they still That's probably have ten or twelve million in cap, and wow. they, you know, you could conceivably move them to them and then move them again, right? And then there's, there's definitely going to have to. There has to be another team involved, though. There's no doubt. Right. In my I think mind. you're probably right. Yeah, it's the only way it'll work. I have a hard time envisioning him staying in the current scenario. Now, the, the I can't see that. Is, like, do you really think, let's say you bring in a Shane Wright, you know, hopefully Justin Barron doesn't have a serious injury. Right. Is this team competitive again? Oh, it's going to take a couple, two to three years. There's no doubt about it. They're not going to start looking good in, for a couple of years. No doubt. That, that would be my assessment, too. Like, I think, you know, I just, you know, I, it's I don't going to be like Detroit. Makes, Give them three years and they'll start looking all right, you know. Yeah. So what? Right. What he said here is like you got to be willing to bite the bullet if you want a good team, you know. Right. You you have to give him back thirty nine million dollars. Why is why is it thirty nine? So the cap the cap hit is ten points. Uh, you save only five hundred thousand next year. Montreal wow. is at nine million after that. Nine million, nine million. Then it's only five hundred thousand for. For that rest Actually, of four years. So, isn't there a buyout calculator here? Yeah, I did on. a cap friendly right now. That's what Is I that did. The one? Yeah. So, Montreal next, if they buy him this summer, June 15, 2022. Next yeah. year, the cap hit is still at 10 million. They only save 500,000. That's not worth doing that. In that year, but it starts year. dropping. So, it's 999. Then it's basically 580 grand after that. They, they got to look for a two way. Trade ten nine 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 and ten. Someone else will take a portion of that, right? Yeah, I think you could live with it if you were, you know, the halves were able to cover twenty five percent of it, the salary. You know what I mean? And then another team covers twenty five percent somehow. That's the way it was explained to me. You got another team involved, right? Um, Yeah, they save a ton of money. So this is what I was saying too: is it only costs them four point six million in cash, because because the the signing bonus is structured versus the the base salary. He only gets five hundred and eighty grand a year. Yeah. So the the cap hit sucks. It's the cap hit that that is the issue. Yeah, but I think the whole point of moving him is. You know, it's not really to save money. It's do you get assets back? Exactly. Like, that, that, that's really why you would move it. Like you would look at a team like Edmonton and you go, we'll do a three-team deal. You send us Xavier Borgo and a pick right. or something, right? Because I don't think they have any goaltending prospects because they're not smart that way. But Borgo is a French, French yeah. name, and I think he's a real talented player, and he's probably capable of stepping in next year. Or you say, you know, I want Broberg and a pick. And you have to figure out how to compensate Arizona, and they'll do take the cash for a pick, right? Right, exactly. Because I mean, a, a carry price on an Edmonton make is like that could be what they need, you know? Right, they're they're not that far. 
Exactly. That could be exactly what they need. Because if they can, they can uh, use a guy like Kosk. Koskinen to carry a good portion of weight during the season. As long as Kerry can get to the playoff, there's your guy. You know, perfect, right? Like you, I think that's a much better gamble than a Mike Smith or whoever else. Oh, you're right by far. Yeah, that would work. I don't to know if you up everybody about what he said. Um, and not just a set, saddle can be still be an option. Why they would why Sado would trade for Kerry well, Price? He, because he he played in Washington State, and I think they actually would have gone to Seattle, except for the circumstance. Well, why would that, run, why Rumfus is, is going to have Grubauer six million Price and then he have Trigger? He wouldn't. He would move them. Like he would he would, Grubauer and I mean you look at them collectively are below nine hundred save percentage. I don't think that deal's worked out. They're scared now that they are paying him six something a year. So wow. I think I think you could you know you move him. Somebody will. He still has value. He can play somewhere sure else. Sure he does. Yeah. Like he could go to Edmonton and he would be an upgrade over both those goalies, despite the crappy numbers. Like, there's no way yeah. that Dragger and him are bad goalies all of a sudden after one year. No. No. I just think they have a poor coach choice, and you know they kind of missed out on the better players. Oh, they missed the, they missed out on so many good choices that they could have had. And they even just, if you took Tarasenko and you took yeah. Johansson, <laughs> that's a much different looking team. Yeah. Uh, Renault said, "Why Al Jack Eagle bro. is cheap and he's under twenty-seven? No, Renault. Why would you want to buy out Eichel? Yeah, but he said only player under 27 can be bought out financially That's responsibly. Not allowed. That's you have to pay true. 66% of his contract. So you have $80 million. You have to give him about like $60 million on his pocket for nothing. Well, okay. So again, like, you know, if, you're, if your issue is saving money, then you go, hey, I'll just take the cap hit and I'll pay out $4.6 million in cash to carry price and move on. You know, but that's that's not the objective. The objective is to get some assets back, right? And try to structure it so that another team will want it. Ooh, that's not good. And I think I think a lot of it too. Like I say, I mean, you know, it's, I think there's a lot we don't know what Kerry really wants, right? You know what I mean? I think that's going to be the big. And I think you're right, Mike. I I see it the same way. Who the heck is going to want to stick around when you're you're thirty? Is he thirty five or thirty four? He's one or the other. Yeah. yeah. He he knows he's only got a couple of years. He's gonna want to yeah. go somewhere where they're gonna take a crack at a cup, you know. Yeah. Really, and, yeah. and they're not gonna trade him to Toronto. No, you know, Edmonton would be more palatable. I don't know who else would need a goalie like that. You know, Winnipeg doesn't really need him. No, they're not gonna make a move like that. They need defense. Langholm is got hurt tonight from uh, maybe <laughs> maybe Washington Langholm. <laughs> And then Leon Trasolo is not is not a warm up pregame show tonight. And Mike Smith started the game against San Jose. Washington can use the goal. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. It's weird. I think Washington will be fine long term. Like, you've, long unless, term. I don't know what's I don't know what's going on with Samsonov, but I mean, he's but like he doesn't look good this year. Five. Yeah, but it doesn't look good this year for some stupid reason. I don't know what's going on. It's weird. Matt Dumba. Ouch. Leave the game, upper body. Who's that? Oh, Matt Dumba? He just come back tonight. The injuries are just a piling up. <laughs> and there's like 12 games. <laughs> Jack Eichel is Jacob's daddy. Jacob loves... Um, touch front. <laughs> Uh, would you have to be able to sign Koskinen at a big reduction? He is at four point five million dollars now. He's junk. He's not worth four point five. He's, not He's worth like that. a two million dollar goalie, maybe. Exactly. Thirty four years old, by the way. Is yeah, he thirty four? Yeah, he's wow. up there. Because he, he started. He was wasn't he drafted by the Islanders and then he went back to Finland? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, I mean, you're. I didn't know he was that old, though. Alexandra, Alexandra, the Carey Price would go to a real contender. Montreal is not a contender. Well, that's for sure. <laughs> not not for a while. Yeah. Montreal might so, be ahead of Seattle. Do you believe Ron Francis yeah. would like to have Carey Price? 
I, don't, I think Ron Francis is going to be conservative enough not to make the playoffs for every year as the GM until he gets fired. <laughs> it's it's, it's going to be exactly what happened in Carolina. The writing is yeah. on the wall on that. He's a very nice he looks man. that way. And he, yeah. he brought in a ton of assets into Carolina. And the owner correctly assessed that this guy's not shrewd enough to finish the deal. And he we just witnessed him. You know, it's what, what do they call it? Penny wise and pound foolish. Exactly. Whereas you look at Vegas, they've been competitive every year because they went all in. Did they ever? They kept, making, they kept making big deals too, you know, like. And you know, they're still not out of the picture this year yet. Yeah. I, I agree. What's they're, that? Not. What's he saying? they're not. Yeah. Intertap, I agree that the objective is to get assets back for Carey Price. If you try oh, Carey yeah. Price, what do you well, get in return? I mean, let's again, I'll use the example of Edmonton. I think you could realistically get a Xavier Borgo, who I think is a top six forward at some point in the NHL. Like from what I've seen, I think it was a good player they picked. It just was, you know, I would have rather Edmonton picked a goalie and they mm -hmm. passed on this, you know, the Swedish kid, which I think was a huge mistake. But if you're Montreal and you get Xavier Borgo and a draft pick, that's, that should be fun. Pretty happy, and then you try to pay, yeah. you do what, what Detroit did, which is you know they they made a similar deal and they used the draft pick to get Sebastian Cosa. So now I don't know who I'm trying to think of who's coming up that I feel like is a got that ceiling, but I think you know they have to go volume. They're they're not gonna get you know carry prices don't uh -huh. grow on trees, but you know he's not. They're exactly not gonna get a boatload. They're not gonna get a boatload just to you know just for the sake of getting rid of the contract alone is a big, it's a big deal for that team. You it know? is. Yeah. They would, they would need to make a couple moves there. Yeah. Yeah. First but you have to Edmonton, come back and then evaluate what he looked like. You know, and is the and perfect then from that, that would give them a direction what he wants to do after that. Uh, one, I agree. One player can yeah. decide or his own situation is really carry price. I mean. Yeah. Yep. I agree. Nice Joseph. Um, Yep. I mean, because if you're Edmonton, like, you're in tough right now. Like, who are you going to get? Yeah. Who's your goalie? Exactly. Exactly. They got, they got no prospects. I mean, you could say what you want about Skinner. I don't see him as a number one in the NHL, maybe mm -hmm. as a backup. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a backup. Now they, got, they got the Russian kid. Kind of, I don't think he's, you know, that level. No. I don't see anybody in their system goaltending wise whatsoever olivia rodrigue i don't think he's a number one in the nhl nope they're all backups they're that's all as backups. high as they yeah that's but their with issue all the salary cap michael like in Mountain example how they yep. can pick up the contract of carry price at 10.5 million dollars that's going to so be tough for the next five it's, years going to be 40 years old but the, so let's let's think about this so if if montreal retains you know What's the number? Can they retain max 50%? Yeah. Right? Is that how that works? Yeah. And then the next team can have 50% of the difference? Is that how that works? I think that's how that works, right? It's only 50 yeah. you can hold. So, you know, they would say, listen, we're going to take, you know, 30 and you're going to take 50 of the balance. And Edmonton's going to spend the same money on goalies that they're spending now. Now, the only thing you can do, Michael, is... Montreal make a third team and they can they have, have to. they can get a twenty five percent of the that's fifty and now not, they own only twenty five. Correct. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying Montreal says I'll retain thirty percent or forty percent. Arizona, you retain fifty percent of the difference. And then you know, that ends up with three, four million in cap hit or five million max for Edmonton, let's say. And then there's yeah. you know, there's enough assets to go around somehow that you know, Arizona is going to play in a 5,000 seat building. They ain't going to be, a, you know, a playoff team next year. They're still in mode of collecting assets and taking on right. salary. They're not worried about money. And then this, you know, Montreal gets some assets back. Like a Xavier, if you got a Xavier Borgo at this point, would you move Carey Price? I would. You I know, kind of would. Yeah, I mean, so I would I. I. <laughs> so would I. He's a great young player. Like they didn't make a bad play there, you know, like that. Yeah. I just feel they, you know, they made a huge mistake missing out on the goalie. Yeah. Cause here we are talking about them having to give him up for a goalie. Pat Murray is out. Pat yeah. Murray is out for the rest of the game. <laughs> uh, 
That's why he beat Boston, <laughs> by the way. Yeah, that was wild. Uh, Zadina got a nice goal. Uh, Lucas Raymond looked great in that game. Michael Rasmussen had a beautiful goal in front. I, I really believe Pierre, he's going to end up being a 20, 25 goal scorer. He's got his 11th tonight, I think. Jeez. I'm sorry? Rasmussen got his 11th tonight. He looked really yeah. good. He, I think yeah, it's really good. Like he has scorer. really that a good a second, be a better second half season. Yep. Yeah, they're going to be a deadly team in a couple of years. Well, I think it'll it'll be interesting to see uh, Andrew. If, I mean, obviously, Cider and Raymond have turned out. Does John? If Jonathan Bergeron turns out to be a top six, that's really a difference maker. <laughs> oh yeah. And Larkin scored a nice goal tonight. I was. I like Larkin. Know, he's a good hockey I've player. Never been a big believer that he's a number one, but yeah. I mean, he put he's got thirty goals again. So. Exactly. We, we we would take him, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think having Raymond be, makes him a much better player. For sure. For sure. What Lewis gave Colorado a clinch playoff spot? What? What clinch? Oh, because Colorado clinched, so I don't yeah. I don't know who's lost, but well, we knew that would come. Boston yeah. lost five three. This is a big loss for the Boston Bros because now they uh, they back up maybe Ford, and um, that's something they don't want to get there. Uh, seven game total six fifty six point. Um, six game losing straight is over. A lock and kill Marsha. Man, so Marner eighty eight points in sixty one games. Yep, love them. Gotta love him. 30 with 31 goals. Yep. That's, that's wild. He might be an <laughs> get under a lot of people's skin, but man, he makes it happen. <laughs> well, I think he's definitely shooting the puck a lot more this year, and that seems to have paid off. I mean, my God, you take him and Bergeron away, and that team is dead. You know, really. Toast. Oh, you're saying on um you're saying on Boston? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Marshawn. Marshawn and Bergeron. I was thinking Marner. Yeah. Oh, okay, Marner. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. What this game, uh, uh, Mike, can affect Toronto, or just just move on? Yeah, he just who cares? There, it's going to be a battle right to the end. They got a point. Yeah. Do Not you believe? Over. With the hockey changing, at least most this year, how it, you know, it was, oh, you want the playoffs coming, it would be 2 1, 3 2, 4 3. Do you believe those kind of, because it's so much oriented now, okay, more on the offensive side, those games are going to exist less during the playoff, and the team have more offensive is going to get more game like, and, and the past, oh, you don't have that kind of, the defensive zone, you're going to have difficult time. Do you think that P is changing right now? The pivot is going more on offensive, more goal is on the playoff, and not like it was in the past. I think hockey in general is headed that way. It's totally going in the offensive direction. There's no end to butts. It's you look at the way defensemen <laughs> have to play the game now, and you're, you, they're going to do their best to shut things down, but it's not going to be the the old trap system. It, no. They want to see goals. They want to see goals. Right. But that, that's not going to matter in the playoffs. The, the the way that they shut things down now is they skate and they take away time and space. So it's yeah. not going to be, you know, systems like the trap would not work today. There's just too much speed. And that's, some teams yeah. kind of play a modified trap. But in the end, you look, Pittsburgh is the prototype, I think. Where Pittsburgh, you look at them, you go, well, how do these guys win? And they just have a lot of quick, small guys that win the races. And they take yeah. away time and space. They're relentless. And I think that's the difference. Then you look at Tampa. Tampa has won two cups in a row with big, beefy defensemen. Right. And they're not small but, in the forward lines. But remember, though, since they have put in that no cross-checking in front of the net, that's hard for a defenseman to do his job properly. You know? Yeah. It's, that's a real yeah. test. But, you that's know, a real you look test. At, anytime you have a team that has too many small defensemen, they're struggling. Yeah. Oh, definitely. 
you still so need the size it's more box out like you can't use your stick but it's it's more positioning and box out and yeah exactly it's positional look at montreal more. last year montreal went to the final with four beefy defensemen yeah but we we did some pile across <laughs> we were putting the lumber on them <laughs> exactly like you had weber yeah. and sherrod yeah. and but you can't uh, do that now that's what they're trying Edmonton. to eliminate right what was it what was the other defenseman oh petrie so i mean petrie. you know they're all pretty big guys and i so i, I really think that the size and skate you've got to have size and skating and if skating. you have that that gives skating you a big advantage huge. and you obviously yeah. have to have scoring depth right i i just yeah i that's what i see size and skating it's got to go together and that's really what you're going to be counting on so i i mean just to answer your question pierre i, I think it's still going to get tight in the playoffs i do not see fire wagon hockey i think everyone's going to be extra committed to finishing their checks and closing gaps. And I think that's going to make the playoffs not like six, five games. I just don't see that. I hope you're right. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't see that happening. No coach is going to let that coaches want control over the game and that's how they get it. But it's going to depend a lot on the officiating too. They're going to have to back off on some of the calls because if you're going to call everybody <laughs> using the lumber, it's going to be a rough, rough, Rough time on defensemen, man. <laughs> I can't tell what the refs are going to call ever. Oh, they're so unpredictable. It's so unpredictable. <laughs> so yeah. interesting. You think so? Renault thinks that playoff games will be more one-sided blowouts. I cannot see that. You're it's eliminating the lower end teams here. Like you've got the top, lower end team. Yeah, yeah, you're like got top eight teams. Like, look who's in the playoffs. There's really good teams that don't make the playoffs. But I wouldn't be surprised to see this summer, like winter, uh, this playoff right now, like five, six gold by Florida, winning six, four. And yeah, you know, two, and exactly. Exactly. So, like what, what are the matchups first round? Carolina against what? Do they play the last wild card spot? No, it's Florida. Well, so and right now, Florida's number one. Washington. Florida's number one in the Atlantic. And Carolina's number one in the Metropolitan. Yeah. Yeah. So who plays who? Florida play Washington, and yeah. then what, Carolina play Tampa Bay right now. Who plays Boston? Toronto. Toronto. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> they so, don't want I mean, that. <laughs> I don't. I can't see Toronto blowing out Boston. No, 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 no. They got trouble with Boston. Nick. Guys, I forgot until today Nick Foligno was on Boston. I know. I know. It's weird. Yeah, but the oh, only oh. one difference, the one difference Toronto's got going for them, at least they don't have to face Tuco Ras this time. They don't. Right. That could be the difference. Yep. There's no Krejci. There's no Rask. Yeah. Well, have a good night, Luciano. Uh, Greg Falls, the Boston show was pissed off at the Wings kicking them again this season. Only no playoff team has we been had the them this season. Wings have had their number. Weird. It is. But, the, you know, it's going to get worse. <laughs> the better that team yeah. gets, it's going to get worse. <laughs> I, I kind of agree with Nicholas. I mean, you know, when, and if you have a game where everybody can skate, the beef comes into play a little bit. Uh, but I still I said a 3 3 and OT in Florida. Go if you've got a Florida uh, matching up against Washington, that's where I see a problem. I can see. Well, I don't see you know, Washington beating them. Do you? No, no, no. I'm saying Florida. I can see Florida having a two or three goal a night win here and there ahead yeah. of them, right? So five goals, two, right? That type of thing. You know what I mean? Washington's weird. I mean, the Washington yeah. is. But they're, they're falling. They're falling. They're wow. getting old. If this, the playoffs start tonight, guys, Colorado Vegas. That, that would be a, such a tough series. I mean, Colorado doesn't want that. Well, I don't think Ve I mean Vegas's biggest problem is a net, strangely. And the yeah, but if they get, forwards, you know? if they get everybody back, you know, if they can somehow get to the playoffs, yeah, they're they dangerous. Healthy, then Colorado's got problems. Yeah, if Leonard's on his game, they're okay. Greg yeah. said Boston are thirty-nine two. They are 39 and two. Again, the team did not make the playoff. 
And only Detroit beat Boston. Yeah, Detroit's had their number. I don't know. I That's don't know. Crazy. What to tell you. Wait, yeah. so then what's their record versus like playoff teams? At the Albillo. Because that would mean 41 out of 66 games against playoff teams. That seems strange to me. Yeah. yeah it does. That does. That would be interesting to see that. Maybe he's being sarcastic. Uh, we go. <laughs> uh, Vegas asked Colorado, but no, we don't want to play Vegas, probably lose. That's a thing, so I, I don't see that being a blowout. I mean, no, that'll be a dog fight. That one there, that'll be a dog have... fight. But yeah, I do no. think East, if, if they're crazy, <laughs> if they're healthy, Vegas healthy, and now they got Eichel on top, that's a scary thought. I think Eichel's a liability. Hard to say. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's a liability, man. Uh, Michael is the Russell Westbrook of the NHL. It's not true <laughs> because they lost again the Flowers. They lost again the Vancouver Canucks. They lost again the New York Islanders. Yeah, he's being sarcastic. And he lost again Detroit. So, um, yeah. But honestly, they lost Islanders twice. And I'm dogs. Yeah. Dallas, yeah. No, it's not. It's not right. No, he's it's not sarcastic. true. So, all right, so we have maybe the six, seven games only. Pittsburgh, I think the Rangers play. How do you figure this out? I can never figure this out. They usually goes one goes eight, uh, two goes seven, whoever falls in the seventh place, and then it starts closing in in the middle, right? So you, you get a, how do you a more figure out who's one through because you got Metropolitan. There's one through three. Atlantic. There's one through three. But the top team in the East in the East Conference is going to be number one. So that's going to be Florida. So that's Florida, 104 points plus. So they'll be yeah. like one man. They could get 120 points, guys. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Wow. But I know. You know that race, that race isn't over though. That's the scary part of it. Yeah. Well, they're they're <laughs> eight points against Toronto. They're six points ahead of Carolina. I think that might be close to over. I'm going to ask you, do you think swimming for the Calder? Nope. No, I think, what's his name, Cider, Cider or Raymond are, are going to take it. Like, you look at today, Raymond only needs seven more points to get 60 points, and he's got 12, 13 games to do it. And, you know, Cider's kind of, he's been getting points, but not the same rate. Not the same rate, but, man, what a I would like to see them split it, to be honest with you. Like, this would be... If you ever had a year where two guys shared it, that would be... That would like, be ideal. Both have yeah. done amazing. Blow you, blow you away. Ro Roman Yossi had two more points tonight or three? Who? Roman Yossi tonight for Nashville. I know I had two, at least two points. He had a goal and assist last uh, I checked. I don't, it's not over yet, I believe. Let's take a look here. It's 4-2 to two Nashville over Minnesota. So he got the first goal, which is his 19th. Yeah, one point, the last one. And then he had 60, his 65th assist, guys. <laughs> Incredible. He got 84 points. You have one goal to assist. That's crazy. Two assists? <laughs> Wait, where's the second assist? The last one for Thomas Sito. Uh, Damn. Tom. So, yeah, he's got 84 points. Yep. Three-point night. And it's not <laughs> over. <laughs> yeah. Hell, go, yeah. This, do we just not appreciate how good this guy does? Exactly. But I mean, you looked at the beginning of the season, you wouldn't have thought Nashville was that you know that good of a team. No. Nope. So you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have thought it. You would have thought there'd be more trouble, more more work on his shoulders to deal with than anything, right? Damn. Hey, he's phenomenal. He's phenomenal. Yeah, pretty crazy. Don't worry, Greg. Uh, a great fort. It's all good. Uh, Coffee play above average during five on five. Yeah, I mean, I think the coaching change was night and day for him and a few other guys, right? Yeah. I do, too. And he's got a I small think... guy as a coach, like, who's probably totally a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's flying. Yeah, just he's his flying. speed alone, he, he, it's unbelievable, the strides he's taking out there. He just didn't have the confidence to even take his, his strides properly when Ducharme was there. 
No, he was burying him, and who was he playing him with? Exactly. He was all over the place for, what, six or seven minutes? Yeah. (laughs) You know, that's crazy. So tonight, Kaprizov got his 40th goal. Wow. 40 goals, 47 assists, two points tonight so far. I love that guy. So 87 points, and he's still got 10 games to go. (laughs) So he could get 100. (laughs) Man, there's a lot of production going on, man. A lot of high end guys. Do you yeah, think him? Pretty... He could be on. Are you there? <laughs> we got lost. <laughs> Am I back? Are you there? We are back. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so I was saying before, I don't know what happened. Sorry, guys. Um, Matt Zuccarello, 71 points tonight, 21 goals, and 50 assists. Yeah, that's crazy. It's crazy. Like, you know, and I think we were all kind of looking at that contract going, wow, are you guys nuts? <laughs> exactly. And, uh, Gary made the decision to keep it. Really shrewd. You know, where's Eric Stahl? He's not even playing in the NHL. So it's like every move this guy made was like on the money. Genius. Yeah. Kind of crazy. It is. And after that, says Zuccari Louis, very underestimated players. Very underrated. When you watch him, he's so fast. He's so smart. Yeah. And he just meshes like perfectly with Kaprizov. Oh, big time. Yeah. So three to two Dallas right now. They got to hang on to it because they've been the most unpredictable team in that that battle down there. Sagan gets twenty. It gets his. Well, I think the last time we we la- we last well, my question was. OZ has to be seriously considered as the heart. Oh, why wouldn't he be? Yeah. But they, you know, they, they could still miss the playoffs, but I, I kind of think they'll sneak in. I think he's got to be in that discussion. Yeah. Yeah. But usually they give I mean, the one that have the most point. That's it. Who, who's been more valuable, him or McDavid, though? I mean, without him, that team, I don't know. And it's a, it's uh, incredible. Without what him, the team is not make the playoff. That's I agree. No, that's, it. that's it. Uh no, Alexandre Zuccari Lewis still carry on the six point five million dollars from the Rangers, uh Alexandre. No, they, they signed him in Minnesota, didn't they? Um not possible. I mean I'm yeah, wrong. He had a new contract, and that's why I was surprised. It was like Man, this guy's like old, and you signed him to so much. Let's take a look here. No, it's that six million dollars. That's what I said. Yeah, no, he's six, but they didn't sign him in the Rangers. It was a contract he signed with Minnesota, I think. Yeah, he signed it with Minnesota. So if you look at the, again, this is another one of those that's structured interestingly. He had it's heavy in signing bonuses. This year, though, no signing bonus. He gets seven and a half million bucks. Wow. Next year, he gets $3 million signing bonus and 4.5 million salary. The year after, $2 million and $3 million salary. But it, to your point, Frenchie, it averages out to six. But he signed five years, $30 million with them. Yeah, but he's still old. Paul Fenton signed him. Yeah, Paul Fenton did it. Yeah. Wow. And Paul, did Paul Fenton bring in Kaprizov? Or was that Garen? It was Garen, I believe. It was the Garen. last year be, before he moved. He got there the first year. But And Fenton made the trade to get Fiala. Yeah. Too bad but when he's going to be the out, he's going to be... Um, <laughs> Nobody liked the guy, but he made... He's going to be 36 team. years old, Zuccaro. Wow, that's so crazy. Well, he's working he, for it, though, isn't he? Andrew Hill said, do you believe um, Shostakin in, in the race now? For MVP? Yeah. No, I think yeah, but I think la- I, the last two weeks, he struggled a lot. He, yeah, he had yeah, three I, games, I, he got I removed. Yeah, I think it's still, you know, you're looking at McDavid, Dreisaitl. Uh, I, yeah, it's tough. Uh, I, I tend to think you'll get the nor- the Vesna. Yes, exactly. Who else would get the Vesna? Do you think? Well, you'd have to consider. I would assume 
um, uh, Marstrom. Marstrom Anderson. Anderson. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, who else is there? Vaskoleski hasn't had a good year. Not really. I mean, Freddie Anderson is number one in goals against, and I think number one in save percentage. Yeah. You know, that he says is the first time we have a lot of, you know, race people in the race right now. It's good for hockey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. crazy. I mean, you're going to have a battle for that lower end of the West, right to the bitter end. And the positioning of the East upper end is going to be interesting. Yeah, it's crazy, guys. Well, we still have a lot of people on. Yeah. I mean, we know the East is pretty much the side. You know, the eight teams, we know the eight teams. That's that's the one thing on that side. Guess what you get when I was just again get the, the, the Wiesner. That's yeah. you should get the, the Rocket Richard. Yeah. Um, so after that, that's it, why uh, Roman knows Ozzy should get a Norris. Definitely. So Jack Adams, who's your vote for Jack Adams? I like Sutter. <laughs> Crazy, right? Yeah, I do. Dean Evison. Who, who would have thought, though? I mean, my God. You know, before he took over the helm of that team, they did not look good. <laughs> well, I mean, Pierre knows. I was, you know, I was like, oh, my God. Like, he's doing the same stuff on the power play. They're going to play slow. But they haven't. You know, they've played no. a much quicker game. They've they've changed things up a little bit. So a lot of credit to him. You know, I don't know. Now, I don't. Be, this is just my thought. I mean, I think they've improved drastically, and I think he deserved the, the reward for the for, for that. But I still think with, uh, you know, like Colorado, Minnesota, I think as the speed gets going, they're going to have problems with it. Uh, but you can, why, we have a storm in Florida. That's why we are um, struggle. Oh, for the internet. Oh. So that's why. Um, I have so much trouble with the Selkie. We were talking about this the other night. It's so weird. Oh, I yeah. I, I'd still go with Bergeron or, or Barkov. I think so, too. Yeah, That's where I look. One of those two. Right. I think Sada is going to get Adams. Of I course, hope so. I think you know, like Evanson and maybe um, Colonel could be a couple of picks over there. But uh, I think look, look at look at the Rangers' record with Gerard Gallant. Like exactly. And uh, Selkie. Selkie, we said Bergeron or Bergeron, Barkov. Dano, and Barkov. I would think. Yeah, I still think those two are just a bit higher than Dano. He's had a phenomenal season, but I, he I has. think it's he's been more more in the producing department than you know, which is nice for him. He yeah. deserves it. He deserves yeah. it. Uh, by the way, what young gun under twenty two remind you the most of Marchand, Huberdeau, Barca, and Patrick Kane? Well, I mean, Jack Hughes is the prototype Patrick Kane to me. Yeah. The first one came on my eyes. It was it was Jack Jack Hughes. Yeah, and then Barkov. He's. I don't Sebastian know. always what twenty four. Uh, yeah, probably about that. That sounds right. But so there, like, there's not much age difference between them, is there? Yeah. You're right. But how well, is but yeah, three three years, I believe. I mean if, if Kirby Doc had the production, then I would say that he physically and the way he plays would remind me of Barkov, but he's not at that level that you know, like he's No. No. I, I don't I think, think we have have a player on that young side coming up yet that we've spotted, you know what I'm saying? That's the difference uh, and to look like a bark off. I don't think we have that guy yet. I can't think of who on the 22 and a half. Yeah. If, I don't see like, it. Not yet. On, you would think that, you know, Byfield you would hope would be there, but he's not. I mean, no, it's just not, he's no. just not there. I think we all thought he would be, but he's not. <laughs> I didn't. I thought he was, 
if you look at him, he's so raw. Oh yeah, looking at him, but just the pump up of the way he was rated coming in, right? He was I, so they had him so pumped up. I was very surprised he still went as high as he did. I think a lot of people were saying Stutzley was, you know, quietly the scouts were all saying Stutzley's the best player in the draft, and I was, you know, I think the question marks about Raymond were because of the World Juniors, but oh man, I mean, he's so good. You know, he look what he Is did he at pro and. He's phenomenal. He's the real deal. He's so phenomenal. You give him a couple more years under his belt, I can't even imagine what he's going to be turned into. He's so slick, and he shoots the puck so well, and he's so smart. And... Yeah. So that, what, what was the other player, Pierre? What? It was Barkov, Barkov Kane. What was the other one? Uh, Kane, Huberdeau. Huberdeau. Um... I mean, you would hope Lafreniere would, because it took Huberto quite a while to really Yeah, he's not there. Now. Well, but Huberto wasn't really there either if you look at his first three years. Yeah, but I don't see Lafreniere in that moment. No, I don't yeah. see that either. What was, um, I mean, Lafreniere is probably going to get, what, 20 goals? No, he's only at 14 right now. Is that 15 goals? 15 now. really hard to say if he's going to get the 20. It's just so the pace he's been scoring, right? So you look at Huberto's first year, what did he have? 14 goals. And he had nine goals. Right now we see goals. Jason Robinson. <laughs> well, Robertson's another level, man. But I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I think Huberto's <laughs> first. What? Like, look, look at, look at, look I think at Robertson's first. Higher. He's another level. He's no, like, but so just come at, in. Uh, he looked like Huberto in my eyes. Sure, but I think if you look at Huberto's first three years, he had 14 goals, 9 goals, and 15 goals. That's wow. And then he, so, like, we, we know what he is now. And then he had 10 goals in 30 games. So it really wasn't until his fifth year, sixth year. One, two, three. Four years, he had 20 goals in his fourth year. Then he dropped down to 10 because he was injured. Then he came back, got 27. So it took him a while to ramp up. Uh, welcome, Salah. Uh, question for uh, what's what's wrong with Carolina? But Luke, Lafreniere's got like 15 goals and 10 assists. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, you're right, point-wise. Yeah. I mean, he's not that far off. Yeah, there's something there. I don't know. But I don't think he, he I don't know. There's just a difference in his style. He, maybe. I don't know. Just the style. They're both, they're both wingers. I think they both have the ability to shoot. I feel Lafreniere, I thought coming in, was like Luke. I thought he was more of a playmaker, but he's not been that. He's been a shooter. Yeah. And I don't I don't know why that is. But Five Robertson, to Nashville and not that said. Robertson, he's going to be something, too. Robertson's got 31 goals, doesn't he? He's phenomenal. I believe he does. I believe he's up at 30. Yeah, that was. Uh, and you know, you you, you can't you can't. Uh, Zegers and uh, Terry, they look pretty good. Yeah, Zegers is so talented. Uh, I can't say the Brinkat would get 50 goals. I don't think so. Why? Who? He's already, the Brinkat's already got 40. Yeah, but only yeah, like he, 10 he games. He still could do it, though. I don't see he will have enough game to make 50 goals. He's got 39 goals, so he didn't need 11 goals. It's almost one goal per game for the rest of the year. Do well, it. if he can rack up three or four <laughs> goals against a couple of the weaker teams. <laughs> I, that, that'll be something to keep an eye on. Like, I, it's, you know, the odds are against him, but. Yeah, very much. Yeah. You got to look he's at their got, schedule. Who are they playing? Right. So he's got, got 12 25. games left, right? Is that what they have? Somewhere in that ballpark, have, yeah. So I think they have 12 games and he needs 10 goals, 11 goals. It's possible, but he'd have to be playing a lot of the weaker clubs. Some, something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that, would, that would be a great story for him. It would. <laughs> Thank you, Salah. Another problem. Um, 
I fixed it, but Boston is 35, 5 and 1. Again, the team not in the playoff. I was wrong to make sure I correctly. It makes sense. Great. Hey, great. It makes more sense to me. Uh, Renault said, Josh, what a new Pat Patrick Kane. Who is? Joshua Roy. Joshua Roy, the new Patrick Kane. Not a chance. <laughs> no. I like the kid. I don't think he's going to be a Patrick so the, Kane. Is he, is he rookie of the year? Because that's what Patrick Kane was. <laughs> Kiru is the yeah. best. Kiru is, I don't, you know, like, at some point you've got to say, like, this guy is, he's going to lead his team in scoring. Yeah. 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 He is. And he, I, I, I don't know, know who, to, who do you compare him to? Come out of nowhere. He's maybe I mean, one of the fastest players right now in the NHL. Yeah. No, but he can fly. Someone's knocking. Cedric Paul. Uh, salut, Cedric. Uh, and after that, uh, Tresala is not played tonight. Uh, wow, that sucks. Wow. That one was a shocker for me. Uh, what is it? It's a great mind, like I like. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, so it's okay. What's your thought on the end of the Arizona visit and I'm game? Anybody would think about what happening to Troy Terry one? Um, oh, oh, that, there. that, that was wasn't pretty. I don't understand for me with that. I mean, it's part of the game. We know that. But my problem with it is if he had a problem with Zegris, why didn't he take it up with Zegris? You know, why did he go after Terry? I, I still don't. I, I'm still beside myself. And, and, you know, pick somebody a little bigger on the team if you want to send a point, you know, somebody yeah. a little more in that role. Yeah, it was stupid. Yeah, really dumb. Did you see the Zegers interview? No, I didn't catch that, actually. So again? Zegers' the, interview, the, I didn't catch it. Yeah, I look for the trade. Tra tra he was saying, was he basically, he goes, he was mad. He was like, well, you know, I took one shot. I took two shots. I took three shots. And then he went after Troy. I think that guy's got to be embarrassed. And then, you know, someone's got to do something about it. He goes, I think it's a bunch of bullshit. That's what he said. <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> They're like, oh, <laughs> yeah. I I just didn't like, like I say. I mean, at least have some class. Go after somebody yeah. who can handle a fight. You know, have some class about it. Yeah. Neither one. Neither one of those guys is very big. And... No, but it's still, I I you know, at least go after the guy you should have went after. But you yep. know, if you're gonna fight someone, take somebody a totally different anyway. Somebody can handle it. I think um, Cam Fowler was trying to get in there, but even him, he's not like a big fighter. He's bigger, but but he would have handled it a lot better. He would have yeah. handled it a lot better. I mean, Jamie Drysdale, twenty-eight points this year. Wow, nineteen <laughs> years old, guys. See what I mean? These guys are coming out of the woodwork like it's crazy. So much talent. Yeah, you know, there's tons of it now in the league. There's so much. It's crazy. <laughs> Well, you know, the guy we don't talk about that's not there yet that'll come back is Mason McTavish. Yep. So he he's, uh, you know, he's tearing up the OHL. He's got 40 points in 25 games. <laughs> he's going to be something else. He's going to be so good. He's just, he's yeah. got the talent, but he's also mean. He's got some grit. I love those type of guys. <laughs> you know, it's hard <laughs> to find him now. Like, you don't oh, get him. You're right. Yeah. Would be interesting what happened. Um, wait, wait till they get Zellweger. You're gonna love Zellweger. Zellweger's gonna be the NHL before you know it. He's too smart. So what do you He's think? So what happened talented. with Johnny Goodrow, number four right now in the scoring, and uh, he is a UFA? They're gonna pay him whatever he wants. They're talking. Sure, they are. Yep. It's he's staying in Calgary. I don't think he's going anywhere. No. No, but he would be at UFA, right? Is he UFA after this year? No, right now. Next, next, right now. He's UFA now? Yeah. And you have to pay but I still say, up. I still say, I, uh, yeah, Kachuk. 
<laughs> oh, that could get tricky. Well, I don't ask you, Michael, the only time you think about this, what's going on? Any update on glass, Cody Glass? Oblivion. It's just, it seems like he's a bust. He ha he's like point a game in the AHL. You know, I just remember our guys were saying, you know, like we, one of our scouts had, had was, uh, had him also when he was young and at a hockey school. And I guess he's got a, you know, a real rich family and he's a kind of a pampered kid and he's very soft. And he doesn't really fit in with the guys around him. So I don't, I don't know. He's so talented. He has great hands. He's got a big body. He's not going to play a big physical style, but he protects the pocket. He's deadly on the power play, but just doesn't. Well, Monaghan, as we saw, is hurt. So, again, that's the hip that's never recovered from 2018. And it's not good. That's not a good time for his future either. No, he's been struggling. So that's that's why yeah. it's not like he's not trying. So I don't I don't know how you unload that contract. Does he have no, two years left? Six point five for two more though, right? Is this year? Yeah, pretty positive. Yeah, pretty positive. Yeah. It might be, yeah, he might be, you know, on long term. Bummer. There's no doubt. I, I don't know. I just, don't, when it comes to the hits, it's long for those guys. Look at what they said that uh, Goodrow a tail flame for life. I wonder, you should know, be. like, is, is Johnny a Boston be. guy? Who? Johnny Goodrow, is he from Boston? Yeah, he played Boston College too. I don't see Boston making a big splash with him. Like, I don't think that's a fit, but. Calgary, I have an eight UFA, a, a three RFA. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> wow. Ooh. That's not a good situation. <laughs> wow, that is wild. And the salary cap is full. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Something so you know Kachuk, Kachuk's going to be the main guy first. Kachuk is RFA and Goodrow is UFA. The rest yeah, are not very important. You know what I mean? Like, it's just the bottom of the bottom, so you don't have to worry. Uh, then you have Zatorav. And what about Manifest Energy? Isn't, he, isn't his contract coming up too? Yep, he's RFA. Yeah. And, Gal and Kellington is F RFA. I don't know. They, they, I'm just looking at the numbers, and I think I love that little man of Panangi. Man, that guy. Yeah, he's a, Mangiapane's really good, man. He's yeah. Thank you. <laughs> he's only two point four mil, but I think if you look at their structure, it's pretty good. Like, you know, Kachuk is top right now at seven million. That's their top paid player, and he's RFA. Yeah. Goudreau is six point seven. He's UFA. So, you know, he's going to get ten. I would think he's going to get 10 somewhere. Somewhere. I mean, like you said, it's starting to look like maybe they won't be able to hang on to him. If you're nah, Goudreau, do you not. sign like, do you, do you sign nine to stay in Calgary? Exactly. Exactly. Well, you know, there's, there's players that have done it. Like that's what I respect about the Bruins so much is a lot of those guys could have had crazy contracts, but they more so wanted to win a cup. So they're willing they, to sacrifice a bit of it. It's been 10 now. years, you know. They haven't won a cup. Um, yeah, but you know what I mean, when they did, yeah, right? They tried they, to stay together. So yeah. Michael Backlund, between Michael Backlund and Milan Lucic, you have $10.6 million tied up. Jeez. Yeah. So you, you probably got to look there to address it. Because after that, you know, Coleman's 4.9. And he's I'm signed sorry. for a while. I'm a big fan of Lucic, but his best days are behind him. Yeah, like way behind, but he's got a bunch of no movement stuff in it, so that's probably. Kind of, but I think he, I think he would waive it. Elias Lindholm is the biggest deal. He's four point eight million for two more years after this. Yeah, uh, Goodrow is from New Jersey. He grew with the uh, Philadelphia oh, Flowers, Jersey. Little Flowers, and then he went to uh, Dubuque, then Boston College, three years over there. Uh, before he become the Calgary Flame. And uh, welcome, Nat. Nat, she was at the game tonight at the Montreal Canadiens, so welcome back. Uh, and uh, Nashville won 6-2 tonight. Um, what happened to Minnesota tonight? Man. Rose Yossi. 
Yeah, exactly. Roman but Gracie. I, I would have expected that to be a dog fight that game. Uh, oh, yeah. j'avais oublié. Uh, no, my um, Montreal mile, uh, Montreal. The the worst case they can go is about like uh, round uh, maybe the top three. That's it. They don't going to go farther about that Montreal. Yeah. So Hopefully this, Natalie this, have a good time over there. Nashville was most de desperate. Yeah, that's a big W for Nashville now. Honestly, yeah, at yeah, stand the yeah. race and uh, you know separate themselves uh, for Detroit, sure because right Dunham now Dallas winning three two. Sorry, Dallas. Sorry, Dallas. Sorry, what were you saying? Dallas game. Anybody know the results? Three two. Still playing? Three two. Yeah. yeah. Four, four minutes left. Yeah. Ooh. That's going to be a big one for them. So, all right. So let's see. Six. Wow. Colorado six four over Pittsburgh again. Is Only eighteen shot Islanders, by the way. Wow. Yeah, they're they they don't get a lot of shots. They're weird that way. Dan said he cannot believe the leave last tonight. Oh, I can. <laughs> But I picked them to win. <laughs> I didn't believe it. Me, uh, like a five-one, I thought it was it was over. That's the yes. thing, though. I mean, between their goaltending and I still say yes, they showed their defense a little bit, but not enough. Good not night, enough. Not. So crazy. Wow, yeah. this Justin Danforth guy has eight goals on for the. Why do I know that name? That's weird. Um, yeah, so okay, so let's say Goudreau doesn't go to Calgary. Who are the candidates? Like, I can't see him wanting to go to Philadelphia. Look like it's Kadri is going to Philadelphia. The Flowers. Oh well, that's that's not going to help anyone. That's what they they're looking for. The rumor said the Flyers want to get Gadry. Wasn't sense. there a point when Ottawa was interested in Goodrum? I think Ottawa is going to get Giroux. That would make sense because he's he's from um, just outside of Ottawa. He, yeah. What's the team that uh, Bob Hartley owns? Um, Asbury, no, Oxbury, Close yeah. sir. There we go. A long time did not show up. Them, you know, show up. Hawksbury, yeah, Hawksbury, you're right. Hawksbury Hawks, and that's where Jujuru is from. I mean, that there's so much uncertainty in Ottawa. No, you know, it, maybe if Justin Bieber buys it. <laughs> don't be so, don't know. be shocked. You never know. Well, I could see him part of an ownership group. I don't. I don't yeah, think, exactly. He's not going to buy it out himself. There's no doubt. Yeah. It'll, if he does, it's going to be with a group. Yeah. Yeah. If he's there, then you. you know that might attract a guy like that. But you know, Giroux. I'm trying to think what I mean. Really, what do they need more than anything? Do we believe in their goaltending? I'm not sure if I believe in their goaltending. But in right. Ottawa. In Ottawa. I think. I think. Oh yeah, Forsberg and yeah. Zogar yeah, will be fine. He's going to be all right. He's and then be all right. Gustafson. So maybe. Not so much. Gustafson, not so much. Me, but the points are starting to get. Are you worried about Lafreniere? Nicholas, he said he's surprised. He I think he's just a slow starter. He just needs Give time. Give him a couple of years. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I think he, too. He, he came in over COVID. You know, I think if you go back in that draft, he probably goes fourth. Uh, some of these kids need a little more time anyway. You know, give them the time. You know, it's, was it, it's all was he, was he hurt at one point? He did have an injury at one point. Because in the World Juniors, he missed games because he was injured, didn't he? Or is that because of a suspension? I don't know about the World, world Juniors. I can't remember. Like his draft year, I know he missed games in the World Juniors. Yeah. And I couldn't remember if that was injury or if it was a suspension. It was one of the two. I think he's going to be fine, guys. I think he's just... I he's do, too. Be, he'll be a quality NHL. He's not a franchise player, but... Yeah. I Maybe. mean, I, I definitely definitely think that, you know, yes, they over-pumped him, 
but he's still going to be a hell of a hockey player when when he gets there. You know, just you not, not going to be a superstar. And he's only getting third line minutes. I mean, it's not like they're trying to play him in top line exactly. situations. So. And there's nothing wrong with that if they if they want to groom him slowly. You know, there's so many great players ahead of him. Yeah, exactly. That's empty a good net Flanders. Empty net? Oh, so it's gonna be four two. No, but empty net like the end. In <laughs> they remove the gold ender. Yeah, oh. so it'll be four two. What about Nicholas? What do you thought on Capo Caco compared to Lafreniere? The potential. He's such a weird player. It's he is odd. Sometimes you look at him, you think, you know, he's just going to be a real good power forward that's going to get a point, you know, 60, 70 points. And maybe he'll end up being that. And then he disappears. And then he disappears. Yeah. yeah. So it's hard to say. <laughs> Why could I, I can't put my finger on him. Why could he back a uh, goody duck? He does not do well. Kirby Doc? Yeah. Kirby Doc's going to be fine. But why he struggle? I mean, Do you believe that he's still hurt with a wrist? I don't. I don't know the answer to that. I can find out. Um, I think he's a real. He's he's a pretty serious kid. He's big and he's got lots of talent. I just think he's. You know, when you get a guy six four. It, it'll take him a little longer to put that together. And, but he's, a, you know, it's really hard as we talked about, like to have a guy that big with that much skill and put it all together. It just takes a little time. I was surprised he made the NHL when he did because Saskatoon like had our co our former coach, Mitch Love was there and they thought they were getting him back and then he stuck. So he hasn't really had full development. He had the injury with the wrist is not great. I just think he needs time. Best cams, guys. Hot, fun girls. Boys video chat. Yeah. We got bots in this chat. <laughs> um, <laughs> What the hell? Bots. <laughs> I think the shock, uh, I think the shock have the worst Bill Ross, the Bill Roster looking forward. Well, they might now give them some time, you know. <laughs> You know, like the, it looked like they were gonna rip it up and make the playoffs at the beginning, and then they just fell off a cliff. You know, they were getting really good goaltending. Um, you know, do you see Aiden Hill as a number one? Do you see James Reimer as a number one? I don't think that's no. a given by any means. James Reimer's definitely not, and Aiden Hill, I'd be surprised. Uh, they have a really, 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 really good young player named Eklund that'll be in the lineup. I bet you next year. They'll have another top pick. They kept That's Meyer. They, they kept Hurdle, right? So Meyer and Hurdle are the engine there. And yeah. Healthy. Build around them. Coach, you're at a pretty good year. But, you know, the defense is the problem. You've got three geriatric. How much longer, over, how much longer does Carlson have on that contract? A lot. Like eight years. Like That is long. That is long. Oh, they did Let's take a look, because uh, isn't it like eight years he's got left? Welcome, Man. Terry to this. Terry T, welcome back. Thank you, Salah. Jesus Christ. So it was an eight-year contract. He's in the third year. He made $14.5 million this year, guys. He'll make $12 million next year. Wow. So it, like it averages it out to eleven five, but he made $14.5, 12 14.5, 12 That's brutal. So next year he'll get twelve million bucks. Oh my God! So they wonder why they're they've sunk. So he's played. He played forty five games this year and thirty three points. So that's pretty good. It's not he's bad, career, really, but but he's a career. You know, he's a career minus player. He's a minus eleven yeah. this year in forty five games. So he still missed nineteen games. Do you believe Lafreniere would be better to Kako? Kako would be better to Lafreniere. I kind of think Lafreniere. Yeah, just a slight edge. Because you, know, you can't weird. get a, 
you can't get a bead on Kako, and so, and I don't think you know. I agree. Uh, Lafreniere is going to be uh, an elite, elite player, but he's going to be a good player. But I think he'll be a little bit better. You know, you wonder if you had those two guys in a Montreal or, or uh, Ottawa where they're going to play, not Montreal, but let's say Ottawa, where they're playing like Stutzley and Kachuk did, do they develop faster? Exactly. And they've just been Probably buried in the third was. line forever. Like, you can't keep those guys in the third line. No. No, there's that's the problem. Unfortunately. I mean, we, we made the same mistakes, you know, ha- holding kids back, having this – you know, ancient team, <laughs> you know, for so long. And now we look at all, look at all the, the way they're prospering. Yeah. They're going to go through hard times, but we got some good talent there coming up. It's, it's really showing now that they're playing, you know, yep. Yep. getting the ice. Nick, let's ask you this question about Arizona. It's so wacky guys. Like, so, you know, here's the situation. We've talked about this before, Nicholas, One, they have done a very good job in the community. Like the Junior Coyotes program has, you know, a real great grassroots program. We've drafted guys from that tier one program. They've got a house and a double A program. There's a lot of ex-players that stay there. They just, you know, the arena in Glendale is on the op, the wrong side of the tracks. Like it should be in Scottsdale. And if it's in Scottsdale, they probably sell out. Now, wow. it's not a guarantee because they haven't. But you look at Arizona State. Arizona State's been an NCAA team for, what, three years? And they made the frozen, you know, final 64, like the 64 team or 68 team tournament their first year. And they're attracting a lot of players. So they're signing players. They're eventually going to be a real, real competitive program. So that's the first kind of West Coast NCAA foray. And you could yeah. see it leading to, hey, like, well, why don't we have teams in Alaska, Seattle, Portland and, you know, the California, USC and UCLA. But that, right. that's the first one. So they, right now, Arizona is kind of ahead of those markets just in that sense as a hockey destination. So I think, you know, the problem, of course, is it's not quick or easy to build a building and they don't have a deal in place. So they're probably doing the right thing fan wise, because if you're an Arizona State fan, you're going to be a Phoenix Coyotes fan or an Arizona Coyotes fan. Um, you've got to believe at some point they get an arena done. And if they yeah. don't, then they're going to move. They can't, you know, one year and done. Yeah. Yeah. Can you build an arena in one year? Like, doesn't look promising. If you do the, 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 the draft pick, promising. <laughs> if you do the draft pick 2018, Dallin, Shandikov, Kokanemi, Katshuk, and the rest. Do you take Katschuk before Chemnikov with Dallin, or you keep uh, you keep Dallin Chemnikov, and then you pick Katschuk? My, if it were me, I would have picked Kachuk in a heartbeat. Yeah, obviously ahead of Kokanemi, and I think I said that at the time. I mean, yeah. listen, Svechnikov is legit. I yeah, mean, if you I like still, Kachuk, yeah. you like Svechnikov. They're the same player. Like that. Yeah, and yeah. Dallin. I mean, he's. He's It's funny, uh, check this, Michael. Uh, Chelnikov played 271 game, 86 goal. Wow. Katschuk, 263 game, 83 goal. Same player, man. They're both 6'3". And They're they have only like 25 three. point more uh, Chelnikov and a, yeah. a, a point, but he played with Carolina and the you know, one played with them. Um, so that's pretty much similar, both of them. Yeah. Um, Uh, Nicholas, no, Arizona have no money there, uh, no TV contract over there. Uh, th- Terry said, hey, guys, I believe Alex Tuck and Buffalo is a fan for it, but not superstar. Does Buffalo have a superstar com- coming up? Well, so just to go back, though, Pierre, the, it's not entirely true because what happens is the reason the NHL doesn't want them to leave Arizona is because it is a top 10 TV market. So the money that they get for the NHL overall package needs arizona in it and that's why yeah they yeah, yeah. To be, but they don't have like team. a big t- uh big tv not local not local that's what i was well that's why he's talking I, i don't know that's a really good question like i don't i think arizona is in tough you know arizona i uh, look at the return ottawa got for trading carlson to san jose it's unreal unreal yeah 
Definitely. Absolutely unreal. Josh Norris. Did, but, is but part of that? Back, back again for 2018, the most, the one made the most both. money is Coke Enemy. <laughs> <laughs> That's such bull. It's such nonsense. I mean, the guy. So uh, top sorry. six TV market. So Intertap saying it's the top six TV market. So there's there's no way they're ever going to leave Arizona. That that team, it would make sense for all the other NHL teams to subsidize them. And that's probably the way it's going to go. No, it's a it's a yeah. ticket to lose thirty million bucks a year. I mean, they've had so many owners because you're writing a check every year. It, is it number twenty or is it thirty? Well, back again to um, Buffalo. I wish they had support. <laughs> Who do you expect a guy in Buffalo to become a superstar? I like that uh, that Tage Tom Thompson there, and I like uh, Cribs. I think still Billy Dallin and Owen Power were now is going to be the best. Uh, I was yeah, going to say the two defensemen are the power. best stars. Owen Power and Dallin are the guys, for yeah. sure. I mean, Tage has Tage has reached the potential. Good. Pierre knows. I've been saying to Pierre for a long time, and he's like, "Ah, come on." I'm like, "No, Tage Thompson, he can score." But yes. I, yeah. So, but he, you know, he's, he, she struggled. Here's another guy. This guy's six foot seven. Yeah. He's a six foot seven forward. And it took him a long time. He had injuries. He wasn't, you know, and then pop, you know, so that's, that's what you can get with a big guy. And then suddenly you got a monster on your hands. He's util utilizing his size. Well, that's what I see. He's, 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 he's a little bit so like, um, yeah, he does. Troy Terry. That's, not about size, but about yeah. the result. But, boom. Terry got 24, 25, about that. Uh, San Jose is once are over in Montana. Uh, Todd grabs Dallin, Power, Thompson, Carson is another one over there. They're a good looking team. Great, I, I, man. I, there's nothing wrong with that team. <laughs> you know what I mean? Give them time. They're, the they're that would be the one really they need to get something there. Yes. Oh, big time. But boy, they're going to be dangerous themselves. Give them time. I like, I like the Finnish kid, and I think the other kid could be a backup. And uh, Levi just returned for one more year with North Northeastern. Devin Levi is going back next year. No, he's going to be back again at college one more year. He will, eh? Yeah, he decided to go that way over there. That's probably the right choice. So, what do you do with Dustin Wolf? <laughs> whatever he wants no but we do category listen dustin wolf will force the issue when dustin wolf gets a sniff he's the type of goalie where there'll be no looking back like you won't be able to keep him out because he'll just do something so dramatic that it's like well when's the guy gonna let in the puck you know he might he might struggle a little bit at the beginning but I don't know. He's just a, such an unusual person. Like I, so, you know, when, when, when I talk about Ryan O'Reilly, I talk about what I learned from Ryan O'Reilly, which is well, you well. thought this was the level. And Ryan said, no, 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 this is the level. And then I'm going to reach this level and then this level and then this level and then this level. And he, you know, he physically preparation, nutrition, set all the records of the combine. That's Dustin. Wolf. That. D Dustin wow. Wolf is the exact same type of person where really? you look at him. Yeah. You, you, you'll never see a more focused, intense. He's realistic, but still pushes himself to be better. And he's always, always, always working on his game. Oh, yeah. He's got that mind, but he's going to be fine. <laughs> that, that's why <laughs> no, I, no worries like, <laughs> when you look at what he's done in the AHL this year, it's phenomenal. Oh yeah. You have a great win. Everybody's agreeing in the chat. Uh, the management in Buffalo is a problem. <laughs> oh, yeah. Know, Kevin, Kevin Adams has done a real good job. Well, I mean, of late. He make an up and down, I think. He's only a year in. The this only thing he got year. a problem there go. is really the trade for something. So give him a chance. So it's definitely so, prior management. Prior management. Which trade? Sam Bennett. Uh, Sam Renard. Sorry. So who did they get back for Reinhardt? Nothing. The first really, one right? pick. And they buy. Yeah. And he's got like 60 points or something. 
uh, in our time said the ownership yeah yeah ownership and prior management because i do agree with michael this guy who just only been there a year can't really knock him you know he hasn't been there long enough to knock and i can believe no uh, they are like not getting good. In there, to me that uh, that was a great to unload eichel what a great player to get back and talk because that and is a crabs. great leader. Yeah, exactly. Two great players in that deal. Like great trade. Yeah, I think they'll really, I think uh, Vegas will really regret not keeping Peyton. I agree. I think they're going to miss Tuck too. Oh yeah. Well, he's already outscored Eichel, hasn't he? He's kind of tailed off a little bit, but a little bit. But still, he's uh, he, he he was such a he really just kept the. Uh, between him and Stone, they really kept Vegas going. You know, they just seem to be the spark plugs over there. Well, we actually, you know, we got to give a lot of credit still. I really love the coach. Like, I think that. Uh, down, uh, Kimberly, no, uh, they are not related to Mac Andre Fleury. Uh, is there anybody more focused at Price? Just wondering. It's scary to me how he lifts up himself and the team. Well, I mean, if you look at. Honestly, like this is why you know I think we knowing Carter Hart are all surprised because he was always that way, and I don't. He made some strange moves before the beginning of last year, where he like separated himself from his mental training coach that he had since he was fourteen. And he, he you know he kind of broke up with a bunch of people. It was really odd. Wow. So, you know, there's something out of character there, but in the end, like he was always that type of guy and. Dustin Wolf is, he's not, uh, how do I put it? He's super intense, man. Like, he's, like, he's dialed in. Wow. If, if you know, I, I, like, I love Dusty. His parents are intense. I had to stop sitting with him at the draft because he went, <laughs> I came back and our GM was like, how'd it go? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I can't do this. <laughs> because <laughs> they you know they're just like they're into it too right they're really intense and he went fourth yep. last wow there were calgary crowd and there was four picks left and he was like fourth last wow and, and, the, and the whole time i'm telling you what dustin was thinking and saying was i'm gonna make them all eat that that's what dustin was saying wow he's that's like i'm crazy. better than all, he, he said i'm better than all those goalies including spencer and that's that's what that's the way Dustin Wolf thinks. Man. <laughs> and then he goes and does it. So that I think he you know, he's not six four, six five, but I don't I just don't know if it'll matter with him. No, it's uh, a lot of time it's a mindset. Uh, Steve now Buffalo I'll go to Steve and Buffalo uh, Steve. Just try to answer the question. Frank Zalazar back from the uh, for the game for the Panthers. Uh, don't want I don't want anything to do with the leave and the playoff. They're good, really damn good. If they can figure out how they hold a lead, they are uh, on <laughs> uh, they, they are good, Frank. Uh, they have the offensive, oh, yeah. they can they're, score. They're okay. excellent offensively, and they just give them two weeks longer and they'll join Montreal on the golf course. Pretty much. That's all. <laughs> and our tab said, that, what are you thought, Michael, about uh, Yaroslav uh, Askarov? He has all the gifts in the world and he's totally erratic. He's very undisciplined. He is, he is like an artist in the net and you can't have that. Like you need a tactician, right? He needs to be quieter in the net. Like he's making nightmares for himself in the net. Like that's what we've seen twice now in the world junior. And he's big, he's athletic. He could, he could be one of the greats, but, you know, I just, I don't know. Maybe that's what he needs time to do. And they're trying to get him, you know, Nabokov, I think, was working with him. And he's trying okay. to like, get him wow. to calm down. And he doesn't, you know, he doesn't take direction very well. Because he gets away with it in the KHL. I have an answer for Nicholas. He asked this question like one hour and a half ago. <laughs> I just remember he put this like 90 minutes ago, but... Uh, um, Yes, and Nicholas uh, Edmonton uh, uh, skip to get Wildstead uh, and, and join the draft last season. So uh, ridiculous! Um, it was not Wildstead. Uh, it was yes, it was Wildstead. Yeah, 
they yeah, tried, well said. Like, they tried to give to Minnesota that opportunity to return that. So, so I mean, I I think that in my mind, Wallstead is is leapfrogged Yaskarov as the best goaltender outside the NHL, like the best prospect. Like he's he's what you want. Like he's very calm in the net. He's technically sound. He's athletic and he's big. Yeah. yeah. Do you consider uh, enough that? Uh, just again, the same way like yes, uh, Askarov. Mm, Not me. I don't think so. I think I think Shesterkin is a game stealer, and he's technically sound. And, he, and he's in the you know he controls rebounds, handles the puck well. Like he's a big goalie still, but he's like Yaskarov is his sticks over here, and he's flopping around. He's you're like, what are you doing, man? Like, relax. Like, you're big. Like, you're a, a little bit atmosphere. more like Mike Smith. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. He likes to play the puck behind the net. He's running after everything. It's crazy. Like a, you know, he could be like a chicken with no head or a rabbit running after the carrots was the puck is. Great, great comparison. Yep. You hit it. Uh, Terry said, I know I said this before, I really like Kekkonen and San Jose, but I'm wondering how long would that team will take for him to be a winning goalie? If you, I mean, for me, he was great in the AHL. His numbers have been really good, but we know game in, game out, he's had some problems. But, you know, he's still a 917 save percentage or something stupid like that. Like, when you look at the numbers, you're like, oh, okay. But when you watch him game in and game out, you're like, he gives you a little bit of heart attack, right? Like he lets him dunk. And that and that that kind of steals the wind out of your sails. So he's got all the tools to be a number one, but he's got to put it together. I, I think it's mental at this point. Yeah. He could go either way, right? Like you don't know. Uh, you know, I, I tried to uh, ask her this question, but I, you know, three team. I know already too, but three teams are not on no destination or no, no place to go. Like they don't have no nothing in front of them. Which team do you think came you know? Three teams really like they all in the bad situation and all. They all like it's not looking good. San Jose. Uh, I have the flowers with them. Yeah, yeah. The flowers are a mess. Like why are you know? It's crazy. Yeah. And, you know, it depends on how you look at Arizona. <laughs> Seattle. Seattle, even more than Arizona, yeah. yeah. Like, I don't get that, it. Yeah, I don't, I don't see a clear direction for this team. I mean. None. If you, I couldn't um, understand that whole, that whole draft in the summer. You know, I totally didn't understand what they were doing. Blew it, me it away. Was most, it was mostly right. Right? It was, but it was the safe plays, like money-wise. Yeah, and I, th I yeah. think that if they had been smart, what because you know that Ron Francis does not make trades like big trades. No. I exactly. think um, and I'll tell you, Chicago. Chicago is really in a weird place. They still got talent, but do. it's really going to depend on how this new guy, which direction he's taking the team. Who's the goalie? <gasps> Who's, exactly. in, who's on defense aside from Seth Jones? Yep. There's big decisions to be made there, no doubt. Kubelik had a terrible year, shockingly. But I still think the three teams we picked first are still in worse shape. I didn't talk about the story about Logan Thompson. Yeah, I've not seen that. It's just like, you know, it, it, it's one way to reach the NHL, but it's another way to stay in NHL. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest problem. How long can he stay in NHL? I'm talking exactly. about five, six, seven years. That's the biggest concern about him. Um, he show a lot of character, show, you know, like Wild Green right now, right? Um, so it'll be interesting to see how you're going to get there, but over there. What about Vegas? Uh, yeah, they, but they, you know, like if they're healthy, they're a good team. Yeah, I don't think so they have any problem there because they don't need for yeah, sure. But, they only make health. the money to get someone. They, they, totally they're health. a rich, rich team. 
they, they are not that far off. Maybe I mean, the top got, uh, best three team where the player want to go. Yep. 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 You'll always have a, there. Uh, yes, free. Uh, Johnny Goudreau is UF free. Does Vegas make a play for Johnny Goudreau? I can see that. I mean, you know they're getting rid of Dandenoff and a couple, either one or two players with them, right? Right. Do they open up enough space to get Goodrow in there? That'd be something. <laughs> the salary cap goes up by a mil. They dump six or seven. And <laughs> they know how to do it. <laughs> they like horse trading, man. They know. And then ask you, are you going to go to way down to the new Silver Knight Arena at some point? Um, I haven't really gone to many AHL games in the last couple of years, but yeah, probably it's only in Palm Desert. So, or the Henderson one, you mean that's in Henderson, right? Are you concerned about the Panthers with a goaltending situation? Why? Uh, because <laughs> we we'll get out again, removed for the second time in the last two weeks. Well, in the playoffs, different ball in playoffs, game in the playoffs. I think we were all worried about the playoffs for them. I, mean, I, I think, think they've shored up. Ago. I think they've shored up enough around because I think that's what the problem was last playoff. It was the defense, you know, didn't help the situation back there. You know what I'm saying? They were so much weaker. So I think yeah. we're going to see. We're just going to we're, we're going to see what these two goalies are like in this playoff with a better defensive crew. I think they got to stand up. I think Bob's got a little bit of wild card in him too, you know. Well, he does. <laughs> Spencer's young, does. and and Bob, I think, could really let you down. Oh yeah, but I think that's the bonus of having Spencer. Hopefully, right? Yeah, I think he could be the guy. You know, you got that. We all, yeah, Bobrovsky's right off the wall at times, no doubt. But I think that kid Knight is great. I think he's just he's the answer. Well, they long run term for sure. I don't know about short yeah. term what's going on. Do you believe the Rangers go all yeah. the way? What's that? Who? The Rangers. No, they're not going to go all the way. So, I mean, if you really look at this, they got a coach. They're good. Yeah. I mean, let's look at down, you know, if you look at that lineup, and I don't like the Rangers at all. I do not want them to win anything. But, you know, Panarin does not fall out in the playoffs. Zabanajed, Strom. You've yeah. got Kreider has got his 47th tonight. Yeah. And he's yeah. a big body and he asserts himself like he can really fly. That's a good looking team. That's a scary team. And then you look on defense, yeah. you got Adam Fox, you got Truba. Um, what's the other, uh, you know, Keandre Miller's coming along really nicely. You got Shesterkin in net. Georgiev's yeah. uh, capable backup. Like they could be a problem. I think they'll, you know, they're they're nothing to sneeze at, yeah. but I just think I I think you know if we're really looking at who's really going to be in the end, it's there's three teams that it should should be that's but the Rangers are a team that could upset them, you know what I mean? That's the one thing they could play dark horse because they're that good, right? It, uh, I mean, but I think them up against Florida. I mean, we've seen Florida have some bad games like tonight where yeah, they let in a lot of goals. Figured, right? They haven't figured their defense out yet. I mean, as good as those guys are, they, they haven't gelled yet. But the, the Rangers... To me, they're still trying to find it, right? Rangers do but the Rangers, have a problem. Right. And then and then here's three guys that are playing really well. Petrano, Cop, and Goudreau. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, like, those were really smart acquisitions. Barkley, Goudreau, I think Tampa really misses him. Andrew yeah. Kopp, we've seen he's had a very good year. He's probably going to get 18 goals. I would like that guy. He's a he's a gritty guy, and Vitrano yeah. has been lighting it up. He's playing on the top line. Yeah, and then so they, they are Tyler team Mott. to watch. Yeah, yeah, and then they got Tyler Mott from Vancouver. If they can so, just, you know, um, I don't know. I I think it's the same thing. It's the back end. Well, okay. So just, then listen to think about the back end. Adam right. Fox and Ryan Lindgren. Experience. No, it's just experience is what I think is yeah. their issue is. It's Keandre experience. Miller and Jacob Trubo, right? Yeah. And then you yeah. have Justin Braun and Braden Shen. I'm like. Give them time. They're going to be something else. Need, I, don't, I don't know if you need time. 
<laughs> like, so you're right. They, you, they could. I mean, I, I, I don't count them out. They're you don't believe it, but the Rangers are only two points behind Carolina. Exactly. Yeah, I, I'm, exactly. I do not like the Rangers, but I mean, I look but at I the like lineup them. and I'm like... I but like and Altab bring a good point here. <laughs> yeah, I like the players. <laughs> and Altab say, yeah, nobody in the East right now are a solid, strong team. Um, like so they are looking players. good right now. They said, "Wow, this they are like unbelievable." We don't have anybody right yeah. now. Well, yeah, they're all playing inconsistent right now. That's for sure. They all have up and down. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the truth. I mean, we all think you know, uh, Florida, Tampa. Carolina, and then, like yep. you say, Rangers would be my next. And they still got Pittsburgh. Yeah, I think Pittsburgh. Though I think I think Pittsburgh. Yeah, they could steal a round. I just don't think they go much further than that. If you know what I mean. I if they so. stole a round, that would be something, right? I hate both. But, those teams. but uh, <laughs> I, you know, I have no interest in either of those teams winning anything. But if you have but, one goalie in the East can beat everybody, it's just a game. I was just going to say, it's just Durkin. Yeah, you know what I mean? Someone can step up and he said, you know what? I go all the way. That's, yeah. that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, okay, if you match yeah. up against Tampa, Vasilevsky should be the guy. Yeah. You match up yeah. against Florida. And then we just said, you know, you got Bob is erratic. Like, you don't know if you trust him in the playoffs. Can he do it for three, four rounds? And you're right there. Who knows? So that's That's a concern, right? Pittsburgh, yeah. Tristan Jari, real good regular season, but he, you know, he's he's good. He'll You're right, playoffs. season, but I don't think he's a playoffs. He'll be enough. Might be, but right. you don't know. I know Leafs. I have no faith in. It's Boston, funny because no. we talk about Minnesota, are hot and they're doing well, right? But yeah. they are only three point. <laughs> Saint Louis only three point behind them. And. Remember we were looking at that lineup and like and they nobody have so talk about Saint Louis. Like Saint Louis, they they, uh, they don't do well. Yeah. They don't play well. Bennington, they don't have no defense. Like they don't that. do well. And they are only three. Imagine if they won one game. They are only one one point behind them. Saint Louis has always been that kind of awkward look team that you, you. They're so quiet. They quietly do it. You know what I mean? They don't do anything flashy, but they just kind of slide in. They have. One, and they two, know when to do it. Three, four, right? five, six, seven, 20 goal scorers already. And then on they top, that, they're more many, balanced in that sense, right? Right. And you then the it. guys, the guys that aren't, then they have 15 for Robert Thomas, 16 for Snook O'Reilly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, right. So that brings you all the way down. Then, you, then you have three defensemen in a row, Krug with eight goals. Falk with nine goals, Colton Perego with six goals. Yep. Like, it's crazy when you look at it. Really balanced when you look at it. And then you're not even including Nick Letty because he's only played eight games. And he's got four points in eight games. And right now, everything they do right now, without Tory yeah. Crook. No Krug. And everybody they said they don't have a good defenseman. No, they got, they got like a good a defenseman. Lot. I mean, Pareko, sure who would not sure want Colton Pareko on your team? <laughs> exactly. I'd gladly have him back there and get rid of, you know, Savard and Weidman together and oh add God. a couple. Of because up, when uh, you go in the playoff, you need four guys. <laughs> you know, yeah, Justin Falk, Tori Crook, <laughs> yeah, Pareko. And what's case after that is between uh, Nick Leedy or Scandella, or you can go with the, the rookie, the big guy, Nico Mikola. And I don't talk yet about Barduzzo. Mm -hmm. So physicality, the physic they have, the, that if something happens, you know, you have 6'4", 6'4", 6'6", 6'3". They're monsters. <laughs> I, I think they, we don't give them enough credit for the defenseman. Right. You're right. And then, you know, I was thinking about this. You go, hey, I got Tarasenko, I got Bukinavich, I got Perron, I got Barbashev, I got Shen, I got O'Reilly, I got Brandon Saad. Uh, I even got Robert Thomas. But you know who's leading all those guys in scoring? Jordan Cairo. Yeah. I love that kid. It's like, fun to watch. He's fun to watch. 
Man. Yeah. They, wouldn't that be crazy if they won another cup without oh, that'd be Peter Angelo? I hope. That would be a hoot. <laughs> and a different goalie, Billy Huso wins it. That would be yeah. really crazy. But... That would be comical. Yeah. Yeah. But it would be could a good to. a good battle between them and Minnesota anyway. I think you're That'd right. That'd be a dog. Fight. The playoff would be, be amazing. Dog. If you think about this, the playoff this year would be great. Oh, it's gonna be great. You know what I mean, it, this is gonna be one of the better playoffs by far. I you think know, uh, Calgary has three thirty goal scorers. <laughs> thirty four goals for Goudreau. 32 goals from Kachuk, 35 goals for Lindholm, and 30 for Mangiapane. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. That's another kid. Workhorse. And then you're not counting Tyler Toffoli, who has nine goals in 24 games for them. So he's got a total of 18 goals in the year. The only thing I, I, I with them, I worry about speed. That's my I, only issue with them. Yeah, I mean, I think they play faster than speed, like their quickness. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, yeah. Kachuk's not slow. Goudreau's fast. Yeah. Lin- but- Lindholm can skate. Mangiopani can skate. Mon- oh, man, he's beautiful to watch. We, we, You know who we don't talk about is Rasmus Anderson. True enough. He's, he has 42 points, guys, and he's a plus 21. <laughs> it's hard to imagine. Man, oh, man. And you know who's right behind him is Noah Hanfin's got 34 points in 68 games, and he's got a plus 18. Wow. And you know, one guy I have like I have not mentioned Blake Coleman yet. He got 27 points for Oliver Shillington, and then Chris Tanev's got 24 points and is a plus 28. That's crazy. 28. <laughs> but that's Sutter. That's Sutter. Sutter written all over that. But that's that my only problem, like I say, is the skating. When it gets Luc Lafrance said the season is too program. long for ten game. What's uh, that? Sorry? The season is too long by ten game. He just wants the playoffs to start, but <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> uh Mike, okay, least... what do you have in, in front of you now tomorrow or in the next couple of days? What's next for you? Uh, Columbus tomorrow. Okay. And then Nashville on Friday, maybe? Awesome. Uh, Mr. Uh, Andrew, we skip tomorrow because we have Marco D'Amico uh, and the yeah. show tomorrow. But uh, we invite everybody to join Marco D'Amico tomorrow. We'll be there at 12 o'clock p.m. for the great guys. He knows a lot about, ex- a very expert about uh, uh, initial draft prospect, everything like that. So uh, we have a right on the hockey now or something like that i cannot remember which one and he does all the scout for the qm so uh, marco will be with us tomorrow and we'll cool. be back tomorrow night at six That's o'clock with yeah, yeah suitcase right i have that my be- suitcase is very full right now luke <laughs> yeah so thank you boys thank you michael stop i'm glad you stop by anytime you show up like this yeah, you know what i mean team, like, Mike. we're hanging there and drew anytime Thanks, you guys. want to show up and uh, we keep in our tap in the chat as the mother radar, the policeman in the chat. So uh, uh, we are happy about each one of you. Thank you so much for your participation tonight, Mr. Michael. I wish you an amazing. You're still in New York, right? Yeah, we leave in the morning. Good morning. Ah, you lucky bugger. <laughs> Off to Columbus. <laughs> all right thank you so much boys i wish you an amazing great night for all you guys and then everybody in the chat uh, we want to thank you so much to join the, another great night the live stream uh, play by play with the hockey coach guru co friendship for the hockey national show we wish you an amazing great night and sweet dream but before we leave of course don't forget to click on the on the likes and finally you have of course uh, you are awesome you are amazing you are the best and remember you have greatness inside of you thank you so much everybody for the great time with us we wish you an amazing great night of course before we leave want to remind you one more thing be well be held and finally and find not only to dominate your day find a way to dominate what is turn on tap or rg they will send to you 2022 have an amazing great night everybody here we go, Mr. Inaltap. No
Fair, you got it. Thank you so much, everybody. Good night, Bryce. RJ, we love you. Thank, thank you, and I'll talk. Adam, Alex Song, Luke Lapson, Harry, Nicholas. Reno. Thank you, Bryce. Don't want another surprise. I rather want you to just let me be. Oh, oh, oh. what do I know? <laughs> I'm gonna be here, my mom. One more month. Salah, thank you, Salah. We love you, Salah. Good night. Feeling that I've been fooled, deceived, and so misguided.